Yep. Hey everyone, we've got an exciting new game for you. Before we get to that, let's do the introductions. I'm Mandy, also known as the Board Gaming Pinup Girl. And I'm Mike, known as Paula. So you'll know me from being a contributor on the Dice Tower. I also have a YouTube channel to Die for Games. You'll see me all over social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, I'm pretty much everywhere as Board Gaming Pinup Girl. <laughs> I'm not everywhere. Uh, I can be found on Instagram as Pollum or Twitter as Pollum21. Right. So, the game. Today we are looking at Too Many Bones. We are. And uh, I am actually going to throw this over to Michael because this is his game. He's played it a few more times than me. I've only played it one time before this. So, anyway, the setup we have going on is going to be a little... Um, what was the name of it? A Greenhorn? We're playing the... We're playing basically the beginner level. We're trying to give ourselves a fighting chance to right. see how far we can get in this. Exactly. Um, which means we start with two extra health and we get one training point at the beginning. Yes. Uh, so we're I'm playing as Boomer, who does more of the damage dealing and crowd control. And, and I am playing with Patches, so I'm all about the healing. Mm -hmm. Anybody who knows me knows I like to play a more aggressive character. However, really good for learning purposes, so I'm going to... Play the heck out of this healer. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to keep me alive. You're going to yeah. keep us both alive. Keep us both, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, that's that's the goal. All okay. right. So anything you want to talk about before we get started? I don't think so. We should probably mention this is a game by Chip Theory Games. Mm -hmm. And they'll be joining us hopefully at some point later tonight. So if you have questions, stay tuned. Now would be the time to ask because they are hopefully going to be um, in the chat. Mm -hmm. So... I see someone's already... <laughs> Go Mandy and other guys. <laughs> so this is Michael. Yeah. <laughs> He'll probably live better than I will. I mean, I'm other guy. <laughs> he knows the uh, game really well. So, and all of the all of this stuff is purchasable from the Chip Theory Games website. That's how they sell their games is directly from their website as well. So, so. Uh, holistic developer, that bone saw looks pretty aggressive, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. It definitely can be. It definitely okay. Can be. So we're gonna get to it. You guys can see how we start to play, and I'm also gonna still have a lot of questions because, like I said, I've only played it once. Mm -hmm. Um, so you, if there's uh, questions that you have, pop them in the chat. We'll try and get them answers, and I will have questions as to Michael, so they may be answered as we're playing. All right. All right. Let's get to it. So shall we just head right into the first encounter? Oh boy, I'm scared. Yes. Let's, let's right. get her done. Oh, you should be scared. <laughs> All right. So first we have leaving Obendar. Okay. Only 12 hours till dawn and a send-off ceremony that will no doubt change the lives of every remaining Gearlock and likely every life in Daylor. Weapons and supplies are ready to go, but the night is young and adrenaline fills the veins. It's clear no sleep will be had tonight. There's sure to be some shady peddlers in dark alleys ready to deal in loot. Then again, some last-minute training could pay a nice dividend by morning. So, what to do? Oh, what boy. Do? Before you head over. Yep. <laughs> is that McDrizzle said, and the fact that Patches can poison is awesome. Yes, it is. Films. That is extremely handy. That was handy. Sure. So, yeah. I'll try and make sure that we demonstrate that at some point. Yep. Okay, so we have two options here. We can squeeze in some last-minute self-improvement, mm -hmm. and that will get us an additional two training points. Okay. Or we could shake down a Shady Peddler uh, to gain one training point, and then we'd get to look at two loot cards each and choose one. Oh. So those are our choices for this uh, this encounter. I almost want to go slightly more conservative than the last time, because I feel okay. we were a bit aggressive and um, met our untimely death. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, but two points. I kind of like the training points yeah, myself. me too. Give us a bit more to work yep. with here. The loot the loot can be good, but yeah. that is random at this point. Whereas the training points, we can decide where they go. I, we yeah. might not make great decisions, sure. but we do get the choice of where they go. So <laughs> I'm thinking the training points are go the training points? At, yeah. All right. So we'll go the training points. So we get two training points each. Okay. Uh, do you have a, uh, a choice where you'd like to go? Well, I know last time attack was a problem for me. Okay. So I definitely want to up the attack. Okay. So I know because of the attack, remember what you said before, that I am going to have to roll Yep, for this. however many attack dice you currently have, which is one. Right. You roll that, hopefully you don't get any bones. Oh boy. It's this one, right? Yep. Okay, here we go. Good luck, good luck, come on. Yes! That's a pass, all right. So you can put the one in there. Woohoo! So that's going to go there. And then you have one more training point. So I'm thinking maybe, I know last time we were really focused on this med kit mm -hmm. as an option. Do you think I should wait for that? Or do you think I should do that now, later? Maybe move up my defense? Um, med kit isn't awful. If one of us needs healing, that's the way to do it. So the way that you've spent your first training point right. is uh, with the, that is the Slim. stim, stim kit. kit. Yep, stim kit. Which is great for giving buff HP, which is HP that goes above and beyond your regular HP. The downside is there's a one in six chance that you won't do that, 
and you'll actually hurt yourself instead. <laughs> uh, you don't want that. Yeah, no. So that doesn't do actual healing. It just no. gives buff HP. So healing might not be a bad so thing. So I'm thinking that might be what get the way to go. Yeah. So for this one... So you need die one. Die one. Yep. And I've got those all sorted so that yes. they're in the same arrangement. So that... Yeah, so I'm just putting it like that. doesn't necessarily mean I get that. We'll have no. to roll it's for just that available. later. Yeah. Now, I do have one that is an exception to that rule. I have my boom counter here, which is a counter die. So it starts on zero and will tick up every time I can make, every time I have the components to make a uh, make a bomb. Uh, so I do that by rolling these. And that's that's pretty much the gist of how Boomer works. Right. Is she does have various grenades she can throw. But to do so, she needs to make the grenades first. So having said that, I'm going to go for body search, mm -hmm. which does have various ways to get more components. Yep. And then I think because my health is so low, I'm going to add one more HP. That's probably wise. Because yeah. I remember last time we played, there was a... I had a hard time staying alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was pretty rough for both So of we'll time. see how that goes. And then hopefully in that first round, I can start building some grenades. And then I'll, I'll upgrade to those later. Okay. So that's our two training points each. Perfect. We get one advancement point for that. Yep. Or progress point, I should say. So we advance on the map. So I love this little map we mm -hmm. have here. So this is great. And then you, I know comes, you told me last time this is going to come into play a little bit. Yeah, this doesn't come with the base game. Uh, with the base game, you'd be tracking it with with the base game. You'd be tracking the days with a day counter, and there's a a chip that's used for counting that, and you'd just be rotating the chip on that. With the map, you can keep track of your progress on the actual map instead of just keeping track of the the individual cards with the progress points on it. Um, so here, so you guys have a ranged, it's patch is going to be your melee heavy hitter. I would, uh, not heavy maybe hitter. Maybe not heavy hitter. <laughs> I'll try and do some of the heavy hitting. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I definitely, uh, have, I definitely more... have the range though. I'll yes. try and get, to, uh, I'll try and cover the, the ranged attacks. I'll basically be hiding behind patches is what it comes down to. And yeah. hopefully she'll be able to keep me alive. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Fingers crossed. Okay. okay. So that was the first day. Perfect. So now we go to the second day. Yep. And before I go any further, I will explain who we're going up against. We're trying to hunt down Mulmesh. Uh, that's the, the tyrant that we're trying to find. And according to his stats, we can only encounter him once we have six progress points. And we have to defeat him by the end of day nine. So we're going into day two. Yep. All right. And with day two, hardly out the gate. 15 steps into the journey. 15 steps. And already a gear lock boot is struck through by an arrow. Luckily, no toes were killed. Teeth are clenched, and a painful tug is made while looking around in embarrassment. Now, sufficiently ticked, it's time to return the favor to the ominous figures at the edge of the woods. A commotion breaks out atop the city wall, interrupting all thoughts. Guards have now spotted the brazen intruders and are notching their arrows. Their help is at the ready. Like it or not, this adventure is underway. Hungry like the wolf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so we have two choices here. We can hail the guards for help. Those guards that are notching their arrows up at the city walls. Yes. They can do one true damage to each baddie on the map for us. Uh, the downside is, well, I'll tell you, tell you the other option. Oh, God. Uh, or it's time to show Obendar what gear locks are made of. With Obendar watching, you feel an extra shot of adrenaline as you prepare for an unassisted battle. So we can decide to do this ourselves okay. without the help of the archers. Oh. If we do that, we'll get an additional training point out of it. I know, but I feel if we're greedy so early, this may not be wise. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, what do you What think? are you feeling? Uh. Uh, I, 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 that extra training point can go a very long way. It's enticing, but at the same time, I don't want to be looking at my if early we, demise. If we miss, yeah. If you want to play it safe, we can, we can ask the guards for help. Okay, seriously though, like what's the better benefit? Maybe we should take that extra point. I'm just scared we're going to head down a road that we yep. can't come back out of. It's quite possible. And we've got people watching that, so that's little, even worse. No pressure. Uh, the extra training point would be good. Okay, well, let's set the extra training point. Give it a point. shot. Let's, let's give it a go. All right. Nothing so we're going to go for the extra training point. We don't need no archers, help. We can do this on our own. <laughs> right. All right. So, um, actually, you know what? Mm -hmm. Before... Before I do that, yes, uh, there was one step I missed. Uh, we do go through the recovery phase. Uh, from the last day, when you do an encounter, you get the rewards, which in that case was the two training points each. Mm -hmm. Then you go through a recovery phase. Technically, we didn't have anything to recover, which is why I completely forgot about it. But one thing we were allowed to do 
was to scout ahead. So before we actually pull the trigger on this, we're allowed to look at things based on... So to answer a question here, go yep. for the help. Normally, I would be all for that. This is know. actually my second game, and this is your fourth? Fourth, fifth, something like yeah, that. So yeah, so I'm like, let's go for it. Yep. <laughs> I we'll may see. regret that later. <laughs> so I will. Uh, we will go ahead and scout. Uh, that's something that we did miss at the end of the first day. So to scout, you yeah. roll the d6. That was fine. <laughs> and with the three, I get to scout a uh, level one baddie. And if we don't like the look of it, we can actually put it to the bottom. So we have a cobalt tracker here. Mm -hmm. Health two. It does ranged attack and is hardy, which means oh. it can only take one hit point at a time of uh, damage. But it is only two, so I don't mind that. There are much worse things in there. So I say we keep that. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go ahead and roll the d6. Yep. I'm just uh, responding. It's hard to be the player and the chatter. And hey, Halden has joined us, so maybe you can let him know what... Hey, Halden? <laughs> I think Halden knows what I'm drinking, actually, if he's watching. Okay. He knows what that is. So it's a two. Okay, so you can look at the next one point baddie down. Okay. What do we got? So it says Flight Griffin Yearling. Okay. So it has a two here for, I guess, I'm assuming that's hit points. That's itself, yep. Yeah, and then two uh, weapon. That's, yeah, it's attack. And five And here. that's its initiative. All right. So the initiative on this is six. The initiative on that uh, is five. The difficult things with uh, any creatures that have flight is that they're basically only available to target right. once every second turn. Because what they do is they take flight. You can't target them until they land again. So every second turn, they'll be targetable. Uh, I say we leave it in there, though. Let's give okay. it a shot. All right, so we're taking this one and yep. on so, top. Uh, just keep it face up on face top. Up, yep. yep, these stay in the same order. Perfect. Yep. And double the paw. He says, uh, uh, Godspeed, biggest doodle. <laughs> <laughs> I know I know what that means, but I'm sure you guys do. So. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now we're going into that second day. We've decided we don't need no stinking help. Mm -hmm. We probably will, but let's find out what happens. And the way that you determine the Batty Q is the day times the number of gear locks. Okay. So two times two is four, which means we're going to have four one-point baddies coming up. Okay, that's not so bad. So first off, we're looking at the Cobalt Tracker. Mm -hmm. has a health of two, okay. and it is ranged, which means it's going to line up on the back. Ooh. goes into the first lane, and then you look at... Do you guys hear the weight of those chips? Oh, God. Very good quality. So lane one, he's going to have an initiative of six. So that, now this is going to be the initiative meter, which indicates the order in battle. Ideally, we'll want to be as high as possible, but that one's going to be very tough to get ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, next in the tra in the order, we've got the Griffin Yearling. So that's going to go into lane two, also with two hit points. He's melee, though, so he'll be lined up here. And he's going to have an initiative of five. Now we look into the ones that we did not see. So we have a Dire Wolf Pup. It has Ooh. an ability of lashback. I'll explain the abilities in a second. So he's going into lane three with three hit points, and he is melee as well. Oh, jeez. Only an, an initiative of three for him, though. Not so bad. that's not too bad. <laughs> Gearlock combat, Q tech, no music. <laughs> <laughs> I should put some music That is on so good, I know. <laughs> and then next up, we have a bog frog going into lane four. He's got four hit points, and he is also melee. Thanks for the well wishes, by the way, uh, Victim of Gravity. Thank we're you. Gonna, we're going to need it. We will need it, yes. <laughs> All right, and he starts with an initiative of three. Yep. Uh, I probably knocked that. That should have been. That was lane two. Uh, that should be five. Five, yeah. yeah. All right, so then we get to roll our initiative to see where we land in Ooh. there. Oh, six. That's excellent. Okay, so come I get on. to go first. Big in money, there. big money. Oh, and a three, and so I'll pop you in here. Womp, womp. That's not great. So if you notice, I'm ahead of yep. the other ones. And then this is keeping track of our rounds. So every every time we go through a round, this will take up and keep track of those. <clears throat> yeah. So to look at what we've got, we've got the Dire Wolf Pup that has the ability of Lashback. Any melee attacks done against him, he's going to deal one hit point back against you. We've got uh, this guy that has Hardy and Compound. Hardy means he can only take one hit point of damage. And Compound is the, the worst of the two. What that means is his attack dice are... Uh, relative to whatever the round number is. So round one, he only has one attack die. But as the rounds go up, if he's still alive, he's going to have three, four attack dice and get stronger and stronger. Flight, I've explained. Every second round, he'll be flying. And then poison two, 
will be applying poison to somebody. You'll see how that comes to play. So yes, Tantrum. I would have loved Tantrum, but I'm new, and as somebody else mentioned, Holistic Developer, yes, we are playing with the uh, Greenhorn difficulty, just because mm -hmm. I've only played it once before, and we want to make sure we were getting rules correct so people watching weren't uh, confused. <laughs> that, and we want to last longer than 15 minutes on this. So, exactly. Yeah, let's, let's, see, <laughs> let's see how far we can go. All right. Okay, so now we decide where we want to be placed on the battle path. Uh, I would say, let's see, you're I mean, going down here. Right. So you're going to be, go these two are going to be going before you. Yes. Which means he's going to take flight before you even have a chance to hit him. Correct. So I'm thinking you lining up in front of him might be a good idea. Super close or on the back line? Uh, super close because you are melee. melee I and know. you don't want to waste any of your dexterity moving to get towards them, right? All right, yeah. And because you're there, I'm going to hide behind you. Here. How many plays, Holden? Uh, I've only played it once. This is my second playthrough. And I'm about four plays or yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. All okay. right. You ready for this? Oh, gosh, yes. Okay. Okay. So we start with, I actually got a nice roll with my initiative yeah, die. So I get to go first. And let's see here. So I get. To, I have a dexterity of three, which means I get three dice to mm -hmm. roll. I've got two attack, and I need to start looking for parts to start building my grenades. So I think what I'll do is I am going to go with two attack, and I might even try and get rid of... The flight before it takes off. Yeah, get rid of that uh, griffin yeah. before it starts flying. So I'm going to go two attack against the griffin, yeah. and then I'll roll my body search to see if I can get some parts. Okay. And two attack Very would good. actually kill off Boom. the griffin. Woohoo! Right. Okay, we're off to a good start. That's a good start. So we'll put him here. He actually comes out of the cube. And then I also got two parts that I can use towards building my first grenade, which is fantastic. It's very good. Oh, I think Chip Fairy is in the house. All right. So kids are in bed. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Hopefully we uh, we don't mess things up too badly I here. Know, but please feel free to jump in. Let us know if we're missing a rule or if there's a suggestion or sure. if you want to answer questions on the chat. Because I'm trying to do it as I play. So mm. please feel free to do that. Thank yep. you for joining us, by the Thank way. Thank you for joining Okay, so it's me. So I'm assuming we want to deal with... you got to start whacking at that. Oh, boy. Okay, yep. so I could do attack, Yep. which is basically going to give me one plus one, right? So I get yep, you'll get two. two. So I think that's just the best way to go yep. at this point. Oh, Perfect. come on, that's pretty slick. That's three attacks. So it's left with one hit point. Not bad. That works. And these are exhausted or... These are here? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, actually, sorry, it wasn't you. We uh, oh! are going first. However, yes. he can't get to you. So, okay. his, uh, sorry, he's ranged. Sorry, so it should have been this one yeah. that went first. And I he's actually going yeah, to go for me first. So we'll take care of that. He would roll one attack die. So if you'd like to do the honors of okay. him hitting me. So one attack die. Okay, here we go. Oh, Josh and Adam are the rules experts, but I can do it. Oh, yeah, no <laughs> pressure at all. Seriously. <laughs> Just enjoy. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that would have hit me for two. <laughs> all right. Okay, and then we already resolved yours. Yes. Then lane three, so this is the dire wolf pup. He's going to start running to the closest. So he's just going to be moving one, two. They cannot move diagonally unless they have an ability that says otherwise. Does anything happen with the poison or no? It's just... Once once it's his turn. Okay. So now it is his yeah, turn. There it goes. You asked for it, <laughs> you get it. Great. So his ability is poison two. He does not have any attack dice. What he does is he goes whoever he's next to, Poison two. Oh, and I'll show you how that works oh. once we come back to Mandy's turn. Okay. Okay, so that was our first round. Not too bad. We got one no. gone right. and tons of damage done there. Yeah, so I think we're good. So we take this over to round two, starting back with me. Yep. Now, I think you'll be able to take care of him yeah, on your turn. I so think. I think I need to start hitting him because yep. he's just going to get stronger. Yep. And he can only take one hit of damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to roll one hit die, or mm -hmm. one damage die. Mm -hmm. The reason is, there is the possibility that I could get bones. But my ability for one bones is throw odds, which does one damage. Right. So I'm guaranteed to do one damage to him, which is the maximum he can take. So with my three dice, I'm going to roll one of these. And then I'm going to roll two more parts for my uh, grenades and start building those. So there's the one hit. So that's the maximum he could take anyway, because he does have the hardy ability. Uh -huh. And then I've got three elements and one casing. So what I'll do then is I'll spend one of the elements, the casing, and one of my wild ones here. And that will give me my first, my first grenade. Nice. 
So I can start building those up, and then once I start getting some more uh, training points, I can grab the different grenade types and start throwing them. <laughs> All right. So then back to lane one. He's now going to target me again because he aims for the weakest. So hopefully you don't get a good roll for him. He okay. Now it's round it's two, two so and with the go. ability of compound, he gets two dice to roll. All right, here we go. Let's hope I don't... Uh... <laughs> Okay, so bad. Two damage. I'm alive. So bad. I'm alive. That's all that matters. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Not trying to kill us off early. <laughs> no, no. All right. Now it's over to you. So the way poison works, we have the indicator oh, here that she's go. poisoned. So the first thing is she's going to take two poison, and then this is going to take down one. However, the start of your turn, you also get with your... <laughs> I forget this every time. <laughs> With Patch's innate ability, gets to heal one. So and these are all back. start of turn abilities, so correct me if I'm wrong, since I know there are experts in the in the chat. We get to choose how those trigger. So the poison is two, and then she gets to heal one back. Yeah. It ticks down, so then her next turn, she would take one poison, and then the poison is, is gone at that. I have to remember that I continually forget to do that. Mm. So I think I should just continue hitting this. I think so. And we'll just take the two. Yep. I still have the two. Yep. Sweet. Done. All right, so that is kaput. I like the sounds of that. And that is out of there. That's removed from the queue. And that was you. So now we go to lane three, which is the pup. Yes. So he's going to move one here, and he's going to take a swing at you. Oh, So I'll, wow. do, I'll do the honors there. Thanks. Just one attack die. <laughs> oh, and one OK, hit. not bad. That's manageable. Yeah, I can deal with that. All right, that's the end of the round. So now we move on to round three. <laughs> I'm looking to get rid of this because round three means he's going to have three attack dice. Right. He cannot take that. So, <clears throat> I have three dice to roll. I will roll one of my uh, my last remaining components and then two attack dice. So okay. there's two fuses. That's fantastic. That's very good. And then I've got two hits. So all I needed was the one because he's only hardy and only has one hit point. So that's going to come off. So far, so good. And then that also gives me enough components to build another another frag. So I will tick that down to one, tick that down to one, and spend that. And now I've got two two frags that I can throw, or two grenades. Okay. That was me. So now it's over to you. So first thing is you would take one poison damage, but then with your innate ability, you would heal that one. Would heal one anyway. Yep, so, I'll so put that back. Yep. And then that's going to come off. That's no longer poisoned. What would you like to do? Uh, well, I'm thinking we might want to go this route. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a lot of options right now. I feel like we're, all I can really do is roll attack. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a lot of health. Well, you can heal up. But I mean... It's not that it's necessary, but you can, right? Yeah, I don't think it's required at this point, so I think I'm just going to continue with my okay. Just keep in mind that if you hit him, yes. he does have lashback. So I'm also going to get... do one back to you. Now, we're pretty much near the end, so... I think I'm just going to take my chances. If we Sounds had others, good. I probably would have done something differently. Sounds good. Three damage. That would finish it off. Yeah. So am I still going to take the hit? Not if it's dead. Not if because it's dead. if it's dead, it can't swing back. Okay. Right? Nice. All right, so that's that. So, success, without help from the archers. Can make me happy. So that Thank goes back you. to your uh, prep area, back yep. to mine, and I removed that, so I'm going to take that and set them aside. Okay, and then we get our exhausted dice back. Yes, uh, I didn't have any, so... That. I can exhaust these if I want so that they're available on another round, but because I have two of them ready to go, and I've already got two grenades ready to go, I think I'm going to keep those because I now only need one more part. To get the third one. And so you were I'm, correct with I'm the lashback. Back. Back. Lash yeah. Yeah. If it's dead, it can't bite back. Just right? checking. You yep. never know. Oh, that could be that sure. last ditch. Sure. Like, ah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Reset that back down to one. So there's our, uh, our first successful fight. We live. Oh, we live. Okay. High five. <laughs> All, right. All right. So because we did it without help from the archers, we now have two training points to spend. What would you like to do okay, with I two training points? I feel like I need to. There was something I was feeling. So. To have more dice, mm -hmm. I'm assuming it comes into this. That's your dexterity. Yeah. yeah. Dexterity is the number of dice you get and to roll movement. and movement. So I think, I feel like I need more of this mm -hmm. coming into future rounds. Yep. So for this one, I'd like to do that. So can I just add the one for this one? I don't need to roll for this if I'm not exactly. mistaken. Perfect. The only ones you need to roll for are these. These and down here. Nope, just these. Oh, just these two. And if you are going to do that, I would say you do it first. Mm -hmm. Because if you fail on a roll, so say, for example, you wanted to upgrade your attack, you would have to roll two attack dice. Mm. If you failed that, you would then have to apply that point somewhere. 
somewhere else. Right. But then you could use the second point right. to try it again. So I'm almost wondering if I should continue with what I was going for here or if I should add more attack or more defense. I'm scared that I'm going to be so, so screwed. Personally, I, I like the skill dice. That's The skill dice. But and I didn't you know use this as much last time, so yeah. I'm really wanting to, to try that more. So maybe let's try this, but sure. I'm trying to debate if I should go down to the Stim Belt or the Chem Kit. Now, I don't know if it'll make a difference for you, but mm -hmm. if you can get to the distiller, mm -hmm. now remember, these do have the possibility of a, of a downside, right? Of there course. is a one in six that you actually do damage to yourself. Yeah. If you get to the distiller, that will that will uh, increase your odds against the bad rolls because it'll give you a chance to re-roll Which is a bad roll. So yeah. maybe let's head down in this general direction. Sure. So that means I would need a uh, 14. Yep. That was one, the stim belt. Yep. So that is 14. Here we go. All right. So that was dexterity Correct. and your stim belt. Yeah. All right. So then for myself, uh, I know one of the creature types that we're going to go, going up against here are bog creatures, uh, which are uh, well known for poison. So I do have an ability that can help us fix that, and that would be sonic cleanse. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that for one. That's one of the types of grenades I can throw. Go for the poison. <laughs> uh, poison's not a bad uh, a bad option as well for you with the, the yeah. toxins. Yeah. Next, next go. Yeah. Next go. Uh, and then. What else do I want? Uh, I think I'm going to go with... I'll go with some damage. Okay. I'll grab my frag. That's good. I think you had that last time, and the frag was quite useful. It can definitely be useful. The frag can damage not only the spot that you're hitting, but half damage to anything adjacent as well. But that includes friendlies. Yeah. So you do have to watch out for that. All right. <laughs> Mandy, spill the wine to test the component. Uh, somehow I don't think I'd be invited back to Michael's place if I did that. All the components are waterproof. Uh, Chip Theory Games has actually done a video where they, they, they filmed some of it underwater. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... Is it, it looks like neoprene or something. It is yeah. neoprene, yeah, yeah. and the cards are plastic, and yeah, everything's fantastic quality. So uh, I'd still prefer you didn't <laughs> spill the wine, but... No! It someone be a said problem. maybe I would sip. Well, then again, this is only glass one, so... <laughs> All right, so we do get another uh, progress point with that as well. Perfect. So that's good. And then we go into the recovery phase. Right, I like so recovery. this is where I will heal back up to full health because I am four short there. Yep. You can do the same if you wish. I think so. I feel more bad things coming. And this is where we could also do some lock picking if we had any picks to lock, which we don't at the moment. Uh, we might in the near future. Uh, what else can we do? Make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. We could trade loot if we had any loot. Right. We could which trade we loot amongst ourselves, which we don't. Um, and because we chose to rest to full health points, we cannot do the scouting that we did at the end of the first day. Right. All right. So, ready to go into day three? Day three. Let's do her. I all think right. it's... Uh, all right. I'm not going to jinx it. Shh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Crossing the Sibron. The Sibron River, a glistening vein of trade running the length of Daylor, playfully beckons as it shimmers in the daylight up ahead. But with so few bridges in these parts, this crossing is an obvious spot for enemy scouts and traps. The journey of this importance leaves only two options. Tucking the ears and trying to blend in is risky, but efficient. A boat at dusk carries less chance of discovery, but requires business with the Molnor, a trading syndicate with their own set of drawbacks. Oh boy. This would be the Mafia of the Woods. Oh boy. So, we have two options. We can tuck our ears and walk like a commoner. And if we try that, we would roll a d6 okay. for each of us. And if we roll a 1 or a 2, basically what will happen is we will have to bring the encounter card for the tyrant to the top of the encounter oh, deck. Oh, lovely. And that's what we're going to face next. Oh, okay. Which we don't want to do. No. The other option is we can hire the Molnar. The Molnar are surprisingly easy to work with. Not only do they drop us safely on the east bank of the river under the cover of darkness, they also offer a trove loot gift. Hmm. Maybe our success is good for business. If we do that, we would then shuffle the special encounter Molnar traders into our encounter deck. So basically, like I said, they're the mafia of the woods. <laughs> they will happily bring us to the other side of the river. But they may be coming back later saying, exactly. where's our pretzel money? So do we deal with bad stuff now or deal with bad stuff later? The way I see this is a one a one in three chance having to roll that twice. I'm not a fan of those odds. No, me neither. And Lord knows Whereas, I'll roll it. <laughs> hiring the Molnar, we're going to be shuffling the card into a deck that has eight cards, seven cards. So... 
I think the odds are greater that we we accept their help. Nothing ever, nothing bad ever happens when dealing with the Molnar nervous giggle. <laughs> nothing at all. Can nothing you hear my all. nervous giggle? <laughs> <laughs> I hear they're nice people. Yeah. Now the benefit to hiring them would be we'd get trove loot. We'd each get some trove. Which I think is kind of good. Uh, if we went the other way, we'd get an extra progress point and a training point. But uh, I don't like the odds of having to pull the encounter card up no. to the top. Well, let's be honest. They're all trying to kill us. But at least they're going to kill us later. Yes. Or try to Hopefully. 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 <laughs> so we'll go that route? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So we get to get yep. one progress point And we get one trove loot each. Okay. Don't look at that. Thank you. That'll go face down. Mm -hmm. And this is what we can use our lock picking for. So that'll go to the side. We Ooh. do not get to look at it until we successfully pick the locks on there. All right, that is successfully completed. That's all it was. We we just hired them to get across the river. Uh, now, in doing so, we've done that. We can go back through the recovery phase again. Okay. Uh, this is where we could, again, trade loot, but we don't have we anything don't have... we know to trade, so yep. that's okay. Uh, now we can make a lockpicking attempt. Okay. I like the sounds of that. So these are the dice that are used for lockpicking. You've got one for each type of lock. There are There's a lever lock, trip lock, and force lock on each trove loot. So there's a die that, that uh, corresponds to each of those locks. And then you have an intuition die that does uh, does a few different things. It lets you either re-roll, change what uh, type of lock it is, or adds one and make sure it doesn't get locked. Would you like me to go first to show yep, this? Yeah, you All can right. go ahead. So the first lock on my trove loot is one lever. That should be easy enough to solve. Don't say that. <laughs> and there we go, one lever. Oh, sweet. That's all I needed. I won't re-roll anything else. So I do have to set that aside. Now the next one I need is four trip. Okay. Close. Close. That's three trip, and that lets me convert to something else. Doesn't do any good. Uh, so there's nothing else for me to re-roll there. So I'm I'm left at that. So then you indicate that I have the first one unlocked by lining them up with spots on your map, or on your uh, player mat. And then the next day when I try again, I've already got that first lock unlocked. I only have to worry about the next two. So, over to you. What are you looking for? Okay, so <laughs> five. Five, five lever. lever. That's tricky. Well, we'll try it. We'll see. Maybe uh, big money. <laughs> yeah. That's not... a lot of trip. Uh, I can con no. Actually, you can. So convert. you've got two yeah. lever. Two lever. And then that I have to you convert. convert. And you can convert that to, to three lever. Three lever. And that's five lever. Woo! So that would lock both of those. Sure, but at least I can give this a whirl. Yep. I mean, it's a three trip for the next one. Which could be done. It's a possibility. Yep. So let's give it a go. That is the trip die, so it could be done. Ah! No, hold on. Two trip plus one. <gasps> plus one! Means three, ah! so that's unlocked. Oh! And this also means you don't have to exhaust that die, so roll again for the last one. This is just unbelievable What's right the last now. One? It is a one! One force? One force. You can do this. Oh, come on. This is bringing a tear to my eye right now. <laughs> no! That's okay. You've got the reroll. Oh, I got a reroll. So you have to reroll re this both. one? Re both. both. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Because you've got one lock, but you've got the convert. But I can convert it. So convert that to one. I don't Amazing. know what is going on today. Amazing. Somebody's luck is rubbing off of my dice roll today. <laughs> Amazing. So, <laughs> so now this got? has been unlocked. Yep. All right. Let's read it out loud here. Mechanical boomerang, which is permanent. Backup plan extension, and it has two with the bone symbol. Bones. Select any baddie and do two damage. Roll a d6. On a one to three, the boomerang comes back to you and can be used again this battle. On a four to six, it is lost, and this backup plan is unavailable for the rest of the battle. Okay, so what that means is normally for your two bones, because you everybody has their own set of backup plan uh, abilities based on how many bones they have. Oh. So for yourself... Don't forget to add card to deck. Don't forget to add card to I'm deck. I'm not sure. Someone had mentioned that up here. Team up one loot. <laughs> cough, cough. And then someone said, don't forget to add card to deck. I don't know what that means. And then someone else said... Oh, say, yes. The, the Molnar card. Thank yes. you. Yes. So there you go. And someone else said to Thank say... You. Yeah. <laughs> we see it. Sorry, we were hoping you wouldn't notice that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yes, I will shuffle that in. Thank you very much. And Holistic Developer said to tell you you're doing a wonderful job. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Teaching. Uh, okay, so I'll shuffle that in. Uh, while I'm doing that, I will also explain how that works. <laughs> so with the two bone option for you, it's normally healing a gear lock mm -hmm. for one hit point. What this does is it gives you 
a secondary option for two bones, where you can do, it was two damage, Yep. and that's a ranged damage, Which is nice. and then you have a 50-50 chance of having it again. Now let's say you rolled the, I think it was four to six, means four you don't six. get it again, yep. you would just exhaust it, and, and it's, it's not available for that, for that battle, battle, but then you get it again at the end of the battle. Yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. So that can come in handy Which for is sure. good for me, because I don't have ranged attack, so yep. it's useful. <laughs> Everyone's like, <laughs> don't forget to shuffle those in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> They caught us, okay. <laughs> All right. We asked for help. We'll use it. Oh, thank you. So that MP Grunt. Thank you very much. So great job. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got the card shuffled in. We've done our lock picking. Uh, then we can go to resting and recovering, but we're still full health because there was nothing nothing bad that happened there, which means we do get to scout the area. So, okay, which I think is a good idea. Yep. So I'll scout first. Are you doing that? Yeah. On a two, I can look at the top of the one-point baddies. Okay. And it is a bog pole. The boomerang, yes, bad. it is permanent. Uh, that has poison one ability. That's not too bad. There are much worse things in the one-point baddie stack. I don't mind keeping that. No, I think that's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Am I doing a roll? Yep. Uh, okay. Okay. Two, so you get to look nice. at the next one down. Which is... Flight. What is with me in flight? Mm -hmm. So two for damage, two for attack, and five initiative. Okay. Griffin yearly. Okay. Well, we've handled one of those before. Yeah, I think we can do it again, so we'll okay. leave that there. There we go. All right. Okay. And that is it. So we're ready to go to the next day. All right. You ready for this? Yep. All right. Day four. Okay. And there it is. We shuffled it in, <laughs> and it's at the top of the deck. Molnar traders. <laughs> they want their pretzel monies right away. <clears throat> the Molnar are a sticky bunch, always showing up at the most opportune time for them. <laughs> Despite requiring payment in full and up front when selling their services, they also show up at random to demand extra coin or loot for no good reason at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, they have they have leverage, knowing the importance of keeping this adventure secret from the Evan. These silly games are tiring. Again, they approach, demanding participation in contests clearly stacked in their favor. Of course. <laughs> I'm so glad we shuffled that in. Okay, so we've got two options. Another challenge, this will waste valuable time. And this involves us going into a game of Dangerous Darts, oh, which you have not experienced yet, I don't Ooh, believe. Oh, lovely! So what happens is each gearlock must compete in their own dangerous darts challenge. Uh, I'll show you how that works if we decide to do this. Uh, if we win, then we get to draw loot. Okay. If we lose, we have to discard loot. Actually, we get to draw two loot. Uh, but if we lose, we have to discard loot. Okay. Um, and then shuffle this back in. Oh, gosh. Okay. So just keep coming Even back for win more. or lose, this shuffles back in. Oh. Because they're going to want more pretzel money. Dangerous. <laughs> the second option is... No more games. This stops now. Oh, wow. It gets aggressive. Which obviously means we're going to battle. Oh. Hmm. Maybe too hasty? They look ticked. So what will happen with that is the battle queue will be our batty, batty points. Yes. Day four, two of us, eight batty points. We mean a five-point batty and three one-point baddies. Okay. Each gear lock takes damage equal to their party size at start of battle. So right from the get-go, yes. we'll be down two hit points each. Ooh. The upside is, if we finish them off, they can't come back. Which I think I this like the sounds of that. We would also get a progress point, mm -hmm. two training points, and a loot. I almost wonder if it's worth, I think it's worth the risk, because then we're not getting that again. Let's get rid of them. I think we need to get rid of it. If it's unsuccessful, then we have to shuffle back in, because they're sure. obviously still alive. Right? Let's just not be but unsuccessful. I say, I say this ends now. <laughs> This end there. Yeah. Yes, about to get real. Yes, yes. yes. It is. I'm definitely about to get <laughs> yeah. real right now. Yeah. Uh, we can't have them coming back. No. All right. No. So, no. our batty Q is a five point and three one point batty. Yep. And we're going to start with two fewer hit points when we go into the battle map. Okay. So, first off, we have a bog lurk. Oh, that's a new one. It starts think. with six hit points oh. of damage. <laughs> or six hit points. Goes into lane one and he is ranged. Oh, lovely. Which is not good. And he's going to attack both of us when he attacks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. And he has an initiative of four. We'll see how that works out. Next, we have the Bog Pole, which, frankly, is pretty much negated by the fact that the Bog Lurk is there because you cannot stack poison. Right. So if he's hitting us for two poison, 
his his attack will be pretty that's okay. So that's not a bad thing necessarily. That's not a bad thing at all. Actually, not a bad thing at all. Yeah. So he gets three hit points going into lane two ranged, and an initiative of three. Next up, we have your your favorite Griffin. Uh, he's coming in with two hit points. He's melee. And an initiative of five, which means he'll yeah. take flight before you can yeah. hit him. Exactly. And the last mystery is... Uh, oh, no. A clay <laughs> golem. Golems, <laughs> golems are no fun. Someone mentioned golems being problematic. Right, we will probably want to leave him till last. I'll explain why in a yes. second. So he starts with five oh. hit points. Why is that so torturous? Melee. Going into lane four. Okay, they really are trying to kill us. <laughs> the plus side... Only an initiative of two. So okay. unless I roll, actually, no, we will get to go ahead of him. Mm -hmm. It just depends on the rest. So <laughs> we'll roll initiative. I rolled a four. That's not bad. Okay, can I at least roll something higher than a three? Oh, a three. three again. You've only got threes and fours. So, I know, but still. So three, you get to go ahead. Yep. Okay. All right, so there's our bad, uh, battle cue. For our initiative meter. So, where do we want to place ourselves? <laughs> Run away. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. He's going to get to go first no matter what. Okay. Um, so, I don't even get to hit him from range. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll explain I'll explain the abilities on each of these. And then we're going to have to place him. Yeah. Flight we've already covered. He's going to fly every second, every second uh, round. Poison 2, he's at range. Again, no attack dice, but he attacks up to three characters, which means... That poison effect that Mandy got in the last round, yeah. Poison 2, will actually be going on both of us, oh, no matter where we are on the map. That's terrible. So that's going to be a little rough. Stay away from the golem, kill the sucker. Yeah. Poison 1 uh, is the same as Poison 2, just weaker. And like I said, they don't stack. So that's not a bad thing that we have him in play. Mm -hmm. And lastly, the golem has an ability called Break. And anytime you hit him with just the regular attack dice, this isn't including skill dice, the regular attack dice, if they do damage to him, they get exhausted. So, for example, I have two attack dice. If I hit him with one of these, it goes to the exhausted area, and now I have one fewer attack dice to actually attack with, which that's not good at all. So ideally, we'll save him towards the end if we can. Mm -hmm. uh, or we hit him with stuff that are not regular attack dice. Well, somebody now, mentioned your grenade. I do have the frag, yep. so that is something I can throw. Yep. But that's the only thing I have that is not regular attack dice right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm and not. I can't do enough to finish him off. What I could do is I'll get to go before these guys go. I could hit those with the frag. And if I hit the frag here, it would actually do damage to both. It will do full damage to whichever spot I hit and half damage rounded down to anything adjacent. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think I might have to say that just in case I need that for him. Uh, this is where poison would be fantastic to poison him back. Yes, I know. Maybe I should have done that. Oh, well, next time. Yep. No, that's all right. So I think what I'll do, I'm going to be hiding in a corner somewhere. I'll need you to protect me. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. Hmm. I think the main thing is where do we want you to go? Do you want me to be in front of this? Because you said this is going to happen anyway, but I don't want to move. Right. Because I don't want to waste my movement. So, I mean, if it need be that I go a bit closer. These guys are staying here no matter what because right. they're ranged. I just don't want to waste a move yep. to do it or I work. And this is going to happen before my turn anyway. So then maybe you should place yourself here uh -huh. and then move in to attack him. I think that might be the best way to do yeah. it. So so I can go here. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to hide behind you because that's what I do. Oh, the grenade's coming. It is coming. And, like I said, we do start with two fewer hit points. Right, you did mention that. Yeah. Which is okay, because if I make it, then I get another heal. All right. So, I think we're ready to go here. Let's find out what happens. So, lane three goes first, which is the griffin. Mm -hmm. So, we get to decide. He's going to go here or here. We get to decide which way he goes. So, I mean, you can throw them on if you want, but kind of irrelevance. Well, it's relevant in the sense that we don't want him here because that interrupts your path to get sure. to this. And then guy. I have to deal with him. Yeah. So, let's move him here. He gets two attack dice against you. Brace yourself. Okay. Just one hit. Not bad. That's okay. All right. Now I get to go. And, sorry, he also takes flight. Yes. 
So Bye -bye. he's not he's not targetable while he's uh, in flight, and then he'll come back down on the next round. So he's only targetable every second round. Yes, I know about the poison. Uh, <laughs> next time. Right. I guess this is the best time to. Uh, well, let's see here. If you actually no, this is the best time for me to throw the frag because if I wait, you're going to be next to it. You'll be taking some damage as well. So, frags away. Yeah, and someone did say that. Yeah. So I got three northern dice. Spot would have given you. Uh, oh, okay. So MP Grunt says northern spot would have given you grenade hits even while flying. Northern spot. So. Northern, I'm assuming, I don't know if it's saying from my angle, so, mm. like, uh, so it would have been here, I guess, They right? They do get hit if they're within range of the frag, yes. Oh, uh, okay. But I can't actually target him. Mm. Now, let's say, for example, I'm just going to move him here. If he was here and flying, I couldn't target him, but I could target this spot, yeah. and he'd still take the damage. someone says, I don't damage. think that's true. Actually, that's from Chip Theory. Yeah. I don't think so that's true. So, yeah, if, so. if he was here, yes, because... Adjacency for frags has right. to be orthogonally adjacent, not diagonally. Uh, so if he was here and I hit here, full damage to my target. Oh, splash damage to oh, the side. Oh yes, correct. Sorry, misunderstood. Okay. But okay. if he's here, then yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to be aiming here with my frag, and then uh, I'm just oh, going to go. It says he can take splash damage. Yes, yep. splash damage. Okay, yes. perfect. I can't target him directly though. Right. Right. Okay, so I'm going to go with frag and two attack dice, mm. trying to take this guy out. Mm, okay, I think above patches is what he was saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I understand what you're saying. That is amazing. That so is amazing I'm going to roll. do six damage to this Boglerk, which is dead. Oh, look at that. Did amazing. you guys see that roll? That was pretty slick. And then half of the frag damage only, which is three, half is going to be rounded down to one. Also carries over right. to the bog pole. So that is dead. That is quite lucky. I will take that. <laughs> I lucky. will take that. It's that skilled. means we, uh, yes, that was so skilled. Uh, now this gets exhausted. Yep. And we no longer have to worry about that poison too. Thank goodness. Because that's, that's the one I was aiming fantastic. for. So, yeah. <laughs> killer roll. Yes. Absolutely. I'm Literally. quite happy with that. Yes, killer roll killer indeed. Roll indeed. Yes. yes. Okay, so we're at me, aren't we? We are at you. So this changes your plan a bit. Because yes, because he's I was hoping targetable. to do that, but now I feel like I might have to move, but I don't want to waste all my movement. Correct. Um, Can I move on a diagonal? Now, what you could do, no. You mm. you have to move oh, with a And yeah. you've only got three dexterity, which means if you did move two, you've only got one die left to roll. So this is where you could use your other dice instead. You can start buffing us up. You have two. Uh, Two dice within the stim stacker line. Yes, these two. That are... will give us buff HP. So and I can just decide to roll these. Yep. Well, I, technically I have three, but you I can have roll three. these. So you could roll a defense just to get some defense ready. Sure. You could also roll a healing because you do have. Oh, oh. Let's go. What happens at the start of your turn? Oh, I always forget this. Yep. I get some healing. Yep, never forget that. Okay. So you could heal <laughs> up a bit, but I don't think we need that yet. I don't think we're there yet, but I definitely think these two should happen for sure. Sure. Um, but then that leaves me with one more. I can't attack anything right now, but can defense. I save? I can do a defense Absolutely. for later. Okay, so yep. let's do that. Because Lord knows I didn't do enough yep. of and that. And then you could buff, buff up both of our HPs. Oh. That is fantastic. Uh, I don't know what kind of magic you guys are so, throwing my way. Can you see that? <laughs> I don't know. If, look, you might be able to see that. That is too far. No, buff seriously, HPs. I don't even know if you can see that. We will take those. I will take that. So basically. Okay. So put one of them up here. Yeah. And then I get the other one. Okay. There so you go. now it goes into my active. And then my defense goes up here as well. Yep. Hit. And then what you do is you put five HP in, that's the in your prep yeah. area. That's Perfect. the box. So now whenever yeah. you get hit, take it from here first. <laughs> that's right. And Start I will also take it. five. Okay, so that was a fantastic roll for just sitting there. This is the polar <laughs> opposite of the game we play. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it, it is. Okay, so next up we've got lane two going. Yep. He's going to target both of us with poison one. Okay. So, poison one, two. Check for magnets under the this table. One here. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. And that's his attack. That's it. Then we go to lane four, and that's the golem. So, he is going to go towards you. You are the closest. Correct. And where we place him is pretty irrelevant right now. It would be relevant if we could get him. Actually, I don't even have any frags left, so it is irrelevant. So, yeah. one, two. Yeah. And then he's going to attack you with one attack done. So that's okay. not too bad. That's not bad. And he's going to miss. <laughs> All right. 
On to round two. All right. And we've got lane three going first. So now the griffin's going to land. Yep. That comes off, which means he is now targetable. Right. Which is good. He's going to attack you because he is next to you with that's right. two dice. And that's okay, going to be so one, one hit. hit. So that's not... That's acceptable. Oops, just one. Okay. okay. I'm up next, and I do have a poison effect on me, so I am going to take one hit from buff HP. Uh -huh. That comes off. And where am I going to go next? Yes. Oh, one thing that I did not do that I will mention is I threw my frag before. I didn't change my counter. So that should be two down to one. I've only got one uh, one grenade. Nice. And having said that, I will roll a casing to see if I can get another one back. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try and take out the uh, the griffin, I think. Yeah. Because I might be able to just remove him completely. Because, yeah, it's only two. So I'm going to do that and two attack. All right, get her done. All right, now I got one attack, which will do one damage, and then I got one bones, which means I can use my one ability, which is throw odds, that does another damage, and that would actually kill off nice. the griffin. Sweet! That is unacceptable. Fantastic. Then I also got a casing, which I can use along with the other parts that I have to get another right. grenade. Nice. So that takes back up to two. Okay, getting prepped. I like that. So over to you. So okay. you would take one poison damage, yep. but then you would also heal one right. back so at the start of your turn. So you break even. Yep. Yep. Put back on, excuse me. Now. Although technically, I guess, would that come off of this? Uh, no, you know what? Actually, that does matter. Yes. Yeah. That so does make technically, a it would it would actually come off of this. So one poison, but don't put that back no. here. Where does this one go? Over here. Over here. Yep. Oh, that's right, because so this is from my base. one yep. off of your buff, and now heal one. From here. From here, yep. Uh, that's right. Because you can't heal buff HP, no. but you can heal your regular HP. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. <laughs> you guys are doing really well. Huh? <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess at this point, I mean, that's... We're going to have to take him out at some point. So we might as well just <clears throat> do it now. And I would suggest if you roll a 2 on your attack, use it. If you roll a 1, you might want to save it. Because yeah. you can you can choose. You can decide whether or not you want to use the attack. Oh, okay. So that I didn't know. You actually. don't have to commit to it. Uh, the mm -hmm. only things that you have to commit to are any dice that have a red on it, mm -hmm. a red bone. And then, those then you have to too. save the bone. You have to put the bones into so your... So uh, right now, that means I have... So I have three to use, right? Mm -hmm. So you're thinking I should do... Now, I also have... Uh... Are we interested in using this? Uh, you need to get the backup plan. You need to get the bones in there first to first be able to, to trigger it. it. Okay, uh, Which is but it's not. Idea. It's not a bad idea. Okay, so, so maybe I should just roll three. Uh, you've only got two attack dice. Two, excuse me. Yes. But you can roll. Let's see here. What do we want you to do? You have three dice to roll. You could roll two attack. Uh, and... It says maybe wrong, but doesn't poison take off HP, not buff? Uh... You want to do a rolls check? If uh... that's not should. Uh, theory. Okay, so we're going to do a rules check on that sure. just to make sure that we are doing that correctly. It does not, It uh, poison definitely does ignore um, shields, for sure. Uh, but I think H, buff HP is still HP based on the name of it, so I think it would still come off the, the buff HP. But... So, so poison takes away actual HP over buff? Nice. It's like true damage. Yep, poison is true damage. Ignores buff and takes off HP. But... But buff HP, so we would need a ruling on is buff HP HP. Right. By its name, I would think it's HP. So if anybody from Chip Theory is in there. Um, yeah, because that definitely does make a difference. Yep. Uh, Check. Gear Lock Adventure Guide, he said. Well, let's see. All right, we're doing a rules check. It, it comes down to what is the definition of buff HP. Right. Because it is called buff HP, I would think that is HP. It is definitely true damage. I know that. Yeah. Uh, poison set or reset? No, don't be sorry. It's, this is why we're doing this. Don't be sorry yeah. at all. We're doing this to provide This is the kind of question that other people will have as well. That's right. So you're actually helping us out by asking that because someone else is going to ask it. So my gosh, don't be sorry at all. Yeah, No, it, it definitely is true damage. That is for sure. And it does ignore um, shields. But the ruling we would need is, is buff HP HP? 
Because it's called Buff oh, HP. Actually, so Chip Theory, thank goodness that they're yeah. on here. Check in with the bosses. So stay tuned. We're going to find out. Because you're absolutely right. It makes a difference. So we're just waiting for the final call. This is so exciting. <laughs> okay. So they're not entirely sure at the moment either? Nope. He's okay. checking with the bosses. So. Yeah. Because to me, if it's Buff HP, that is a form of HP. Right. But, uh, yeah, we'll wait on the ruling. Yeah, we'll get a ruling. So, now, great in question. The meantime, yeah, and that is the kind of question, by all means, ask. Because if we don't yeah. have the answer, other people will, might have the uh, the question as well. Everyone's putting their kids to bed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it says, thought buff had to be taken first over base HP. So, this is what somebody else was saying as well. Exactly, exactly. Right, yeah. so we have it kind of going both ways. So, no problem. So, right mm -hmm. now, looking forward to the answer. I know everyone <laughs> wants to know. With bated breath, we await. It says, so, Chip. Theory Games um, says, I am fairly sure it hits your buff HP first. Yes, because it is a form of HP. So we'll get like a final, final mm -hmm. answer, but as of right now, that's yeah. what we're looking at. Uh, so someone wrote here, Mac Drizzle, I think in Adam's playthrough, he took it from the Gearlock's HP and not the buff. Buff takes regular damage, not true damage. Okay. So as of right now, Chip Theory Games is saying, they're fairly certain it comes off of your buff, buff HP first, mm -hmm. but I know that they said they were going to double check with uh, some of the other bosses. So yeah, we'll. But that's obviously how good of a question it is. Yeah. Because. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But it does come down to the definition of buff HP. If buff HP is buffing your actual hit points, yeah, then you'd think that that would be coming off of that. But it could go the other way as well, where it does say that it's true damage and goes directly off of your own. So it could go either way. Yeah. Do the Jeopardy music, I know. I'm like, do I continue? Or do uh, in the meantime, um, I think this is going okay. Yep. Now, where were we? Well, so, we'll keep that in mind. Sure. If we do need to reverse where it came from, right. that's easily We fixable. were at me. I was going to pick up two right. to roll. So if the if the ruling does come the other way, we can easily reverse sure. that. That's, that's not easy a problem. To fix. But we'll so, carry on until until we get right. the final So call. you guys can keep us in check to make sure we don't forget. Yep. All right. So, so I'm going to roll rolling two attack. Two and... The other option you have is you could re-roll this. Which I think is good because it's not great. So it's not great. You might roll bones, which right. would, would actually help you get your backup plan, maybe trigger the boomerang, and you, know you might what? get a two, which would actually give you more defense. Let's, let's give that a whirl. Worst case, you get another one. Ah, oh, so it was two. worth it. I got the two. Now, what you also got were two ones. <laughs> I know. So if you were to, this is where we get to show you what break does. Okay, hold on. Got Official word. Yep. I'd do okay. a drum roll if I could. <laughs> and there's the drum roll. <laughs> Takes your regular HP. Okay, so what we'll do then is we'll take one off of your regular yep. and put it onto your buff. Okay. Because that's where we took it off. Reverse so it. that's fine. We're back. We're <laughs> no, you're not. I mean, no, he, it's like, to know. honestly, he's the rules guy. I'm like <laughs> the player, even though, anyway. I've only played, I'm that. not the rules guy. I've only played this, uh, you know, a handful <laughs> of times, but that is one of those little questions that's. So just a repeat, official word takes off of your regular HP. Okay. Okay? I'm a villain. So we cry. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay. So you, you did upgrade your uh, your shield there from one to two. That's yes. great. Now you've got two damage that you can do. Mm -hmm. If you apply that to him, mm -hmm. he would take the two damage. You would lose your attack dice, and you would have no further way to attack. Uh, so what I would recommend right now is maybe just that, hold on to yeah, those. I'm yeah, I'm thinking that's wise. Um, and if we do get to the fatigue rounds, which is after round five, once we all start uh, taking true damage at the start of the round, that's where we could just sure. kind of wait them out. Yeah, exactly. If we but get for to right now, point. we've got time, so we'll yeah. just leave that alone. Okay, so we're on to lane two going. <laughs> so that is the bog pole. So he's going to trigger his poison one effect on both of us. Okay. That's his turn. And then lane four, which is the uh, golem. He's going to attack you with one die. Okay. And one, one damage. Comes off of that can come here. off of your buff HP. Yep. Perfect. All right. Then we're on to round three. Okay. We're getting there. I get to go first. I'm going to take him out next. And how will I do that? I'm going to roll two attack. And I'm going to roll my body search to see if I can get some more parts for my grenades. Uh -huh. That'll do two damage. And that'll kill him off. Nicely done. That works. And then I also rolled. Uh, I also rolled. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Loot. Said you guys rock through this most fun I've had not playing it myself. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Wait till we go down the path of death. 
Yeah. Maybe we won't be. Things so. are sunny and cheery right now, but we'll see how long that lasts. Oh, well, that's so great to hear. Thank you so yes. much. We appreciate that. <laughs> so with my uh, with my body search, I did roll the loot die. Okay. Which means I could take a loot. Yep. Uh, the other options on here is buff HP, but you've buffed us nicely. Yeah, and then good. there's parts, but I'm going to take a look at what the loot is. So yeah. that will exhaust. Mm -hmm. And I get oh, some loot. loot. So what did I get? I got the treasure trove map. So this is single use. Shuffle the special encounter, the ebonite doorway, into your encounter deck if it has not already been completed. I'm going to do that. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. I will use that loot card. Okay. And get... The special encounter, Ebonite Doorway, gets shuffled in. And now that I go to shuffle in, I realize the next card, this is this is an even better reason to shuffle this deck, <laughs> is the actual Tyrant card. So Ooh. we got we got kind of messed over with the, uh, the the Molnar coming the very next turn. <laughs> this would have been the turn after, but getting that uh, treasure map, I get to shuffle this in, which means we get to shuffle that card back in. <laughs> so we got the good and the bad out of that. <laughs> All right, and well, it's back at the top. Oh no! I could have just kept shuffling there, but I'll remain honest. That's where I stopped shuffling. That's fine. Oh. Okay. So that was me. Back to lane two is actually removed, so that's fine. Now lane four. Oh, did is I go? The golem. Uh, did you go? No, nope, I haven't gone yet. Well, then by all means. I need to go. So one poison. We yep. know that comes off of here. So that's gonna go here. And then you heal one back. Well. Oh, come back to me. <laughs> All right. And the poison effect is off. Oh, boy. Okay. So I'm thinking, do we want to get rid of... So we're, I think that's the only one. Oh, that is the only one. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, you could start hitting him now, I guess. I, I think this is what's going to have to happen. I may lose dice, though. And... Uh, there's no other... Uh, there's nothing else for you to roll. Just, You've already got... And you know oh, what? That probably should have ticked down before, but yes. that's okay. Should it be at one? Well, it should have been at one, and you would actually still have your buff HP. Because oh, you didn't that's have right, shield. because I didn't take... Yeah. So, yeah. That, so, technically... Move that down. Okay. Yeah. And then you would actually still have the still buff have HP. Still have the buff, yeah. Now, having said that, because that is the case, mm -hmm. I'd say re-roll that. Maybe get some bones. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Don't forget... I know the boomerang, trust me, I'm eyeballing it. I'm hoping I can roll some bones she to... She needs to get some bones to trigger yeah. that. Yeah. So, that's why we're going to re-roll. Now, you've got two attack. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Good. So re-rolling the uh, defense dice might. Ah, uh, there's one. But there's one. So halfway to be able to be able to use the, uh, the boomerang, it takes two bones to be able to trigger the. Now, is it that. really worth it for me at this point to use this damage? I mean, he's got a lot of damage still happening there. Uh, he does. And I'd say. That, I'd gone. say wait. Right. Because you might be able to get more bones on re-rolling those. I, I'm gonna. So I'm not gonna use these. And frankly, he only rolls one attack die at a time. Town. You currently have five buff HP right. plus that. You're recovering one every round. So he can bleed me dry, but it'll take to, a while to get there. We just need to wait him out. Yeah. You may need to heal me at some point. Sure. Because I do have the buff. But, but now that we know that poison does go straight to your true HP and not buff HP, mm -hmm. I may need to heal at some point. But yeah. you do have the die for that. Yeah. All right. So having said that, it is now the golem's turn. He gets one die. Mm. And he does one damage. He has one. So and he's doing that it against off my of your, Yeah. Okay. All right. Round four. Second bone. Question is, how many bones are too many bones? There are never too many. <laughs> never too many. All right, so I'm going to go first. Uh, I am down to... Actually, well, I start by taking one yes, poison. Yes, one poison. Yeah, you're going to need some health soon. I'll need some healing. Yep. Uh, but that's... Actually, you know what? And even... Yeah, I, I won't. Because I got rid of the no, bone that's pole, true, and you have we won't be poisoned bone. anymore. Yeah. So we're actually doing all right. Uh, I do have Sonic Cleanse. That's my last uh, grenade. It won't do us any good here. It'll be great for removing poison in future rounds, though. So really what I'm down to is two attack, two defense. So I'm going to roll two defense mm -hmm. and one attack because my defense, uh, if I get some bones, does allow me to do additional damage and then I don't have to worry about exhausting my attack dice. So let's see. Okay. So I get one shield. Uh, I get one bones, which actually does do one damage, so that way I can do damage to him, and I don't have to worry about exhausting any of my attack dice. Yep. And then I'll save the attack die uh, for now. We'll see how it goes. Yep. So we're so, at me. Back to you. Okay, so at this point right now, I'm looking at this. 
Yep, I'd say do the same thing to attack one defense. This yeah. doesn't count towards the, the your defense dice. Perfect, so I can do that. And if you get another bones, you could toss the... Uh, there it is. Well, looky, looky. Mm -hmm. So before we figure out what to do with these, yeah. what does that so, let you do? So Boomerang, the one who was asking about that, if you guys have enough HP, you can kill that golem to the fatigue round. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's what we're doing. It's kind of waiting it yeah, out. Yeah, waiting it out a little yep. bit. But now we can potentially trigger this boomerang here. Yep. So backup plan extension. So two bones. Select any baddie and do two damage. Roll a d6. On a one to three, the boomerang comes back to you and can be used again this battle. But mm. on a four to six, it is lost for this. Lost and this backup plan is unavailable for the rest of the battle. So basically I need to roll between a one and a three. Now, I'm also going to give you one more option. Yes. You have two bones right now. Mm -hmm. Because we are kind of waiting it out, and mm -hmm. once we get to the fatigue round, let him trickle down to zero health. Mm -hmm. You have time that you could try and build up to a fortunate discovery. Which is what I was trying to do last time. Which lets you pick one of your consumable dice. Yes. Or if you roll a lot of bones, you could even get high enough that you could upgrade to your innate plus one. I'm almost wondering if we do that because it's not like we're in dire straits mm -hmm. at the moment. And I might even start saving. There isn't a lot that I want to save for here. No, but for Except me for my upgrade uh, innate ability. I'm not sure if I'm going to get that high, but you're already at two bones. So yeah, so I'm almost wondering if I should just kind of... I'd say go for that. So yeah. still rolling... Or, sorry, you already rolled. I already rolled. Yep. Those are my so two, but we're I'd not going to... I'd say gonna... don't use those nope. because you want to try and get more bones. That's right. Yeah. So in this case, we're not going to trigger the boomerang because no. we're hoping that we can get her bone count up high enough for something even more beneficial. Exactly, because that poison dart was quite good. In the meantime, he's going to keep trying to tick away at you. One damage. Get one damage, so that's off here. Yep. Then we go to round five. Oh boy. I'm going to go first. Uh huh. Uh, I will just. Let's, what do I have? I've got. Uh, I'll go again with one attack, two defense, and I'm going to try and get some bones myself. We'll see if I can save. Ah, we got one. One bones. Uh, actually, that would be re rolling that. So then I'll put those there. And I'm not going to use that for the one hit right now. If I get high enough to. Let's see here. I think throw ends does three damage. Yeah, it does three damage. Uh, really, there's nothing else here that would benefit me this battle, except mm -hmm. for the upgraded innate ability. But again, I don't think I'll get that. Uh, Mandy, did you use your innate healing last time? Good call. I don't think I don't did. think I did. Thank you for reminding me. Seriously, I forget every time I play this character. Yeah. So, so yeah. you would have I added one. I should have had one yep. from before. Thank and you for the reminder. It is your turn. So now that it's fresh in your mind. Now this is for this turn. Yep. Lord, I'm trying to kill myself. And you do still get one more. I think it ended up getting put aside at one point. Yes. So you are short one. Now. One? Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. So I think we were trying to aim for this. Should I, like, I'm just debating on, well, these can give me bones as well, right? Yep. So yep. might as well do And that. right now that's all you have. You've got three right. dice to roll. So you two have two attack, attack one defense. And one defense. Yep, might as well go for it. Good call. <laughs> Internet to the rescue. Yes, thank yeah. you. <laughs> We've got Woo! secondary healers out here. That's great. Another bones. Yeah. One more, and you get to your uh, fortunate discovery, which is good. And that's that. Okay. And then he's going to go. Okay. One die. So close. One damage. So that can come off your buff. Yep. Which is slowly whittling away. <laughs> now we're down to the fatigue rounds. So, start of the fatigue it's round. It's the wine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not a big drinker, so probably. Uh, now, this is where I might need some healing. Okay. So, fatigue round, everybody's going to take one damage. Right. At the start of every round. I've got two left. So on your next turn, we might get you to roll that just yeah, to keep to get me alive long enough. Yeah. If I die off, it's not a huge deal because as long as one of us is alive, that's a success. Is the med kit any better at rolling bones? Uh, no, there's just... Uh, there's it's just... I don't think there's any bones there's on no that. There's bo no, no bones at all on no this die. On that one. So. It's just uh, how well you heal. And exactly. I think it ranges from one to three. Yeah, one yeah. to three. Yeah. No yeah. bones on no that No bones, one. yeah. All right, so I go first. Let's yep. see if I can get some bones. I will re-roll both of my defense dice, mm -hmm. and I'll roll an attack. Oh, no problem. There's one more. Still not really doing much for me, but that's okay. I'm We're waiting sorry. it out to see if you can get something good out of this. Right. So it's over to you. Okay. Start of your turn. So I haven't used anything here, right? Because you said I got a hit last time. Should that have come off of there? And we all took a hit? Yes, it should have. Should have? Okay. But that, that's okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. But start of your turn. So yes. you do get one back. Some of that healing. Yep. <clears throat> All and right. same thing. Two attack, one defense. But if you're re-rolling defense, that actually has to come out. So because that does count towards your defense. You know what? We might as well. I think you yeah. should. Yeah. You're looking for bones right now. 
No! no Alright. Oh, That's guess... okay. Oh wait, were we supposed to roll this? Uh, Are you going to make it? I'll make it. Okay. And you know what? Even if I don't, as long as you survive, which yeah. you will. So I just get the one and then this goes here. Yep. Uh, all right. So now he's going to go. Go as well as I would have liked. He does one hit. Uh, if you use med kit to heal all the way up before battle ends, you won't need to R and R at end of fight. True. No, oh, that's also true. Yeah. True. Uh, but we're going for bones. We want to see some bones. Uh, because if she can get one more at least, yep. that would be a fortunate discovery, which could get her a poison dart, which is another form of poison, but is actually ranged for her. Mm. She's a melee character, but the poison dart would give you some ranged poison. We did that last time, and it was be, quite good. Yeah, it's great yeah. against the golems. So he hits you for one, okay. so we'll take it off the shield this yep. time, because it is there, and yep. we'll remember that. So we're back to fatigue, and so one so off of one that. one off of you, one off of me. Oh, that's right, it comes right off of your... Uh... Yep. Yeah, okay. And I don't mind. If, if I die off, that's fine. Let's get you some bones. So I go first. Uh, I will... I'm still going to go with one attack, two defense. Yep. Which means that will get removed. And nothing useful there. I've got the defense there, but that's not going to do me I any good. I feel like our luck is running out here. Okay. We just need one more bones from you, at least. Do you want me to roll this? Because I don't... It doesn't matter if I die off. That's true. I have enough. Um, to keep us going. Because we are playing on the... Too many options, yes. Oh, because gosh. we are playing on the, and I want to make sure I get the name right, Greenhorn Adventurer level, mm -hmm. uh, if I had anything locked here, I wouldn't lose it. Normally you would lose anything here if you get KO'd, um, but we're playing on the, the Greenhorn, and I don't have anything there anyway, so that's not that big a deal. I don't mind dying okay. off. So you, you want me to, to give it another, another go? Do it again. Let's see if you can get some Okay, else. this should be entertaining. <laughs> Too many dice. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. Okay, come on. Woo! No! No bones. All right, that's Jeez. okay. So you've got the two shield there. That is garbage. He's going to go. Hit you with nothing. He misses. Catching. So we fatigue again. So this is your last chance to try and get some bones. I think he's dead. gone. I'm gone. Uh. So this buff HP is gone. That is gone. I'll put that yep. to your exhaust. Thank you. These are gone. This is gone, right? My bones are gone. Is this uh, completely that gone? That is gone. And I don't think I took and a hit. And actually, I should be healing as well, three, right? Six, just give me one second. Yep. Six, so that is my health. Okay, so... Gone, heal. Yes. Correct? Yep. And I'm out of the rotation. So now it's down to you. This is your last chance. Any more healing for that last round? So I just healed now. Did I heal in the last round? Uh, whether you did or not, it's kind of irrelevant at this yeah. point. This is your last chance. I think I did not. Yeah, Thank you possible. for that. It's but possible. I did heal this round, so if I die by one, then it's totally my fault. So, <laughs> you, let's see you roll some bones. Okay. Two attack, one defense, which means this is going to be gone. Yes, thank you. One bone. Oh, for no the bones. love of Pete. Okay. Oh my gosh. Seriously? So, with that having done, <laughs> oh. which you could do at this point, because... These are going to be removed. They're going to be removed, yeah. You might as well just use your uh, yeah, level 3 needle jab, yep. which will do 2 damage to yeah. him anyway. So we might as well just do that. Or you could use the attack to do it. Um, uh, what else do you have? Heal, heal yourself for 1. That's you know what? Happen. You think that I should do that? And then I won't have to do that at the beginning of the round, right? Having 1 hit point damage to you is not a big deal because do at I the start this? of your turn... Yes. Yeah. You're going to lose the buff HP. Mm -hmm. At the start of your turn in the next battle, you're going to heal one anyway. So I might as well. That's smart, because then I can use that action for something else. Sure. So So we'll use the heal gear lock. You'll heal yourself for one. Yep. So that costs you two bones. So it then, goes from this way to this way, you said, right? Yep. Left this, to right, spinning like those. And then this moves down. Yep. Okay. Oopsie. And give yourself two then. Or sorry, one. One. Uh, hit point. Yep. Take one here. Yep. And then these were. And gone. then you're hitting him, so he is gone. And removed. All right, this comes out. All right, so we didn't quite get you there. We are one bone away. But these are going to leave, right? Yeah. So yeah. at the end, anything that's active, so that's yeah. and any bones get removed at the end of the round. Right. Anything that is locked can stay. So that's important for the parts that I'm building. Yeah. Or any of your dice that are, that are lockable. For example, uh, actually, you don't have anything. No, I don't. Available yeah. yet? So that's not fine. yet. Okay, so you come off of the planet yep. with your buff HP gone. gone. That's gone. Still have that from last round. That gets this exhausted, exhausted, but because it's the end of the round, it's coming back. Get it back. So we get all of our 14, dice back. This is nine, and this is gone. And I just want to make sure that we haven't lost anything there. Six and one is seven. Perfect. 
Okay. So, end of the battle. We then look at the spoils. I should have uh, six, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I thought you said seven. Yeah. Uh, total of total Sorry, seven. yeah, yep. no, you're up under seven. So we did win that. Took the, took the long route to get there. We let them bleed out, but yeah, we did win you. that. Uh, so what we get, we get one progress point. Woohoo! We get two training points, and we get a loot. Woohoo! Thank you. You're welcome. Do we get to read these ones? We do. Ooh, Ooh. go, go, gadget arm. <laughs> what does that do? If a training attempt fails, you may make another attempt. Okay. And it says two uses. Nice. So... All right, and I got a fortunate discovery, which lets me select one of my consumable dice and place it in a spot on my mat, and then is available for use. I may end up giving that over to Patches to grab the poison dart that we were trying to get there. Uh, but we'll see. So someone made a comment about the rules, like hmm? there being like a lot to remember during live play. I played it once, and I'm still having to yeah. rely on him to uh, Michael to remind me of certain things. So yeah, it is tricky. There are I find a lot of rules. Yeah, I'm sure you can little things that. here and there that that like the the one that we had yeah. with the poison, whether you could use the buff HP or not. That's a that really could have gone either way. But yeah. it's nice that we've got Chip Theory Games helping there with the uh, yeah. the rules and call people on that. asking great questions. So. Yep. <laughs> Cue Rocky theme music <laughs> with like Go Go Gadget Arm. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So that is our loot. Uh, two training points. How would you like to spend your training points? Okay, so there are a couple things here. I can't do anything. I think I know what the crowd wants. <laughs> I know they keep saying poison. So I don't mind that. Call. Okay, so and when we say poison, we're talking so about toxins. Be your, your toxins. Yep. Right. So let's maybe go, let's go that route. Yep. I so do I need to start at five first? No. Anything with a star, I can start at six. Can be done right away. Yep. Perfect. So we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Boink. That's one, right? Yep. <sighs> do you think I should up something here? I mean, so far it hasn't been bad with the attack. You know what? <laughs> poison in caps. Yes. Okay. Poison. Okay. I can't even see the chat, and I knew what you guys wanted. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. So, okay. Well, here we go. How about I leave it to the chat? If you guys could answer this in a short amount of time, what do you think I should spend my other... I do have one recommendation. Okay. You've made it far enough now that you could unlock the distiller. So remember, there's a 1 in 6 chance sure. of this backfiring. Mm -hmm. There's also a 1 in 6 chance of just it doing nothing. So oh, Josh Carlson here. You're doing great, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> so basically, you've got a 2 in 3 chance of this doing good things, okay. a 1 in 3 of it doing bad things, or just nothing at all. So the distiller actually helps mitigate those bad rolls mm -hmm. uh, by letting you re-roll. So the, the distiller is die 13, mm -hmm. and if you look at the sides on that, if you were to roll this, and this is one of the ones that I was saying that she could lock into her mat and carry over from battle to battle. So, for example, if she rolled this side, that lets her re-roll one of those dice that are in the stim stacker skill tree yeah. two times. So she could do this early in a battle, have it locked here, and then when she goes to roll those, if it is one of those negative effects, she could then trigger this to re-roll it and try and get one of the positive effects out of yeah, it. Yeah, see, someone else up the defense, and I was thinking about that too. But I, I don't think I've had a huge issue with defense at this point. But then again, we also haven't had really hard ones. Mm -hmm. But this was one definitely that was on the radar from last time. Mm -hmm. what do the, you think? the buff HP is, in a way, its own type of defense. That's and true. then that makes sure that you get a good defense out of it if yeah. you end up with a bad roll. Yeah. So I don't okay, I'm sold. Good choice. Wait, good choice on the defense or good choice on the distiller? Because <laughs> oh, I'm kind of leaning towards the distiller because I thought about defense, but I did that last time and it didn't work out so well for me. Hopefully no. I explained that well enough that, that's, <laughs> that that does make sense. Okay, so I'm thinking distiller. Not that defense is bad, but I, I'm going to try this. So let's do that. I'm hoping that's what you meant. All right. So I have two to spend. I think that's what I'm going to start with, I have a sonic cleanse. That's going to help with poison later on. I think I'm going to grab a flashbang. I used that for the first time the last time I played this just over the weekend. Um, to great effect, this actually lets me remove the abilities of up to a five point baddie, depending on what I roll on here. And to remove something that has, for example, break, that means it won't actually exhaust our attack dice, which is great. Ooh, so nice. I'm going to take that as one. Mm -hmm. And then, don't say it. No, and then. <laughs> uh, I think I will go with, oh, let's get crazy and get a big boom in here, too. <laughs> Why not? Let's get a big boom. Oh, the craziness. Can't wait to see Cleanse 
I feel like that's really strong. It is. Sonic Cleanse, <laughs> uh, if you have baddies out there, if you have multiple baddies especially, that are doing poison to you, uh, it not only clears the poison that is currently on your entire party, it will remove the ability for you to be poisoned <laughs> a number of rounds based on what you roll. So it could be the next two rounds, you're safe from any negative effects like that. Hashtag big boom. Big boom, yes. Uh, and then next time I'm going for the bigger boom. <laughs> but that's that's later. We'll see what exciting stuff like that. You've got the stim stacker relying. That's great. That's no. what's that's what's keeping us alive. <laughs> okay, so we've got our progress points. We've got two training points. We've got our loot. We've got success. So now we go on to the recovery. Mm -hmm. And I will just flip through everything here. So recovery. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Uh, we can trade loot among the party. And I think I will actually trigger that this time. Okay. I'm going to give you the fortune discovery. Okay. Did you want to do... And that will get you something fun. Uh, I'm just going to give okay. it to you. Select one of your consumable skill dice. Ah, oh, placing it spawn in a spawn is now available for use. Mm -hmm. What's up? And it's a single use. Yep. So I'm assuming that people want the poison dart. They seem to be big fans of poison out there. I don't know. Just throwing that out there. So maybe we'll go for that. The other option is liquid life. Yeah. Which does have some beneficial uh, attri attributes here where... That's um, the uh, revive. Yep. Yeah. So what that does is you can preemptively basically have some, if you see me down to one or two life, mm. you could roll that. That goes into an active slot. If I get knocked out, I don't actually get removed from the map. I get immediately revived mm -hmm. with whatever, whatever HP number, yeah, you roll. It's on there. However, you're doing a very good job of keeping us alive with all the buff HP that's available. So I say poison dart. I know. Someone's like, was it? MP Grant's like, LL, liquid life. I'm going to, poison seemed to be a thing, so let me let me try the poison. Mm -hmm. If I'm totally off here, you guys can totally laugh at me later. And it does give you a ranged attack. That's your only ranged attack. Yeah, which I don't have at all, so mm -hmm. that's kind of nice. So that yep, is so I'll used. Throw that under here. Since you aren't fighting, Drellin loves me some poison. <laughs> you guys are very strange-minded people. No, I'm just kidding. I love yeah, the poison. Uh, Drellin is another tyrant. We're not going up against him, but with him, you can't actually poison him. No. No. So oh. it wouldn't be as beneficial. But uh, because we're not going up against him, all poison all the time. I did. I went with poison. There yep. you go. All right. So that's trading loot. Uh, we can make a lockpicking attempt. Okay. And because you've already picked yours, yes. you can actually help me pick mine. Sweet. So I've already got the lever locked, uh, unlocked. So mm -hmm. I need four trip next. So I'll try myself and see how far I can get. And if I can't do it, then you can sure. help me. Help so me four trip. Oh, I think you're good. five trip. You've got five. I'll take that. So those come off. Now I need three force. Is that even possible on here? Yes, it is. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. No. And plus one won't do me any good. But but I can roll. You can now help. So needing three force. And your magic hands did it well for yours. There it is. Four there it force. Is. That'll do it. Thank you very much for your help. Your your lock picking expertise. <laughs> You're a, a combination uh, melee uh, thief, is what you are. All right, this is actually a good one for a ranged character. It's the micro neural implant. Oh my! On my turn, I can choose a target after rolling my dice. Ooh. So I get to roll all my dice and then choose my target. Not as effective for a melee because if you're melee, you're usually just standing next to your target already. Mm -hmm. But for myself, I can stand back here, pick a target anywhere Sweet. that lets me roll my dice first. That's so pretty slick. Thank you for unlocking that. That's, no problem. That's great. My magic yeah. dice hands. <laughs> all right, that's the lock picking. Now we go to rest and recover. You don't need to. You've, you're no. only down one, and you can heal that back on your turn. I need to because I was knocked out. Right. So I'll take all. I do have six. So because you're not resting and recovering, yep. you have the option to search for better loot or scout the area. Now, search for better loot. You already know how scout the area works. Mm -hmm. Searching for better loot means you would discard one of your loot. Right. And then you would roll six attack dice. However many bones you show... Uh, however many bones you roll, that's yeah. how many loot cards you get to look at, okay. and then you pick one. So, how much do you like that gadget arm? I mean, it's if a training attempt fails, you may make another attempt. Yeah, it's fine, but I feel we could potentially do better. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I'd be willing to, to do a roll on that. All right, so let's discard that. Okay. And then roll six attack dice. So, I have four. Perfect. Now, I haven't been rolling a lot of bones here, so this should be entertaining. Now's the time. Really? One? 
Well, you still get to look at one. There was one time I played, I rolled six and didn't get any. So I threw away a loot and got nothing for it. <laughs> at least you're getting something back. Oh, so I get to keep this? Yep. All right, so it says flare distraction. It's a single use. Okay. Before battle, reduce your total baddie points by three. That's not bad. That's pretty, actually, then that's better. Yep, than that is better because depending on the day, sometimes the baddie points can be an awkward number where you end up with way too many things on the map. Right. That can help reduce it. So that's good. Yeah. All right. So that was upgrading loot. Okay. So then we go on to a new day. Yahoo! So we're on to day five. Yep. Guess what's up next? <laughs> oh, jeez. We've got the tyrant encounter. What could it be? <laughs> we went from the Molnar encounter right into the tyrant encounter. Here we go. <laughs> the scent of a gear lock. You don't have to be a ranger to sense what you're being. Sorry, you don't have to be a ranger to sense when you're being followed. When your stomach instinctively clenches and the hair on your ears is at attention, there are probably eyes on you. What can be done? Well, nothing in this case. Too much time would be wasted trying to reveal this pursuer. And yet, after a few hours, paranoia starts to set in. It feels like I'm playing Arkham Horror here. I know! <laughs> it feels like there are more eyes watching with each passing moment. Shadowy figures slip in and out of the trees, always hidden, but there in the corner of the eye. What are they waiting for? <laughs> So there's only one option here. Another stomach knot. This is becoming all too regular a feeling. So we search our active stacks for the first wolf, owlbear, or griffin, and place it on the tyrant card that will be added to the tyrant battle. So we've added over here. Okay. Party size of one to two, that's us. Mm -hmm. We search for a one point baddie, and if it was a party size of three to four, we'd be searching through the five point baddie stack. Right. So we're gonna be looking through this stack, mm -hmm. top down, uh, looking for wolf, owl bear, or griffin. Owl bears, <laughs> they're fun. And there's a wolf. Okay. So we've got a dire wolf that's going to be sitting over Ooh, here. Owl. And then I'm going to be shuffling these. Birdie. Uh, and then we draw another encounter for the day, and then reshuffle this card into the encounter deck. Okay. All right. So. That will be coming in. I reshuffle this. Uh, Hopefully, not put it back to the top again. Uh, okay, someone someone had asked a question. Okay. If you fail to open the starting lock of an attempt, you are able to make a second attempt immediately yes. once per day. Yep. Yep. So far, that hasn't happened with us. We yep. we've always been successful on at least one lock. Someone was clarifying, and it's been clarified by yep. um, by Chip Theory. So yeah, perfect. Okay, so we've had one baddie added to that stack. Now we go on to the next encounter. Oh boy. Spread too thin. Raiders to the right of us. Raiders to the left of us. Well, not us, but a poor merchant party following the distant river path at the bottom of the valley. Let's go get them, someone yells. <laughs> but whom? The raiders already at the end of the valley, about to overtake the merchants? Or the larger party, forging a longer route dangerously close to us? Ooh. Two options. We can't save them from both. Set traps for the larger group. The battle queue will be the baddie points, which right now we're in day five times two would be ten, so really? it would be two five-point baddies. Okay. Uh, and with a party of one to two, we add two one-point baddies on top, so then these guys would get added to the top. So we'd have two ones coming in first and two fives coming in second. Okay, it's not horrible. And every baddie loses two hit points as they enter the battle match because we're setting a trap okay. to try and catch them, right? right. So they're ta they'll take damage as they come in. Or take them all, sound the horn. <laughs> So in that case, the baddie queue, or the battle queue will be the baddie points, which again is 10. Uh -huh. So the two fives. And then we add two one points and a five point baddie on top of the battle queue. So we'll have a five, two ones, and then two fives. Okay. And they don't take any damage because we're not taking the time to set traps. Oh. And if successful, all recovery phase options may be chosen. So during the recovery phase, let me just uh, go through that. During the recovery phase, you have three options, and you can only choose one. You can rest and recover to full HP, like I did last round because I was knocked out. You can search for better loot, which is what Mandy chose last time to get right. the better loot. Or you can scout the area yes. and find out what baddies are coming up. And if it's something you don't want to go up against, you can actually put them to the bottom of the stack. Right. This is saying that if we choose that uh, and we're successful, we can do all three of those options during the recovery phase. However... It's a trap. Of course it's a trap. I kind of... <laughs> I don't know. I'm leaning towards setting the trap. <laughs> Let me take a drink before we get trapped. <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning towards setting the trap to uh, do that initial damage to them. 
Yeah. Uh, the benefit to taking them all on is we'd get one throw of loot each. Yeah, but I don't know. That did not work out and that's, so well. That is actually the only benefit. I, I don't <laughs> mind taking the easier route here. I know. I think that's what we did last time, and it did not work out well yeah. for us. I say, uh, yeah. let's not sound the horn. No. Let's set some traps. Yes. Okay. I think we need to be conservative here. You're, you're good at that? <laughs> Everyone's like, capital trap. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I agree. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll set the traps. So we've got the batty points is the battle queue. Day yeah. five times two is ten. So that is the original one. And then because we're a party of two, we add two one-point baddies right. on top of the battle queue. Now, normally when you're setting up your, your uh, battle queue, it's going to be the larger ones on top, unless the cards specifically say. And in this case, it does say that yeah. the one-points go on top. So, first we have a dragon whelp coming in. Dragons can be uh, a little scary sometimes. He's got two hit points, and he's ranged, coming into lane one. And he has an initiative of five. Next up, we have... A Cobalt Green Thumb. Oh. And he's hardy, which means he's only going to take one point of damage per uh, per hit. He's coming in with three hit points, so we'll have to hit him at least three times, unless uh, we do... Oh, no, we'll have to hit him three times. <laughs> unless we do poison. Yeah. Uh, he's melee, coming into lane two, with an initiative of four. Mm -hmm. Now it's the five-point baddies. Those are the one points. Now we have a Griffin Howler which is even uh, stronger than your favorite griffins from the one-point oh, stack. yay. <laughs> He's going to have five. What? Five? Health. Unbelievable. Coming into lane three, and he is melee, so he's going to go here. Yeah. I'll explain his abilities in a second with an initiative of five. And lastly, we have a manticore. Now that's... It'll be fine. Manticore? Don't worry. Don't worry. That is it'll, never good it'll in be any fine. way, shape, or form. He's got six hit points. <laughs> He's ranged. And Mountain he, Dew. I haven't had that in forever. <laughs> oh, right. And right. he's got initiative of three. Okay. <clears throat> so what we have here, the Griffin Howler has three abilities. He's got Dive, Flight, and Signal. So you've already seen what Flight does. On his turn, he's going to hit, and then he's going to take Flight, which means he's not um, targetable. Dive means that when it's his turn again, when he goes to land, he will actually land next to his chosen target, which in this case is weakest, which mm -hmm. will probably be me, because I do start with fewer hit points than you. But we'll see the, the state of the game at the time. Oh, I think I'm at the same as you. So actually. he will just land next to whatever his chosen target is and, and target them. And then signal one means once he's done his round or done his uh, his attack, he calls another baddie. Oh. Uh, he'll bring another one point baddie Jeez. into battle. Signal one means it only happens for one round. If anything had a higher number, so if it was signal three, it would bring in one one point baddie over the course of three rounds. So do that for three rounds. So yeah. I, I've seen some confusion where people think it's bring in three baddies at uh, at that signal, but it's not. It's just one for each round. The dragon has an ability called Weaken One. Not which, good. No. Uh, which brings in this this status die. And <laughs> whoever he hits will have one fewer dice to roll on their turn. So one die less. It wouldn't be bad getting rid of him early. Yeah. Hardy, we know. That's only one hit point at a time. Mm -hmm. Poison two, we know, and it's gonna target both of us. I see rage there. Which is not good. Rage two oh. uh, is also not good. Uh, he has no hit dice, so until we do anything with him, all he'll be doing is using Poison 2 on us. As soon as he's down uh, less than full hit points, he oh. then gets two attack dice to start attacking as well, and he will attack both of us. Thanks, guys. So I think we kind of need to leave him till last. If well, we hit him, we need to get rid of him as Josh quickly as possible. said that, uh, man, <laughs> he's going to hurt. Raise two, two targets, and counter damage, start praying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. This feels reminiscent of our last game where it did not go well. Well, let's see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Oh. I think if we just leave him now, he's got poison too, which granted is bad. Yes. I've got Sonic Cleanse, which oh, that's counters true. that. It'll counter that for a couple rounds. So we'll see. All right, and I got some of my own poison happy. You do exactly. So let's see. Okay. I got a four for initiative. Not fantastic. Well, I better roll that again. That'll be a roll. Yeah, it's a cock die. Darn it! So that'll stick you it's in. Looking here. like a four. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Hoping we can do it. 
We'll keep it. We'll keep it honest here. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, where do we want to go? You're going to be down here, yeah. which means going to everybody's coming. going first except this guy. Pretty much. Um, do you think I should? I think maybe here to start yeah. picking Working away at him. Yeah. I mean, it's only one. Uh, These guys are staying here. They're not moving that's because they're ranged. probably best then. So, I think that works because you can just start ticking away at him. Uh, don't forget the two damage as they enter. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that is that is fantastic. Whoever said that? No, nope, that was Josh. So That was Josh? Yeah. Thank you, Josh. That is huge. Okay. This will be my I know. Manageable. Did you not see my eyes, how big they got? Oh, ah, my God. Okay. <laughs> yes, savior. Okay, so two damage. There. Two damage actually means that dragon's gone. Bang, bang. We don't need Done. to worry about him. Uh, that Josh, or that kill, courtesy of Josh. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, two damage. Uh, two damage. Yes, that does two damage. Yeah. I'm gonna ask to confirm two damage on a creature that has Hardy. I'm assuming that true two damage is true oh, damage yeah. and is not blockable by anything. I'm gonna take that off, but if that is not the yeah. case, let me know and I'll put so it. So let us know about that with the yeah. hardy. If it's two, still and two, or do we just do yeah. one? Two okay. damage off of the magical. Okay, this is a little more manageable. Okay, now I'm not like my heart's not hurting. And he said correct. Yes, okay, good. Thank you. So I think placement is still definitely the best place because you just have to hit him for one and he's gone. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to target him anyway. No. He'll be taken for It's gonna be gone. And he's ranged, so you can't get to him. So you're there, and I will do my usual hide behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I am the human shield. Yeah. Um, yeah, that works for me. So basically, I just need one hit here. You I mean, I do have a ways to go there. But... Yep. Uh, all right. So start at the top of the order. So we've got lane one, which actually, thank you, Josh, is gone. <laughs> lane three. So he's going to come to you. Okay. One, two. Mm -hmm. uh, he will attack with three dice. This might hurt a little. Ugh. Close your eyes. I can't watch. Two, three, oh, four. Okay. Really? Right in the gut. Four in the damage. Heart. Jeez. One, two, three, four. But you're still alive. Still That's alive. Okay. Barely. Now, he takes flight, which Jeez. means he's not targetable. And signal one means a one point baddie is going to come in at the end of the round. And any one or five point baddies, when they come in, come in at the bottom of the initiative meter. So we don't really need to worry about him for a mm. bit. He, uh, he won't come into play until the end of the next round. He'll come in, but won't play until mm -hmm. then. Jeez, that's All right. done. So I go next. Wow. You can take care of him. I can't target him. So really, that leaves <laughs> him. <laughs> and because he did, this is where we might curse Josh a bit. Because he did <laughs> actually take that damage, he is no longer at full hit points, which does mean he has that those two dice, uh, the rage two. He has those two attack dice to hit with. So, I'm going to try and get rid of him right away. Um, so, we have to give fact, people to a little bit of time. So, I didn't realize this, that there's a delay between the video and the chat. Okay. Not necessarily us, but yep. here. Oh, I didn't realize chat. that. Yep. So, no, I appreciate you telling us. So, if there's something that we're going too fast, just try and tell us, and we'll try and slow it down a bit. Yep. So, um, thanks for that. We didn't realize. Okay. Well, I'm going to get your opinion on this. Okay. I do have Big Boom. Big Boom does let me target all creatures, uh, which means I could actually get rid of him. I could do damage to him. Even though he's not targetable, he can still take damage. Uh, the downside is... Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? It's too risky. <laughs> now that you're saying it out it's loud. It's too risky. There's a one in... There's, there's a one in three chance that I do damage to the party as well. Right. There's a one in six chance I do two damage to each of us. Uh, I will die. You will die. So, I will die. As much as I want to pull the pin on the big boom, <laughs> I don't like those odds. I'll let you heal up first. So, uh, yes, hold it. It'll be on YouTube, and it will also be on Twitch as well. So we've uh, in enabled the uh, archive. Yep. We enabled the archive on Twitch, so it'll keep it for 14 days, I believe. But I will also upload it to Twitch right. so that it actually stays permanently. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Holden, for getting to that. All right. <laughs> That's so... No it's, I'm, I'm going for this guy, because we need to get rid yeah, of him as quickly as possible. that needs to happen. I will toss my frag at him. You know what? I'm going to toss the flashbang at him as well. Okay. He is a 
five point batty. So I've got a one in three. You know, everyone's no. waiting for you to throw this. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a one in two chance of actually nullifying oh, his abilities. That one. Which Craig, would be great. I pronounced your name wrong. Craven? Cravine? Anyways, thank you for joining us. And uh, yes, we'll post it so you can definitely watch it later. Thanks yes. so much for joining. Okay, so frag, flashbang. That's two. I can roll one more. Uh -huh. I think that's uh, potentially enough damage. I would like to get... I'm going to do body search because I'm going to need more parts. So these are two grenades that I'm throwing. That means I need to drop this counter down to zero because I'm throwing both of them. And uh, I don't mind that. Here we go. Not good. <laughs> it didn't sound good. <laughs> All right. So first I'll take care of the grenade. That does three damage to the manticore. Not bad, but not dead. However, I did roll bones. Uh, well, first I'll show you the, the uh, flashbang. Okay. I rolled a one on the flashbang, mm -hmm. which means I can use that ability on any one point baddie. My target was here. He's a five point baddie. So that actually failed on that. I'm just going to take that back. I'm not going to count that. Uh, I don't have to commit to the roll, but I also do still count mm, that as I did toss the grenade. Yeah. It just uh, it fizzled, we'll say. Okay. Now, I did roll some bones, which okay. for me, throw odds is my one bone uh, ability, which does one damage. Dang. Killing them off. Dead. Love so that's it. not so bad. Woohoo. I will take that. Okay. All right, so I do exhaust that, and then we carry on. So we're looking at, actually, that was him, so that's out of yep. the rotation. Lane two. Lane two is mm -hmm. our hardy fellow here. He's going to hit you for one die. Okay. That's one hit. One damage. <laughs> it takes my you down to I one. I seriously need to get to my turn so I can heal. It's clinging to life. This is awful. Your turn. Okay, so now first things first. Do good things. Yes. We're going to do this. Heal back Lord one. Lord knows I need it. I'm almost debating if I need to roll uh, the med kit. Yeah. It's looking rough. I do that. For yeah. sure. So I'm going to definitely roll that. Yep. Which leaves me with. So you only need to do one damage to him. Yeah. So I'm so thinking the I just. The question is. Do I roll two of these or do I need to introduce a shield? Like, oh. This is up to you. This is your call. Or you can ask for help. Uh, you only need one hit. Do you want to spend two attack dice on that? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think I need two attack dice. Di blah, blah, blah. Dice? Yeah. But then I'm worried that if I don't get it... But if you get the bones, it's a one in six chance, but if you get the bones, then he's still there hitting you. Okay, I'm, I'm almost willing to do this here. Yeah. Because then I have this at least, so... Okay, okay we're going to do it. Okay. Attacking all. Well, let's say that would have been your... your, yeah. your yeah. So that's so, the second one you got. Thank that's, goodness. Yeah. But this I can counts. keep. This can go here. Or am I using this now? Uh, no. Well, you have the option. You I probably should because it's looking Use rough. it now or you can re-roll it later. It only goes up to three. Yeah, so this is so a pretty would, decent yep. roll. So that means I would exhaust this exactly. and I would get two. Yep. Perfect. And then you do have the one bones that you can save for later. Right, exactly. Okay, I think that was wise. That's not a bad roll at all. Yeah, I agree. And that was you. Okay, so we're on to round two. Uh -huh. Top of the order is the griffin. So the griffin... Oh, wait, before we do that, uh -huh. the end of the round, his uh, his ability was the... What's it called? Signal. Right. So now that one-point baddie is going to come into the rotation. Oh, boy. He comes into whatever the earliest lane that's available. So that got cut off. Like... He's the only one. Uh, we do have lane one available. Yeah. So this is a dragon hatchling. He's going to come in with three hit points. Mm -hmm. He's coming in range, so he's going to go here. Okay. And now he has an initiative of six, but because he's coming in in the middle of battle, the initiative is irrelevant. He's going to come in at the bottom of the initiative meter. So I'm just going to set it to one mm -hmm. and put him at the bottom. Okay. Now his ability is a new one you haven't seen yet. It's called engulf. Wherever he hits... I said remember the two damage. Yes, because he's coming in. Yeah. Because he ran into the trap. That is. I know. Brilliant. Thank goodness that, that we have you guys that here. That. That's, oh, that's thanks for okay. that. Uh, yes. So his ability of engulf means that wherever he hits, it does splash damage to everything adjacent. And it's not like my abilities where it's half damage. It's full damage to everything nice. adjacent. Uh, which is not good with us lined up. But now that we know that he's in here doing that, I could step aside from that splash area it will affect anything that's friendly to the enemy as well, including itself. <clears throat> so if we could sit next to him and have him hit that spot, he would be hitting himself. All right. So now on to round two. Yes. Lane three. 
the griffin's going to land, mm -hmm. and he's going for weakest is his target. So technically, it's like he comes off the board. Right. He goes for weakest, but you are still the weakest. I so am. we'll put him back there. Uh, he lands, and now he will attack with... Uh, what are the baddies right now? Right now we have a griffin howler and a dragon hatchling. Yeah, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Into that goes back. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. Hitting you with three. All right. Oh, gosh. Please don't roll anything above a three. Oh, my God. Four. Did you kill me? I think I did. Oh, my God. I think I did. I did. Oh, no. Whop, whop. Oh, no. Whop, 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 whop. Yep. Oh, I'm no. a gunner. Oh, no. Jesus. Oh, no. Whop, whop. The healer's gone. That's not good. <laughs> Deader than a doornail. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, that's that nice. not good. Oh, okay. Wow, wasn't that healing abilities? That? Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Well. Dang. Oh, uh, that was rough. Yeah, that was that was not expected. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I don't even have any grenades left. Wow, that's oh, why no. do I hear this going down the same path as before? I don't before. have any grenades left. Okay, so <laughs> I can roll three dice. I need to at least get rid of one of these. So I'm going to aim for. I'm going to aim for the dragon. I only need one die to hit him because even if I miss, my throw odds can hit him for the one. So that's fine. And then uh, and then I'll panic. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. Uh, I think I'll just I defense. I'll get some defense up so that I can try and live through this. Man, that roll was just too good. Yeah, it was. And not in our favor. All right. So one attack is all I need against him. And then I'll try and defend myself against the, uh, the Griffin Howler. Right, yeah. Well, so the one attack, he's dead. Nailed it. And I get some defense. Which is always good. Yes. And the howler came out of here. Or sorry, the, the dragon came out of here. Yep. That was me. He's gone, so we are on to round three. <laughs> he's still talking about liquid life. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to move next to me now. And he's going to attack with three dice. Here's your chance to. Uh, oh, I don't want to kill you. Come at me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I was like, why am I missing one? Three wow. damage. Okay, but I've got two shields. Yeah. That's okay. That's oh, not so bad. That's manageable. One okay. off here. Then I get to go. Uh, oh, and he did take flight. Yes. So he is now untargetable, which is unfortunate. But what I will do is I will defend again and start rolling for some more grenade parts. I'll take this opportunity to try and build a grenade while he's flying around. <clears throat> so one bones, one part, which isn't fantastic, mm -hmm. and one shield. On to round four. Griffin goes. He All lands. Right. He'll land there. Three. Three dice. Okay, it's only two this two time. Damage. So one on the shield, one on mm -hmm. me. Okay. So now he is targetable, so okay. he's got three health, eh? Okay, two <laughs> attack. Neck and neck. Two attack and one uh, one defense. Let's see. So two attack does two damage. Yep. And one throw odds will do the third damage. Hit the goner. And that will kill the howler. Nice. That All was right. tight. That was tight. Super yeah, close. That was close. Not, uh, that's Ooh. good. But we got there. Yes. So I come in with I have four. So this is gonna scale back down me. here. He's belong to you. <laughs> All right, yeah, that we was made that crazy, crazy time. tight, but we made it. So first off, let's see, we were doing that one. First off, we do get a progress point. Nice. That moves forward. So we're at five now. The six needed to go up against the tyrant. Mm -hmm. We get two training points and a loot. Sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. Mixed berries. Heal yourself for three HP in battle or five p five HP out of battle. Okay. Okay. And I got throwing axes. Single use. Two uses out of the throwing axes. During your turn, roll one attack die and deal its damage to any unit on the battle mat. Does not cost dexterity, so it doesn't go against your dexterity okay, count for, nice. for throwing. And yours uh, is two. Products. Okay, mine is one. Two Single uses. Use. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now, what I think I might end up doing is during the uh, during the recovery phase. I might actually have us trade because yeah. I am ranged, 
Uh, Mandy doesn't have any ranged abilities except for that boomerang. So yeah. I could give her the throwing axe to give her a little more ranged but ability. And then if I take the healing, because yeah. you can heal can yourself. Heal. Yeah. yeah. So I think we might end up training those. I think that's wise. Uh, but let's continue with yeah. dividing the spoils. So we got our loot. We get two training points each. Okay. So I feel like... Should we continue here? Do I need to? I'm just, I'm not sure. Uh, well, first of all, let's uh, refill so that we can yes, see what's so uh, going on. Yes, so this should go back there. This is actually gone. And okay. this is here. Okay, so I think we're good. All right. All right. So, defense, I don't know if I really need to get that up. Do you think? Maybe. Especially we're going into some harder monsters. Mm -hmm. That might be an option. It's one option. Uh, dexterity would allow me to roll more dice. Roll more dice which and a little more is movement. Exactly, which I think is not a bad option as well. Uh, one thing I like to look at is if you were to roll, or sorry, if you were to up your defense, uh, your dexterity to a total of four. Yes. Oops, and you only have three base dice to roll. It's and not as worth it because these are all going to get exhausted in, sure. over the course of battle, right? So then what you're left with is more dexterity than dice to roll. Well, I was thinking that <clears> I could up. The defense. So have, if you up the defense, right, then you could also up the dexterity. That's what so I was that thinking. With it, with skill dice aside, you've got four dice to roll and four right. dice available. This is yeah. what I was thinking of doing. So if you're going to do that, the first thing you need to do is test for training on your defense. Right. Roll one defense die. Do I? Sorry, did we do the? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. We're we're looking at we're our. We're still our doing this. First. Okay. So one. So, defense. Sorry, defense. Yes. Okay. And as long as you get no bones, that's a pass. So Perfect. you can add one to your defense. Okay. Perfect. And now you have a second training point to use. Good. And then this, to do this one, I can just turn it to a two. Yep. Perfect. The only ones you need to test just for are two. attack and defense. So when you're when you're looking to up your attack or your defense, you need to roll the number of dice of the current value of whatever stat it is okay. you're looking for uh, with the corresponding dice. So I, just, I have an attack of two. If I wanted to upgrade those, I'd roll two attack dice. As long as I got no bones, it would be successful. I think this would be... Helpful. Yep. But yeah, I, I do like to have, if I upping my dexterity, I like to have at least that in terms of base no, dice no, totally makes sense. to be available to me. All right, so for myself. <clears throat> yes. So you also get two, right? I do. And right now I have no grenades ah. to throw. That's awkward. Yep. Definitely need the grenades. And a good way to get grenades would be have more dice to roll so that I can start rolling the uh, the parts again. You know what? I'm I'm kind of happy with what I've got available here. So I think I'm going to do the same as you, but yep. I'm going to go attack. Okay. So I'm going to try and increase my attack with my first um, my first training point. Okay. So I'm rolling two. Oh, That's a success. very nice. So my attack goes up one, and then I'm going to use my other training point to up my dexterity by one. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so that's our training points. We got our loot. We got our progress point. Yep. That is done. So now we go on to recovery. Yes. So to, I think we know what you're yeah, doing with that. I need it. Yep. Badly. So because she's choosing to heal to full health, uh, she cannot search for better loot no. or scout the area. And I think I need to do the same, really. It is only two hit points, but yeah, but still, that's a it's third of low, my hit points, so, so I feel like yeah, I could get ugly later. Now we can also trade loot, and I think that's where I'm going to give yes. you the throwing axe. And if we're you don't give mind you the mixed the berries. berries. That's there we a go. fair trade, right? Berries for axes. Yep, yeah, it gives me some range sure. attack. Uh, and then we can do any lock picking attempts. We have nothing left to lock pick because of your successful lock picking hands. I know, so good. <laughs> All right. So that was a. I'd say that was a successful day. Uh, day five. Yeah, I would say so. So we carry on into day six. Day six. All right. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> so you guys still with us? <laughs> Dicks and stones. I awake with a start, searching for my weapon. I realize it's been taken during my slumber. Looking around our makeshift camp, it's clear the rest of our number have suffered the same thievery. A nearby sound of twigs snapping rouses us to our nakedness and sets us all scrambling for sticks and stones with which to fight. <laughs> Two options. Sticks and stones will break your bones. <laughs> so, first off, the battle queue, uh, battle queue for that would be batty points. Okay. We're in day six with two of us would be 12. So nice. we have two five points and two one points. Okay. And your party cannot use skill dice in battle. However, 
any bones rolled counts as two bones on your backup plan. Oh, I like the sounds of that. Interesting. And frankly, right now, my skill dice are somewhat nullified in the fact that I yeah. don't have any, any uh, grenades to throw. So let's see the second option. Split up. Find the thieves. So battle queue again will be batty points. Yep. Your party cannot use skill dice in battle until the first batty to occupy lane one is defeated. Boy. All right. So either way, we're not going to have use of our skill dice. Okay. With the second option, we will have use of it if we can kill off that first lane. This is where scouting would have been great if we knew what that yeah. first batty was. Then we'd but be able to. We'd be able to. We judge. needed to to get back to health. Yeah. Full health. Definitely. Uh, and if we go without skill dice for the entire battle, any mm -hmm. bones counts as two bones. Oh uh, yeah, but how many bones have we been rolling on a whole? But I mean, I don't mind that. It's useful if I can get it, and if yeah. you can get it. I yeah. mean, we can try it and see how it pans out. I, I think that's an option. Like I said, all of these yeah. are useless to me right now because I don't actually have a counter. The only one really that I'd be looking at would be healing stuff anyway. So. Oh, right. No skill yeah. Oh, boy. And that's a problem because these will, you know, we've got the buffer, we've got the yeah. extra health. Okay. Well, if we go yeah. with the second option, we do need to target lane one to get our skill dice back. Yeah. So, I mean, at least there is that option to do yeah. that. So. All right. So, you're feeling that? Yeah. I think that would be the way to go. All right. So, split up, find the thieves. Okay. So, our battle queue is two fives, two ones. Okay. It's not horrible. So, first off, we have another Griffin Howler. So he comes in with five hit points. Mm -hmm. And he is melee, coming into lane one with an initiative of five. Mm -hmm. Lane two, we've got a dire wolf with lash back two. Yeah. He comes in with six hit points. Okay, but at least he's not lane one. And No, that's true. So, you, oh, you know what the awkward part is? What? Lane 1 has flight, which uh, means we can only target him every second come round. On. And can't even use a frag uh, to try and hit him with splash damage. So that last that's back gonna is looking kind of good. That's going to be awkward. Uh, okay, he comes in here. He is melee. Jesus. We'll work it out. Yeah. We'll work it out. Initiative of 4. Then the 1 point baddies in lane 3 <laughs> is a clay golem. Of course it is. <laughs> 5 hit points. Melee with an initiative of two. Okay, that's not horrible. No. And lastly, we've got a Cobalt Tracker. Uh, he's going to be tricky because he has compounds. So he's going to come in with two health. Yeah. Again, oh no, he's going to be ranged coming into lane four mm -hmm. with an initiative of six. Silly. Well, that's. Uh... He'll probably be going first. Yeah, I have a strong suspicion. Now, the, the awkward part here is. Finally, this is a great lineup for throwing grenades because you get hit here yeah. and damage that whole line. But I have none, and we're not allowed to use our skill dice yet, so <laughs> forget that idea. All right, roll for initiative. Come on, big money! Wow, three. Shocker! Right. I need something big here. Uh, three. Yeah. Two. Oh, oh no. seriously? That is not good. Okay, oh. looks like uh, Karma's coming back to get us here. It's uh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. All right, so things to keep in mind. I do still have my micro neural yeah. implant, which lets me choose targets after my roll. That may come into play. I do have the boomerang. You've got the boomerang. And then I also have, before battle, reduce your total baddie points by three. Uh, it's too late for that now. Sure. But just so people know what that could have done, totally forgot we had that, is instead of a baddie points of 12, which brought in two fives, two ones, we could have reduced that to nine, no. uh, which would bring in one five and four ones. But now, who knows? Maybe that right. would have been more difficult because it would bring in five baddies instead of four. Right. But anyway, no. and then you've got the throwing axe. So you have a couple ranged yeah, options. which is all right. So now we got to figure out where we're going, right? Yeah. Where we're going, and in terms of what's going first, it's going to be here, here, and here. So these three get to go before we do. And to be fair, we really need to deal with this. We do. That, that will Although give us a skill Although it is flying off somewhere, but... And then calling in another baddie, because yeah. he has signal one. So we need to, yeah, we definitely need to get rid of this sooner um, rather than later. 
all the abilities here we've already covered with previous beasts. Uh, the lashback for mm -hmm. the dire wolf is actually lashback two in this case, which means uh, if somebody hits it with melee, he's going to hit you right back for another two damage. Um, okay, well, I'd say what we kind of need to do here is hug a wall. Yeah, get them. Although he's ranged, so. Oh. This is bad. This is really bad. Ah. Well, if you hug this wall, yeah. he can't get to you right away. Yeah. That'll give you one round of freedom against him. Is it going to... Well, he's going to take off anyway, right? He's going to take off, but he'll still be occupying the spot. Okay. And then we'll land wherever it's available. So I would say you here and me here is our best bet. Okay. Because that gives us one round of him not being able to attack us. Uh -huh. okay. If anybody disagrees, feel free to let us sure. know. <laughs> so uh, it says here, time to poison dark that bird when able. Uh, but we, we don't have our, we it. don't, yeah, because of this encounter, we don't actually have our skill dice, which means we can't use anything in this area. <laughs> Until we Otherwise, kill. I completely agree. That would be fantastic. <laughs> but uh, we, yeah. don't have a, we don't have those until we kill the... Griffin Howler. We need to get rid of that uh, here. Uh, same is true for the other side, right? Griff will move up. Wolf can't catch anyone first round. This is the other side. This is John. Uh, but what I'm worried about is I don't want that wolf on me because I am ranged and I can hit him without affecting the lashback. Whereas if he's next to me, unless I'm wrong on this, um, with him being next to me, I am attacking with ranged, but because we're adjacent, I'm assuming the lashback still triggers. Uh, I'm kind of playing a worst case scenario there, uh, so let me know if that's not right because I think yeah. that would be better on that side. I just don't want that wolf coming around, sitting next to me, and triggering the last back, lash back when I can hit him from range to avoid it. So mm -hmm. let me know if I can avoid that, even if he is sitting next to me. Yeah, that'd be good to know. Um, <clears throat> okay. Well, you ready? <laughs> oh, good. Well, I don't have a choice. <laughs> So, we've got lane four going first, and that's the Cobalt Tracker. Mm -hmm. He is going to target the weakest. Uh, it says here, sorry, it will, yes, but he won't get to you round one is all. Not round one, yes. yeah. But yes. Uh, he will end up next to me, I think, because this will move here. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to come around this way, and he'd be parked next to me at that point. So, I want to avoid that. In this case, Good we, luck. Can, we can actually move him one of yeah. these spots instead so that we can avoid that. Uh, Either way you slice it, it's not looking good. Right, yeah. Uh, yes, so he's going and uh, he is going to target me because I am the weakest. Right. And he will roll one because he is compound and we're in round one. So if you would like to roll the attack die. Remember your training. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, which one was That's too much pressure. I can't remember. I don't, know. I don't know. Is it one? Yes. All yeah. right. <clears throat> and that'll do one damage to me. Yep. Okay. That was like the worst roll ever. They stole our weapons. Use the force. <laughs> we, all we can use is sticks and stones. Yeah, the force. I don't know if that's a, it's an option here for us. Okay, so then we look at lane one. Okay. So he's now going to move to closest, which is you. Right. So he's going to go here. And before I forget, he's also going to take flight. Yeah. And he's got signal one. So a one point baddie's going to come in as soon as there's an available lane. You'll only ever have four baddies on the mat at once. So right now there's no spot for him to come in. And then he's going to attack with three dice. Three! Oi! Yep. Oi, 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 Hey! Okay, three. it could be worse. It could be worse. Okay, thank you. So it's face quarters. All right. Then we've got lane two. So now he's going to move over here. Oh, wow, they're just nailing me. Left and right that's what I was trying to avoid with him yeah. coming to me. So he's on you. This way I can hit him at range without yeah. having to worry about the launch back. Yeah. So, he hits with... Does that say four? That says four. Oh my gosh, that says four. Oh, I that think I'm dead. That says four. You oh, may be dead. Wow. This might go horribly, horribly wrong. <laughs> I think it's go... Oh, it's only just begun. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Okay. Two. Okay, I'm still in it. I'm still cool. in it. Okay. Wow, that was... I don't like what position I'm in at the moment. No. Nope. You really need to kill that thing. Because now we're at me, right? I get to heal. Yes, you do. So I get to heal one. Oh, jeez. I can't do anything with this. It's gone. Correct. It can't so now, be targeted. And if I hit this... <laughs> and if you hit him, he hits back. Uh, but frankly, you need to stay alive. 
you can't use any skill dice. No, so maybe I, think I should be doing. To, I think you need to defend at this uh, point. So basically, I can only. I really roll don't think to... there's anything else because if you hit him, he automatically hits you. Well, back I get to two. roll. Oh, no, I can only roll. Three. I think this is this is going south no matter what. Oh, uh, this is bad. Without skill dice, this is uh, well, this is a. Tough I can one. roll four, but yep. really, I can only roll two attack and two defense. And you don't have to commit to the the, the attack. Sure. So you know roll what? Them, Let's roll them for the bones. And he's your target. Exactly. Roll yeah. them for the bones. Don't actually try and hit him. Axes. Oh shoot. I do have this. Oh, good point. I always good forget point. that. Yes. Um, during your turn, roll one attack die and deal its damage to any unit. Oh, I better not. Because if I deal damage, well, it's any. Uh, any. Yes. So, so you don't have to hit him. No. You could hit. Uh, you could hit the cobalt because he's hardy, which means he only takes one point of damage at yeah. a time. And compound, he's going to get worse as the rounds tick up. He's right. going to get worse. So should we be maybe looking and at that? It doesn't count towards your dexterity. No, which is great. So this is an I addition to... I don't mind that. To, That's a good call. I don't yes. mind that. So somebody uh, else had mentioned uh, defense dice and bones for attack dice. Yeah. We're going to be doing that. We're looking at that as well. Uh, the only unfortunate part here is that we can't target uh, lane one, no. which is what we need to get rid of to but unlock our skill dice. It's not happening. But, uh, but this can be used. It's two uses. Yep. uses so. so if you use that once, I can target him. Yeah. And don't forget, I can choose my target after I roll my dice because of this card. So yeah. so basically, this is in addition to this. Yep. And it's it's automatic. Yeah. Right? It's uh, do how much? Uh, during your turn, roll one attack die and deal its damage to okay. any unit. So do I need to roll an additional? Or uh, just using... It would be separate because yeah. it is. You need to know so what damage. So this is going to happen doing. then. Yep. I'll roll this one first. Sounds good. Okay. One. And that's all you could do anyway because right. he's hard. He's hardy, so, that's, so fine. that's fine. And now we'll roll. Uh... <laughs> so targeting the wolf, looking for bones. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. So at all. I got a shield. Yep. It's not as high as I would have liked, but that's fine because then I got this. Yep. And this is not doing so anything. I am not right, using this. Exactly. I can't. Because if you hit him for one, I'll he die. hits you for two. Exactly. He'll just laugh at you and hit you for two. <laughs> uh, now, you do have an option with the two bones. You can use your backup plan and heal yourself for another one. Get the poison mac. Uh, we can't actually use any skill dice right now. Yeah. Because of the dice. actual encounter, we don't have our skill dice until we kill the lane one baddie, which currently yeah. is in flight. And not even targetable. So, so right now we're I trying to survive until it lands and we can start hitting. Heal Gearlock. I think that might be a good idea mm. because you're going to need health. These, yeah. these guys are going to target you. They're going to kill me. A total of seven attack dice. So if we take get so if I take these yep. and do that. Yep. Is that on here? Yes. If you flip over to the other side. Yeah. Flip you it your, to the other side. Here we go. Plan. Heal any Gearlock for one HP. So it's yep. one HP. It's something. So we we just need to survive. We. I think this is a losing battle no matter what, but... Uh, yeah. All right. So we'll do that. Yep. And give yourself another hit and point. And another hit point, so... Oh, private joke. Sorry! I got all, like, into it. Like, I don't have any more poison! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I get to go next. And again, no skill dice available. So I can roll four dice. And, and... keep in mind, I have one more, eh? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I have no skill dice. I get to decide my target after rolling because of my micro neural implant. The boomerang is coming. Don't worry. <clears throat> We're looking at it. That's true. With yeah. two bones, you could do that. So yeah. We still have another uh, axe. We need roll. we need that griffin yeah. to land. That needs to land, and we can deal yeah. with it. Agreed. Uh, so I think I'm going to go to attack. Now the throw odds. Does that have to be my target? I think it does. I'm target for one damage here. Okay. I don't need the defense right now. No, but do you need bones? Will that help you? Bones could. Once I get up to throw ends. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering if I know that's going to be my target. Right. Or should I, if I roll really well with attack, should I be hitting him? Do you, do you want me to get rid of him? It would be one less on the mat. I think that's one that we should definitely take a look at. Yeah. Okay. Well, if someone I'm... says, but it may help you to get rid of the wolf. I mean, yeah. I mean, it. And let's be honest, it's four. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. I think that might. I think you're right on that. All right. Well, then, how about yeah. I go? How about I go three attack dice and one defense? Uh, I get to choose my target afterwards, but yeah. I'll probably go for the wolf if this is. A I good think roll. that makes sense. All right. That, let's it's see what just, yeah, it's the four attack that like. Oh, that just killed me. Okay, so one bones. Yep. One shield. So here's here's the dilemma. 
two damage against him. He's going to give me two. No, he won't give you anything because I'm two? the one attacking. Oh, you're attacking. Okay. So that's the benefit of me being ranged, which, which is, is why I didn't want him sitting next to me right. because if I did that with him next to me, mm -hmm. I'd be taking damage back. But this way I can pick away at him. Or do that and kill him. Or kill him, yeah. You know what? If you have enough to kill him, that might be just one less off the board. But then that's going to come on, isn't it? It will at the bottom of the rotation. So right now he is green. He's the top of the rotation. Yeah. This will come in at the bottom of the initiative meter. I'm almost wondering if you if you had a higher amount, I would say go here. Yes. If but I had because a it's amount. a sh smaller amount, you could just kill it. Yep. And he, that's going to be another two attack dice against yeah. you because you are the weakest. Okay. Let's just maybe kill so that. I think that is. Yeah. I think that's. I mean, I don't like the four, but you're not killing no. it. So exactly. He's going to do the four anyway. This right. would be another two against you. Right. So we get to we get to postpone that because yes, another one comes in, mm -hmm. but it'll come in at the bottom of the initiative meter. So let's see, let's see how that plays out again. I think we're, we're oh, it's an uphill battle, but this delay is killing me. <laughs> this is me. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's not what he was talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, and I got one bones out of it. I got one shield out of it. So that comes out of the rotation. Then we look at lane three. So he's going to try and go <laughs> to an empty spot, which is basically one. Two. Okay. Now we go to round two. So this is in. where that uh, that cobalt would have gone, but he's out, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. This does come in. What Poison is it? Poison two. Uh, however, okay. however, he's melee, and there's going to be no spot for him to actually get into melee okay. position. If there's no spot for them to move into, they won't even move. Uh, so he he'll just wait. No. Oh. So this is, lane four is the available lane. Mm -hmm. Lane four melee is not available, so you cycle through to the next available. So he's going to come into lane one with four health. Mm -hmm. And again, initiative is three, but because he's, because he's coming in, in the middle of battle, he actually goes to the bottom of the initiative meter. So okay. we'll put him down there. And... We're in lane one. So okay. that is this guy who is now going to land. Mm -hmm. uh, he has died. So basically he comes off the map and then he targets whoever is the weakest in this case, it's which me. is still you. So that is where he's going to land. And oh, it's three attack. Three attack dice. Oh. Uh. Three damage. Oh my God, I'm not dead, but it's You're pretty darn not, close. Yeah. Uh, and don't forget you have a shield. Oh, uh, yeah. So actually it should just be so two. So two coming yeah. off you. Yeah. Still. But it's not good. No. It is not. Because the dire wolf goes next <laughs> with four. Yeah, I'm dead. Dead deader than a doornail. Would you like to roll your own or shall no, I just finish you off? I don't want to be. <laughs> All right. Uh, three. Yep. Yeah. That nailed that me. It. One, two, and we're done. Oh, that's bad. Well... Look, didn't even get a chance to defend myself. Well. <laughs> okay, yeah. because this is a losing battle, I think I'm just going to roll for parts so that I can get a frag for the next battle. There's no way I can go up against these and win. Uh, and I am going next. So, parts, parts, parts. So you can roll for these? Oh, no, I can't. No, you can't. No, I can't. We can't use I can't even do that. Get oh, my God, I can't <laughs> even like, do that. What are you doing? Uh, I can't even do that. <laughs> horrible, horrible, horrible. Okay. Wow, this just uh, escalated quickly. Then I'll roll as much defense as possible and to attack, and I'll choose my target afterwards. What am I looking for here? Bones? No, can't That's use any really skills. This is depressing. Oh, I, I'm, I'm dead, by the way, if you missed that. Three defense. Uh, that would have been gone because I did that. And two attack. Oh. Um, uh -huh. I didn't even get a chance to use. No. You didn't. Unbelievable. Uh, to attack, and I get to choose after because I do have the micro yep. neural implant. Uh, because he has landed, <clears throat> I'll see what I can do against him, <laughs> but really. Okay. <clears throat> Lane three. So he's going to move one, two, uh, rolling one die. Okay. So get ready to just keep rolling a lot of dice. Ooh. Okay. Sorry. It's just a matter of time. It's, it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, next is lane four. He actually has no way to get I, into me. I did actually use one of my healing and it still didn't save me. I don't think I only got to go once. I did yeah. use it. Yeah, this is round two. So, uh, you didn't use your healing because it would have been Sorry, no, no. It the gone. innate healing, the one that I had. Yes. Yeah, so I did yeah. use it. It just 
didn't help yeah. me. <laughs> uh, because he can't actually get to me, there's no open lane, he's not going to move because he can't target me. Uh, so is that good? I don't know. It's just a matter of time anyway. <laughs> Uh, so then we're looking at round three with lane one going. That's going to be this guy. Okay. Who's going to move over here? Is now the only saving again? grace is that only two can get to me, but there's still. Gonna but he's out. not in flight at all at this he time. Now, he he yeah. does now take flight. Mm -hmm. uh, three dice. Three. Yep. Ooh, and I've got three health. Fortunate. Although I do have three shields. Well, there okay, you go. Okay, so shields Those are gone. Shields are bye bye. Lane two, he can't get to me, so right. he's not going to move. Yeah. I get to go. Mm -hmm. I can't target him. I don't want to actually do damage to him, although I don't have to target him. So well, because you have your ability. I've got range, and I can choose who to target afterwards. All right, I'll go two attack, two defense again. Let's okay. see if I can get some more bones going. Jeez. Well, uh, there's some got defense, some shields. and I got two attack. I'd like to get rid of him, but I can't. So nope. two attack. I think I'll start getting rid of the dire wolf before you he comes after You have a three me. HP loot as well. My uh, mixed berries, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't want to waste it if this is hopeless. I know, but there's a chance. It's not looking terribly hopeless. I mean, if Josh is giving you some hints to use it, I think that's a sign that it's not completely hopeless. <laughs> or maybe that's him trying to be nice. <laughs> maybe. I do have it, but I was thinking I don't want to waste it if it's hopeless. Oh. I'm tucked into the corner, which is that's great because only two things can target me. There's nothing ranged on the on the board. Mm -hmm. You think there's a chance, eh, Josh? I feel like that's what he's saying right now. It was a bit of a delay, so maybe he's saying no, no, no. You're gonna die. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out in about 15 seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna use it now's the time because four more dice are going up against me. Uh, hey, I don't want to be the reason for your demise. Just calling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think he's going down you know anyway, what? so... You know what? Sure. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Because I am tucked in the corner, and only two at a time can yes, target me. Yes, you might be all right. I just need to get rid of him, and I'll get to use some of my uh, skill dice. All right, I'm eating the berries. <laughs> he hasn't even sent me my copy of the game yet. Don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating the berries, so that heals me up. Three. Oh gosh, peer pressure, do it. We're doing it. Which is full. Oh, I just succumbed to peer pressure. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. okay. So now we're on to lane three, which yeah. is the golem. So it's only one. He's rolling one. So it's not so bad. I have to feed him keep this one. Okay. Bones. That so works. It's a miss. Lane four, which is this guy. Again, no target, nope. so he doesn't move. Yep. Uh, we're on to round four. So lane one. <laughs> Is him. He's going to land. Yep. Okay. So now three dice. Ooh. One hit. Not bad. Okay. One hit. I have to be aggressive with those rolls. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. And now he's landed, which means I can target him. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put that back. <laughs> I took too many hits. You're darn right. I did. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm putting that hit point back because I forgot my shields. Ah. So okay. the one hit comes off there. Perfect. Okay, lane two again, no target, so yeah. he's not going to move. So I get to go, and now I can target him, although okay. I don't have to choose my target right away. So I'm going to keep that two defense. I will roll one more defense and three attack. Three attack will kill off that howler, nice. which means I do now have access to skill dice. Yes. Okay. Small glimmer of hope here. Small glimmer of hope. Very small glimmer. Uh, that's good for me. Okay, so I do have my skill dice now. Lane three goes, which is the golem. Yep. Well, it's a miss. Sweet. Keep doing that. <laughs> now, lane four goes. There is an opening, which means he will move towards yes. it, but he won't be able to get to me. Which is good because I do not want that poison. No, but, not, uh, not at this point. With no way to heal. And no way to heal and the shields won't do me any good yep. against it. Whew. Lane <laughs> five, uh, round five. <clears throat> uh, lane one is actually gone. Yep. Lane two, which is there is an opening, which does mean I'm going to be suffering the lashback from that now. So. <laughs> I don't want to point out that now the wolf can get to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're there. <laughs> That's where we're at. So he can get to me. Uh, and he's rolling four. And he's rolling four. Not going to lie, this is going to get ugly. Do what you got to do. Sorry. Do what you got to do. Ooh. Four. All right. Well, three shields, one health. Okay, that's not horrible. Not horrible. Now I get to go. The downside is 
I have no grenades to throw. Uh, um, yeah, but if you don't, well, zinging him is going to zing you too. Yep. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I have no grenades to throw. So I think what I'll do is I need to get rid of this guy. Agreed. It might um, sting a little bit. So I think it's going to be <laughs> three attack, one defense. I mean, it's not like you're going to get all of them. Or I'd love to roll a body search to try and get some stuff, but actually the buff HP would be great, but that's only a one in six chance. Yeah, I wouldn't chance it. Uh, well, I don't have to decide the target until I roll, so I don't have to commit to hitting him. Sure. Um, and if I kill him, actually, that's that's the thing. If that's, I kill him, yeah. the lashback doesn't trigger. So let's see if you can aim for four I, yeah, hits. I'll see if I can kill him off in one shot. Three. Three. Oh. Which is one short. Oh. But oh, your bones. But my bones. Yes. So bones, bones. Three damage and one from the throw odds would be four. Right. So goodbye, dire wolf. What? Uh, Yahoo! Ooh. Yeah, that was getting ugly. Okay. 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 So these uh, move over. Oh, is there actually a chance? <laughs> is there a chance? <laughs> okay. Lane three goes. Okay. So, so he's. It's one. Uh, yep. It's one hit. One hit. Could be worse. A one hit wonder. Yep. Nice play. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we've got lane four. So just, this this is where it's going to get a little awkward again. He comes in and yep. now does poison two. Dripping the poison into your ear. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. That just got ugly. Yes, it did. All right. Round. Uh, now we're into the fatigue round. Oh, boy. Oh, no. this really got ugly. So fatigue round. One comes off of everybody. Yeah, you. Yeah, you need to. Oh wow! If you. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have no way to get myself, do I? None of my backup no, plans. Because you're relying on me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I I'm think first. Michael is getting fatigued, not just Boomer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's exhausting. Okay, well. Poison. There's nothing I can do about that oh, right now. Hemlock milkshake. Two That's poison. Uh, that takes down oh. the, the one. I've got one hit point left. I don't think there's anything left. Well, I can do. it was. I'll a, go down swinging. It's a valiant effort. Let's uh, put it that way. If I had Sonic Cleanse, if I had yeah. one frag a bit, one grenade available, I could use Sonic Cleanse that would remove that poison. But that would give me a hope. Uh, but right now. I have no hope. <laughs> I have no hope. Well, so, you might as well play it out. And yep. See. Uh, I do have my skill dice available, so I'm going to go down swinging with all my skill dice uh -huh. to try and get some parts so that at least I have a grenade in the next yeah. round. Uh, I think that's going to help us the most. Uh, and I can roll four dice. So yep. these and a defense. Okay, it's not bad so roll. I have three shells. Bones, one part, mm -hmm. a shield. So what I'm gonna do? Uh, it's that poison. That poison's gonna kill me next round. The bluff bomb. That would be my uh, level three uh, backup plan. I can select an occupied position, and that unit is immediately repositioned. Oh, that doesn't help. Me. That doesn't help. Me. <laughs> Never mind. I was, thinking it was, I was thinking smoke screen, not bluff bomb. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend these parts. One of those, one of those, and uh, one of so these. So don't forget that you don't have to target a baddie with nades. You can you target a space. Okay. Yeah. So throwing a grenade here would splash damage to those. Right. But I, I didn't have any sure, at grenades the time. until now. Yeah. Right, until yeah. now. So that was me. Uh, <laughs> one? Finish me off, yeah. I'm sorry. It's going to oh. happen. It's, it was just a matter of time. Uh, I... I got a lot closer than I thought I was going to, though, to be honest with you. That was brutal. It, it got exciting for a while there. Um, I did get a, uh, a grenade out of it, so I've got something for the next round. Yep. But, uh, whew. Oh, that was a that tough was, one. That was tough. Okay, so yeah. these did not get killed, which means they're going to go to the bottom of the batty stacks, yep. which right now... That is the batty stacks, which oh means those gosh. are going to come in. Uh, I'm just going to shuffle those because technically we wouldn't sure. know. We know what's there, but we wouldn't know what's coming up. Right. Whew. That was exhausting. <laughs> that was brutal. Uh, okay. 
That comes out. <laughs> now you can that blame me out. for wasting your loot. I can't believe you made me eat my berries. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. No, it was. It was. There, come on, I there got was so a, close. There was I, a glimmer of hope yeah, there, yeah. so we had to do it. False hope, but yes, there was a glimmer of hope. <laughs> uh, so does this reset or does it still stay? No, that's you only get two uses out of that. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. But yes, let's remember that you've got that flare distraction. That could come in handy with uh, Battle Cube. So right. that was a fail. That was our first fail. You know what? That was our first fail. That's, that's not okay. bad. So we don't get any of the benefits <laughs> off of it. But we do still go to the recovery phase. Uh, yeah. I thought for sure he was going to nail it, but... <laughs> it was hiding in that corner. That was the only thing keeping me alive. But yep. yeah, that was that was the poison. The poison did me in. Uh, so we could trade loots. Mm, I think nothing, we're... nothing worth trading. No. Uh, lock picking. We have nothing to pick. No. Nope. And then I think we're both going to rest and recover to full. Darn right. All right. That's pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're on to the next day. Uh, that belongs to you. Sure. And your bones are. Yes, those are gone. Yeah, uh, the shield is gone, but this is locked. That so that's safe. Yeah. Now uh, we go on to day seven. Okay. <clears throat> we still need one more progress point. Yep. It's the tyrant card. <sighs> uh, would you like to take care of that? Will I just go grab? Uh, sure. I'm getting a little dry. Yeah, I, me too. I was gonna I'm say gonna I'm a little thirsty. To, uh, a little bit of a glass of water, please. Yep. Okay. So while Michael is getting some drinks for us, I will read the tyrant encounter: the scent of a gear lock. You don't have to be a ranger to sense when you're being followed. When your stomach instinctively clenches and the hair on your ears is at attention, there are probably eyes on you. What can be done? Well, nothing in this case. Too much time would be wasted trying to reveal this pursuer. And yet, after a few hours, paranoia starts to set in. It feels like there are more eyes watching with each pressing moment. Shadowy figures slip in and out of the trees, always hidden, but there in the corner of the eye. What are they waiting for? <laughs> oh my gosh, this can't be good. So I'm reading the back now, right? Oh, yep. only option. <laughs> Another stomach knot. This is becoming all too regular of a feeling. A feeling. Search your active stacks for the first wolf, owl, bear, or griffin, and place it on the tyrant card that will be added to the tyrant battle. Party size of one or two, search for one point baddie. If correct baddies are not found, search the baddies you have already defeated. And then it says, draw another encounter for today. Reshuffle this card into your encounter deck. So this is reminiscent of one that we had earlier. Yep. Final encounter is going to be brutal. Uh, yep. Yes. <laughs> Let's worry about making it there first. <laughs> oh, and Holden said, cheers, Mike. I've just cracked a hopping matlock. I can't read that. Sorry. Excellent. Matlock. Cheers, Alden. Oh, Maybach, nice. Maybach, excuse me. Things like this big. A German beer. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'll leave that with you. Uh, we, we're supposed to try and find one of those in here first. There are none. So then we look through our defeated baddies. I will give that a quick shuffle. Mm -hmm. And then I'm looking for wolf, owlbear, or griffin. Yes. All right. So. Nope, not a golem. Nope. Owl, oh, there's Griffin. Okay. What did we get? Owlbear? Griffin. Griffin, okay. Yeah. Half okay. is at seven. Seven health. Yep. Okay, and then we take another encounter and shuffle this back in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which means the deck's getting thinner and thinner. There's a greater odds of this even coming up again. Yeah. yeah. So oh we might want to, if we get Possibly the progress buns. point, yeah, head right for the bag. Yep, I think that's wise. Tell me when to stop shuffling. Stop shuffling. I'm sorry. There it is on top. So hopefully no. we get a progress point, <laughs> and then we go straight to the bag sure. before we keep adding stuff. Yeah, that would be nice. All right. So we're still day seven. Uh, <laughs> quick sip. I know. You guys still with us? Thanks so much for hanging in there. Caution! Blasting ahead. We fought all day to reach the rocky cliff. It's a location of strategic advantage. We can look out over the valley and river areas. It's also a great place to find a small cave for the night. But of course, fate doesn't favor a gear lock. No, it, it does not. Really, it doesn't. Directly in our path is a huge boulder landslide. Night will come before we can make a way around, 
and behind us is a mess of orcs and wolves, we'd rather not disturb again. It's a combustible situation, or at least it's going to be. <laughs> so we've got one option. Let's get blasting. Okay. For each gear lock in your party, place two stacks of three hit points to represent the rubble on any baddie position. So if you could put yes, what do you uh, need? stacks of three hit points here, yep. here, here, and here, those four spots. Three. We're then going to place the gear locks in range positions where they remain at a safe distance from the rubble. Each gear lock has two throwing explosives. The throwing explosives, you can target any position and roll two attack dice. Result does that much damage to the target and half damage rounded down to all adjacent positions. Party must clear all rubble uh, using the explosives they have in order to succeed. So we now position ourselves at a distance. So for me, I guess I need to be in this row. No, at a distance. At a distance. We, we both have throwing. Uh, ah, which is perfect. Yeah, throwing explosives. We're gonna have two throwing explosives. Go team! Yay! Yes, go Michael, Andy. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna need all the help we can get. Yep. Yeah. So we're trying to blast our way through this mountain mm -hmm. and have a safe place to sleep for the night. Mm. And more importantly, get that progress point because we don't want to have that tyrant <laughs> encounter again. So the way this is gonna work is we both get, uh, we both get to have two throwing explosives, mm -hmm. and each, uh, let's see, each one we roll two attack dice. Okay. We're going to choose which spot to hit, Okay. and whatever we roll, it does that damage on the spot, and half damage to any adjacent spot. Oh, nice. So we get to do that twice to try and clear the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So I'll show you mine first. So I'll target this spot first, and I roll two dice. Two. Doing two damage. So two from here. Yep. One from here, one from here. Right. Okay, and then I get to go again. Uh -huh. So now what I'll do is I'll target here. And if I roll, say, a two again, it'll be gone, uh -huh. plus one from here, one from here. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to target here, hopefully rolling two. <laughs> two bones. Oh, boy. Okay. So did you want me to go there or uh, there? I'm thinking... Do you want the honest answer? Uh, it's irrelevant. Okay. But let's play it sure. out. So if you target here... It's still going to hit. Let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, it. Is it irrelevant? It's well, not irrelevant. If you can roll a four, you need to roll a four to do this. Right. So tell that here... And it'll take... And roll a four. Yeah. That's a lot of uh, faith that I'll roll a four. Well, the way you were rolling to attack me, it worked. Uh, you were getting some good ones. So uh, the two was exciting. So it would be uh, two from here. So that still happens even with the bones? Yep. Okay. One from here. One from here. And what two. that means is you've got one roll left. Yes. If you did two damage here, it would do one here, one here, but it's going to leave, leave that one. one. So the objective was to clear everything, give it a shot. So two would be gone, 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 leaves one. Okay, not horrible. But what does that mean? It is horrible because we needed no. to get rid of all of it. So what that means is we actually fail. Oh my gosh, so after all that, we still fail. Yep. Uh, Party must clear all rubble using the explosives they have. It's because we had that one. The one uh, double bones. Yeah, yeah. That did not help. Uh, could I use my backup plan for throwing odds? <laughs> <laughs> I know I can. Okay, so that's a fail. That's unfortunate. Uh, so we've got nothing to. We've got no spoils to divide. Nope. I won't even tell you what we could have had. We'll nope. go to recovery. Uh, we're both full health, so that's fine. Yep. We have nothing that we want to trade. We have no locks to pick. So now that we are full health, yes. we can do one of the other options instead. Okay. Uh, so instead of recovering health, we can search for better loot, which I think I think we're okay. My with loot is have. pretty good. I'll we're going to be going to day eight. Oh, we're going to day eight, which means the the battle queue is going or the baddie points mm -hmm. will be sixteen. I mean, I just don't feel like I have the boomerang, which I still haven't even used yet. Yep. This is a single use. And that's what, I, that's what I'm looking at. So our next battle queue is going to be three of those and one of those, 16. If we trigger that, we could drop it down to 13, which right. would be only two five-point baddies, right. and then three Which is not so bad. Point. But it's a single use. Right. But I could draw something else. Actually, I could roll and get nothing else. You could. So do we really want to take that chance? I don't think so. Keep it? Yeah, I think we okay. should keep it. So then we're going to scout ahead. So I'll scout first. Yep. A one means I get to look at this, and we know we know both of those are right. there because we didn't kill them before. So we've got the bog frog at poison two. Okay. And then yep, if you roll. can roll a uh, four or higher, six. So you can look at a 20, a five, or a one. 
with two people, we're not going to get no, to the 20. So unless an encounter actually triggers it, sure. but I'd say look at the 5. Okay. Hardy Compound. Cobalt Elite. Cobalt Elite. Okay. Oh, that's uh, Hardy means he's only going to take one point of damage. Yeah. Compound means it's going to be based on the round number. <sighs> so it's something we'll want to get rid of quickly. Okay. But we know what we're up against. There are worse things in there. Sure. Uh, so. Not bad. I'm okay with that. All right. Are you ready to go, go on? Oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's what I was going through. Get her done. Okay. We're on to day eight. We need to start succeeding. That was two losses in a yeah, row. Yeah, I know. This is one sad, so. Uh, and it's the Tyrant Encounter. Great. I'm not going to go through reading the whole thing. No. You know it. You love it. Well, not really, but <laughs> not really so love it. we're going to be looking through the active stacks. So we know there's nothing in there. We're pulling another one point baddie out of here. Okay. A what was it? Wolf, owlbear, or griffin? Owlbear. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out. Maybe there's a be wolf. Better. So we've got oh, a uh, a dire wolf pup is also added to that stack. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That's all right. We got this. Yeah. Do we, uh, I don't we, know. Yeah, question mark. <laughs> we got this? I don't know. Um, so that's going to get shuffled back in after I pull the next encounter. Okay. Would you like to let me know when to stop shuffling? Stop. <sighs> Please don't be on It's not there. Okay. But okay. hopefully we don't even go that far. If we if we get one more progress point, we can go up against then we're it. we're good. Okay. Why can't we all just get along? <laughs> Does that mean we can't be friends? I joke, as an arrow narrowly misses my left ear, the scrawny intruder just laughs as though he has no reason to be afraid of us. Judging by the wall of enemies that are rapidly amassing behind him, he may be right. <laughs> it's going to take a lot of brute force to get through this blockade. I don't like the sound of that. Nor I. We've got two choices. Frontline? Uh, it says, wait, do you recover phase? Charge. We did. We did. Yeah. yeah we, we did uh, that already. We ended up scouting, yeah. uh, and we had no health to recover. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're good. Thank you, though. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, frontline charge. The battle uh, battle queue will be the batty points, which is 8, so 16 will be <gasps> 3 of those, 1 of these. Except we do have that flare. Yes, which maybe we might want to, or do you want to save it? I'll let you know the rest of the, the options here, okay. and then we'll judge. Sure. So, with that one, the party must eliminate all melee baddies before targeting the ranged baddies. Now, we already know what two of these are. We know that that is melee. We know that that is melee. Mm -hmm. That not, might not be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. The other option is let's keep our distance and wait for them to break. So again, the battle queue is batty points. And then on round one and two, melee gear locks can only roll defense dice. No attack or skill. So you wouldn't be able to roll anything but defense. <sighs> uh, melee ranged hybrid gear locks are treated as merely gear locks for this battle, but yeah. You're, you're melee. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. I don't either. I need you alive. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> last round. I tried by myself. It did not. <laughs> I think I had a valiant attempt, but it didn't work. Yeah. So right. I say we do the frontline charge. Now, yeah. knowing that's the case, yeah. do we want to change the 16 point batty points yeah. down to 13 with that flare destruction? I'm really contemplating because. Now we have something that gives you a lashback, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these are going to be coming into the final battle. Those are final battles, so yeah. those are not even right now. No. I mean, it's not horrible. Do we think we have the, enough jam to do it? It's high. We need to do it now. And then, because the more this advances, yes. without us getting the training points to keep up with it, it's yes. just going to get more and so more difficult. So I think we need to use it. I say we pull the trigger. It, and if we succeed, we won't even need that necessarily. We'll so see. that's going on the bottom anyway. of loot. Yep, okay. throw that on the bottom. So that's making our 16 points uh, baddie points down to 13. Yep. Which means our battle queue will be... Yeah, we use the flare for sure. Yeah, two five points and three one points. Now, we are out of one points, which means I need to shuffle. Shuffle the deck. So while you're shuffling, I need to do a little standing. Yep. <laughs> I'll be back. Take a little... And this is where working in casinos uh, for seven years... I know how to shuffle chips, no problem. Working, uh, working the craps table has helped that. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I know, right? I needed a stretch. Okay, so that would be the stack. So Use thirteen. Your wine. That. <laughs> Let me have a sip while Hold we that. discuss. <laughs> okay, so that's our thirteen point uh, battle cube. And keep in mind, we must eliminate all melee baddies 
before targeting the ranged. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So first off, we have the Cobalt Delete. He's coming in with five hit points. He's melee. Sitting mm -hmm. here with initiative of three. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have a Cobalt Fanatic. Mm -hmm. Six hit points. Also melee. Uh, and oh, do you want me to check? I'll check just to make you feel better. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> no, there's seven. <laughs> but thank you. He also has initiative of three. Then we have... Uh, how much extra is having Michael shuffle the chips on my game going to cost? <laughs> <laughs> I ask all the time. It's all fancy. I'm like, I'm like yeah. no, you don't want me doing it. That's the, that's the casino experience there. <laughs> uh, has three. And lastly, we've got... Ooh, Clay Gollum. Uh. Um, he's coming in with five. Oh, man. Mealy. Now, the <sighs> benefit here... If you want to see a bright side, if you want to see that ray of sunshine, uh, is our choice. Okay. Actually has no effect on what is here, because what we need to do is defeat the melees before we can go after the ranged. Right. They're all melee anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, so it doesn't matter. That's fine. So we made the right choice there. Yeah. Now we roll for initiative. Would you like to go ahead? No. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Come on, four. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Can you call mine as well? <laughs> Come on, It goes up to six. six. Uh, well, that's, five I'll take that. Good. It's still it's still top of the order. Okay, and I'm sure your services could be hired as well whenever somebody. Plays, uh, right? I know, yeah. right? I'm I'll really shuffle chips and she'll call the dice. So. Crazy on the dice tonight. Yeah, we need to hit the crap table. <laughs> All right, so I'm up first. Yep. I have one grenade that I can toss. Wait, do we not need to? Uh, oh, we need to place ourselves place first. Yep, for sure. Make sure I've got the right. Yes, I do. Okay, so they're all melee. I yep. say we hug a wall yep. so that it limits who comes at us. I want to stay away from the poison for a little while, though, if stay away possible. From poison? Okay. Just uh, until we can kill some of these. Like, hardy, oh, this one's hardy, though. Oh, these two are hardy. Hardy and, and that's compound, compound, which I almost want to get we rid of. We want to get rid of him. But he's so close and to the poison. He's first to go. Okay, poison, I do have Sonic Cleanse. Okay, so you have something that can help. That can help the poison. Eliminate. Yeah. I do have other stuff, but it's poison on poison. Uh, I do so, get that as well, and this. So I do have a few things. You've got some options. Yeah. Uh, the poison dart will be great against mm -hmm. the clay golem. Now, inspire that. Okay, so we've got a new ability here that we haven't seen yet this game. Uh, inspire one. What inspire does is the next baddie in the queue will move up. So if we were in between that baddie and the next one down the order, it would actually move up one spot right. and then gets one additional attack die. Now in this case, that one is here, which means lane three. So that one gets one attack die. He doesn't have any to start. But he He's will. actually going to get Ooh. one. Yeah. You know what? He's So the buffing is, or the buffs are not a... Uh, Buff HP will be nice. It's yep. a good idea. Yep. Uh, I say we hug this wall. Yeah. That is our main concern because compound is going to get worse. Which I he's going to move with. here. Yeah. Uh, so we can start targeting. So it probably him. should be. Yeah. And then you here. And you can start taking care of the yeah. poison, and I can start yeah. taking care of him. Yeah, I like that. Okay. As usual, oh, I'm going to hide behind you. Yeah. I, I like to picture you've got uh, a little backpack you're well, wearing, you and I'm just sitting in that backpack. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just lobbing grenades out of the exactly. backpack. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay. So, starting with me, I think... Were you doing a sonic boom? Uh, we don't want to do this yet. Okay, when are you doing that? Later? To like finish once, them off? Once we're poisoned, yes. um, the That's sonic right. cleanse will remove the poison, and then will keep us clear of poison for X number of rounds. That's right. That's right. Uh, it would be a nice time for the frag placed here, uh -huh. but you I don't... do only have one. Yeah. I do only have one. I think I might need to try and find some parts first. Okay. And I can choose my target after rolling. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'm going to roll body search for parts. To attack. Mm -hmm. Because if I can get a magic roll... Of four, I could yep, get rid of You could him. technically kill him. And one more. I think I'll roll this element. Because I need to get some more grenades to throw. Yep. Is what it comes down to. You're okay with that? Yeah. 
All right. And I get to choose my target I after. You can do it. All right, so I got two elements. Okay, that wasn't bad. That's a start, and then I got one wild. So that will get me another frag, mm -hmm. and I get to do two damage. Okay. So two damage on him. That's not horrible. Not horrible. We can only do one at a time here. Right. Maybe I should do that I one. I think now. so. That's the one that's scaring me the most. Yeah. I feel like we need to get rid of it. Yeah, okay, so I'll do that. I'll do the one damage there. Yeah. And I will use that. So are we only supposed to be... Oh, they're all melee, you said, right? Yeah, they're all so melee, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Took that down, that down, and that gets me another frag. So that nice. gives us a couple options yeah. with my, my skill dice. So I'm Over to you. Oh, uh, yes. So I'm wondering if I should be maybe looking at that early. I don't mind that. I think that might be an option, to be honest. The distiller does what now? I'm just curious. I'm not saying I'm going to roll it. Uh, distiller will let you re-roll any of your right. stim stacker so line So I need to do these. Uh, or do you want thinking I should just do one? Poison on Hardy also is good. Maybe even poison. Oh, man, that's tough. So I'm thinking I should do these two. Yeah. Okay. okay. That just at least gives us something to work with. Yep. And then like one of these or both of these, whichever. Because we could definitely use the poison. This will be good against him. Okay. So because maybe. he breaks any attack dice. Right. So that's not an attack die. That is a skill die. So that would be great for him. I'd say save it for the... Uh, save it. Okay. Yeah. And the poison dart is one that we could use. Yep. At this point. And then I can just roll... Now, we won't have to worry about him until the end because right. these guys are going to take up these slots and then right. he'll have no room. So then I can roll a mm -hmm. uh, an attack... Mm -hmm. And if I get bones, so what? Yep. Throw it in here. And some defense. Or you've got, yeah, that is. Yeah. That would be what I'd be rolling for. Yep. No? Yeah. That's why I didn't bother putting it And where there. are you aiming the dart, the poison dart? So who would be the best one to take the dart? Well, he's not, it's not going to do anything for him. It will. Because poison is true damage. Mm -hmm. It ignores stuff like that. Oh, okay. Well, then that's the one. <laughs> so, well, no, we yeah. get rid of this one, though. We do. Yeah. Uh, this, but that one. Ooh, that one he's got me. so many. Yeah. <sighs> oh! Hmm. Distiller, you can reroll those stims if bad result. Yeah, yeah, which is fantastic. So, okay. So, are we thinking here or here? Both are terrible, but this one increases. Although that is a lot. <laughs> that seems like a lot. It does. Yeah. Okay. okay. And may I make one suggestion? Yes. Maybe throw one of these. One of those and the distiller. Okay. Because if you roll both of those now yeah, and, and get I'm a screwed. bad roll, I'm you have no way that. to re-roll it. Um, no. Was that right there? Stim kit? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you can see the, the number there. Yes, nine. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. What's the baddie in lane four? Baddie in lane four is the <laughs> play golem. Oh. Sorry. Got a little aggressive with the dice. Give that another roll. You, all right. We'll count that as a Sure. We'll you rolled the one twice. I rolled it twice. Yeah. Okay, so... It's not... Bad, that is the best case on that die. Darn tootin' it is. So we need to decide where that goes. Yeah. Which means you can lock this. Yeah, which okay. I think is So wise. that's your re-roll yeah. of the stim. So now if you get a bad roll on this one, then you'll get a re -roll. Have that. So the five, it really just depends on who needs it. You're going to be getting hit more than me. So I think... As long as you can heal me up at some point because... But uh, that's why we still have yep, the other Yeah, we've got one more and so, a re-roll and right. a heal. And I still have a med kit, med yeah. kit so we're good. So... I'm thinking that I should take this one. Yeah. Because I'm probably the one that's get hit the most. Yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah? Okay. Yep. So I'm assuming that goes here. Yep. And then give yourself five chips in your prep area. I need one more. Was this my turn? Yeah. I yep. was at full health. It so yep. doesn't matter. <clears throat> okay. This counts for nothing. Yep. Or yep. I could hit, hit one him. Here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I can hit him. Excuse me. I was thinking of the other one. And then and your, your poison three, we said correct. we were putting on here. That is fantastic. Yeah, so poison three there. That is fantastic. <laughs> My Mandy made I had too many glasses. Oh, come on. I'm not that bad. <laughs> you missed the tree twice. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you all would notice that. <laughs> all right, so this has been a I might have to wear some uh, protective oh. glasses or something. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's great. I'd say that was pretty good. Getting okay. poison three on him. Yeah, which is good because we need to take And he's day. got six health. Yeah. Poison alone is going to kill him in three rounds. Perfect. Fantastic. That's what we need. Okay. Yes, yeah. lane four, I think I answered that, is the clay golem, which isn't great, but he's going to be blocked right. once these guys start moving around. So lane one is the 
Cobalt Elite. He yep. will move here mm -hmm. and target you with round one means one die. One damage. So one damage off of this. So that'll come off of your buff. Yep. Okay. 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 Lane two is the Poison Sucker. He's got three poison. So yeah, three damage. That's that nice. that is poison fantastic. is pretty good. That'll tick down to two. And he's going to move one, two. So he's not even going to get yep. to me yet. That's yep, good. Which is fantastic. Lane three. So now he's going to attack. Uh, so lane two was the, uh, what is that? Cobalt Fanatic with uh -huh. the Inspire one. So that's the one I was saying. The next one in the lane uh, will move up one spot, but he's already there. And gets one attack, one additional attack die. Yeah. So he doesn't have any to begin with. His ability is Poison 2, <laughs> which is that. And then now he'll get one attack die. Yep. Uh, Ooh, two damage. So off your buff. Off buff, yes. Yes, it's very nice to have the skill dice back. Thank you very much. Yes, Ooh. indeed. <laughs> and then lane four has no opening to get to me, so he's actually not going to move, which mm -hmm. is great. You're like very happy about I it. don't mind that at all. Huh. Okay, round two. So I get to go first. Okay. I think now might be the time to pull the trigger on the big boom. Are you okay with that? Yes. There is the potential I hit us, but now's the yeah. time while we have hit points. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Give it a go. Go, go, go. Or. Oh, boy. Well, I do have the Sonic Cleanse. How concerned ah. are you about that poison? You'll take About two... keeping the poison? Or taking the poison? About uh, actually having to suffer the poison. I well, could remove it. Well, I'm not it. dying, you know. Yeah. So You're, you're all right, eh? I'm, I'm not hurting. Well... Okay. <laughs> Those premium health chips are a thing of beauty. They are. <laughs> Everything here is a thing of beauty, frankly. Uh, fantastic components. Okay. Big boom. Get her done. Big boom. All right. Get her done. And then I will roll. And two. yes, if anyone's wondering, I do work military. So <laughs> two attack. Slips out. One defense. Just to see if I can get some bones. And then I get to choose my target afterwards with the micro neural implant. I did a cleanse once. Couldn't eat any real food. <laughs> 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 okay. There's good and bad. I'm slightly regretting reading that out loud. <laughs> uh, I've got good and bad here. Okay. What's I've got defense. That's good. Okay. I'm doing two damage to all baddies. But we're getting something. That's good. I'm doing two damage to us as yeah, well. Yeah, well, like we kind of, we knew that was going to happen. So you can remove your... Yep, so those are done. Buff. I take two here. <coughs> and then everybody else. Also, two. Did you take two, two here? I haven't taken two anymore, no. Uh, but Hardy is still going to trigger, one. I believe. Yeah, so it'll still be okay. one there. One here. And two here. Okay. So it did remove a lot. Yes. Unfortunately, it did, it did also remove some from yeah, us. That's um, horrible. And I still get to choose my target. Yep. With these. Now they already took one, so there's no point in me hitting them. Uh huh. Uh, I could actually kill him off, but I'd exhaust both of these attack dice. So no. I'm not going to do that. Too soon. What I'll do is I'll get rid of this guy. Yeah. So that that's guy's good. gone. So that means at the end of the round, now that there's an open lane, that extra baddie is going to be coming in. Yep. Go at me. All right. Over to you. Everyone's dying for me to use this boomerang. So first <laughs> off, you're going to be taking yep. two poison, which that takes down. And then, and then I'll get one back. You one, so you do that. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. So, oh, these are yours. Yep. So I still have the throwing axe, and I also have the boomerang. Um, but really, this is only able to take one. That's all I can do. Correct. So there's no point in So you might as well just there. use melee to hit him. Right. But the boomerang, you could hit him, and you're not actually exhausting any attack oh, dice. Nice. Because that is... Uh, it says, uh, up, well, select any bad... Do I not oh, still need no, here? Of course. I no, can't. sorry. No, throwing axe. Throwing, throwing axe. axe yeah, because yeah, yeah. this I can't use. Yeah. Uh, axe. Yeah. Uh, let's see. During your turn, roll one attack die and deal with damage to any unit on the battle mat does not... If it. Josh is still with us, that might be a call for him. Yeah. Because it's... It's not your attack 
die. It's not your attack stat you're using to roll the attack die. Right. It's the throwing axe. However, the throwing axe does state that you roll one attack die. Yep. But it does say it does not cost dexterity, so I would say it probably does not exhaust it if you no. hit something with break, because it's right. not using your dexterity. Okay. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that, but if it's not using your dex, I'm going to say uh, it's not using your dex. It does not exhaust your attack stat. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Good. So you could go for him, because that would be Yeah, so we can do that with the, the axe. Yeah. Yeah, which would then run And you'd still have four four dice. So if you do want to do that... Might as well. Roll that separately. That right. so, <clears throat> yeah, so let's just do that now. Sure. And this is going to be... Technically, that's gone. Yep. So it's a, it's a one. Okay, so that's something. Okay, yeah. And you're not exhausting any attack dice, so that's nope. great. But now I can actually do stuff. You can. I can do stuff. How are you for health? You're not too bad. Not too bad. He's going to die before you can even play, which is great. Right. So I really, I mean, is there any kind of healing that needs to be done on your end? Um, if you do, now would be the time to let me know. Because I can either go here or go here. Or do we want to focus on me? This next game? guy? Yeah. We don't know what he is, but whatever he is, he's coming in here. So it'll be, it'll be close to me. Um... Actually, no, he's going to be coming in here. But either way, he's coming for you. Yep. Uh, I'd say leave it for now. Sure. Yeah, no, I'm good for now. Okay, so <laughs> we need to do some attacking is what needs to happen right now. Attack and defense. You so, can only hit him for one anyway because right. he's hardy. So maybe just... So I can do one and three or do two and two. Can I I'd say two, two and two. Two and two. Yeah. yeah, I think that's sufficient. That's actually all you can do. Yeah, exactly. Yep. I'm just thinking about that. Okay, well, that's not terrible. Nope. And two defense is good, two. and three attack, which he can only take one. Yep, so, so that's fine. it's a bit of a waste, but that's okay. Yep, that's good. Okay. Better to be sure. Yep. All right, so now lane one goes, which is this guy. And he is um, compound, which means round two, he's going to get two dice. Oh. We're picking it away at him. We'll, we'll get him. Okay, so I can take a hit of two. Yep, and you've got the shield there. Oh, yes, so actually that's just gone. That's gone, that's fine. Yep. Then we've got lane two going. And with poison two, God, that Dead. was a very effective dart that you yep. threw. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so that comes out of the rotation, and uh -huh. that's out of the rotation. Then we're looking at lane four. Now he does have an opening. Right. One, two, three, four to get to me. One, two, three to get to you, which means he's going to move this way. Yep. But he can't get to you. Right. That's as far as he can go. So that's okay. End of the round. This guy's coming in. Yep. Uh, lane two is the earliest, so that's where he's going to come. Mm -hmm. And it's a bog pole. Poison one, and he's ranged. He's going to hit both of us, but it is only poison one. So that's manageable. That's horrible. Three hit PHP, like yeah. that. And it doesn't matter what his initiative is because he's going to come in at the bottom of the Okay, game. so it's not too bad. So round three, right now our concern is this guy because he's getting stronger. Yes, he's, he's up to, to get three rid of that. dice now. I'm first. Um, yes. I threw the big boom. I did not move my counter, so I'm going to move my counter yep. down one. That was for when I threw the big boom last round. I didn't do that. And I think I'm going to save that. We have this under control. I need to save that for the last round. Yeah, I think we're okay. So I, hope. I will get one hit in on him because uh -huh. one hit is all I can do. So I get four dice. I'll do one attack. Uh -huh. uh, hmm. I'll do two attack, two defense. I'm going to re-roll this defense. Okay, the same as me. Yeah. Poison, poison. <laughs> two bones. Okay. Two shield. And one hit. That's all I needed because that's that all That was perfect. Yep. That was like perfect turn. That works. That's me. So over to you. You will take one poison damage, but then you yep. heal it then back I heal again. It back, so, so we're good. That's even. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I guess at this point, it's really doing much of the same. Yep. Because you need to yeah. get rid of him now. Exactly. Right? So that's what I'm trying to focus on. Yep. That's some nice bones. That's good because if I do that. One more, and you can get another poison dart back. Actually, this isn't exhausted because oh. it's consumable. It goes back. It goes back. That's yep. right. I forgot. But if you get one more bone, you can, can get that get back. back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and one shield. One shield. And, and uh, one hit. One hit. So done. Woohoo! Mm -hmm. So while going. you're doing your turn, I'm just gonna plug in the old iPad. Sure. 
All right, so what are we on to now? Lane one has been defeated. We're on to lane four, which is the clay golem. Doesn't really matter where we put him, I don't think. So we'll move him over here. And he's going to swing with one, which does one. So that's going to remove your shield. Okay. That's gone. And then we go to lane two. And he is just ranged, but he is going to hit both of us with one poison. That's okay. On to round four, we no longer have anything that is compound, which is good because that would have been four attack dice. I'm going to go first. And let's see here. I can't get any more parts. So I think I will... I'll go range for the poison because okay. you, can, you can hit him yeah. on your next turn. Uh, range for poison, so I'm going to go to three, attack, and one defense. Okay. Yep. And one defense. Oh, okay. I was going to say, are we rolling that one? Or? Nope, I don't okay. want to re-roll that one because yep. that's a two, and I do nope, have two two is good, that's what yep. I was saying. That's very so, good. So, bones. bones. Uh, actually, don't put the die back until after battle, because if you have loot that allows you to unexhaust a die, you could unexhaust the poison dart. I think a consumable doesn't get exhausted, though, does it? I think consumable automatically goes right back to the tray. Okay, so there you go. Another question for Josh. Yeah, we'll, we'll get confirmation on that. But sure. I, I think consumables don't get exhausted. They go right back to the tray right away. Yeah. Uh, oh, Josh, if you're still there with yeah, us. <laughs> it would be good to know, but I'm pretty sure they, they get consumed. Okay, so we'll get some verification on that. So I'm doing two damage to this guy, and... I'm up to four bones. I'm going to spend one of those mm -hmm. for the throw odds ability, which will do the last damage nice. and kill them off. Good thought, but no. Consumables are consumed and go back to the tray. Okay. Uh, all right, so then my bones move over. That was me. Okay, so we're back to me. That was me, and I think I should have taken one poison one damage. Yep, so okay. I'll remove that now. Okay, so over to you. You're taking one poison and then healing back. So right. that's so basically a that's break even. No longer. So basically, how many do we need for this? <clears throat> we Three? Need two. Two. So. But if you can get some bones, the fortunate discovery will get right. you that dart back. So basically, the max I can do is two of this. Two and two. Two yeah. and two. That's yeah. all I can do. Get some bones. Ooh. That gets you to six. Darn two. You could upgrade to an eight plus one. So technically, I could do this. Let me just, I gotta visually see what's happening right now. Yep. Okay, so this is not happening. This didn't happen to me last time. So the innate plus one That's allows me to. Aside, to so. Yep, yep. yep. <clears throat> innate plus one means you would flip this chip over to the That's star right, side. Start yep, and fancy. Very fancy. And innate plus one is major recovery. The major recovery, which means instead of healing yourself for one at the start of your turn, yes. you can heal anybody for That's one. That's right. Instantly and permanently increase health stat, die by one, once per venture. At the start of your turn, heal any gear lock for one yeah. HP. So let's discuss the options here. Yes. Healing me for one at the start of your turn is okay. More often than not, you're the one taking the hits anyway. Yeah, so I think it should kind of... Our next battle, because we are getting our progress point, yeah. our next battle is actually going up against the big one. the tyrant. Yeah. I'm actually thinking as nice as an innate plus one is, at this point in the game, I think the poison dart might serve a better purpose than being able to heal me at the start of your turn. Right, so in order to do that, I would need a two fortune discovery. Yeah, you'd be yeah. spending four of them. So, okay, let's Agreed. go back with that. Yep, no, I think if we had more rounds to go, if we were playing a longer game, then then maybe that ability would be good. Yeah, but, but not. But with one battle to go, and you're taking the majority of the damage, I think the uh, the poison dart. Okay, so that goes in right away. Yep. And then I get one, two, three, four. Yep. So those come out, and then, and then technically you would, have, you would have sure. two. Two. But two damage. Yep. And he's dead. Dead, yep. If anybody disagrees with that strategy, by all means, speak up. <laughs> I, I am no expert here, but I, I think that might be the way to I go. I think that is it. The one is not really seeming to be of importance. And then eventually these are going to go back in. Yeah. So. so that is the end. We can put all our dice back in. Six, 15. Okay. All right. So lose the shields. 14. Lose the bones. Go bye-bye. 
This stays locked, right? Yep, you can yep. stay. You, and that's the benefit of those is and you I just have locked. to roll it the once, and you can save that between yep. battles. Uh, if we were playing on the regular difficulty and you got KO'd, then you would lose any locked dice. Sure. But playing on the greenhorn level, uh, you get to we're keep good the locked to go. dice. Yeah. Okay, so benefits. <laughs> You're using poison. I'm satisfied. I'm yeah, thinking of you guys. <laughs> exactly. We, we we listen. Okay, so we get the one progress point. Perfect. That puts us at what we need to, to go up against the tyrant. We get two training points. Okay. So. Wow. What to I do? I would I would love to get more. Like, do we need to like get some major healing happening here, or what's the deal? Uh, let's see here. Not, then I won't bother. What is the next one in your stim stacker chain? Stim, chain so reactor. chain reactor, which is die 15. Yeah. So that, I think, heals buff HP or heals regular HP. It's a recover. So that's recover one regular HP. At the start of selected girl's turn, it heals for a number of HP yep. left entire battle. So it's kind of like your innate ability. Yeah. But can do up to... Oh, it does. It does just do it the does one. Just do the one. But it, it can also do this one, which is recover buff HP. Ah. Now the trick is somebody needs to have buff, buff HP That's to it. actually trigger that. Which I still have. Yep. Yeah. Uh, or you could go nutrients would give us some more healing options there. Which is really what we're gonna need like crazy at this point. I feel. Possibly. Yeah. That is... And you get two. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm wondering if we should do nutrients, or should we go into... What maybe, is... maybe even a health. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, you mean up here? Yeah. Oh, that's a thought. I haven't touched this at all. Um, and that actually would be really good, because when I fill right back up, I fill back to eight versus seven. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll go to eight here. Okay. And then, are we thinking I should go here, or we should get the nutrients for additional? I kind of like the nutrients yeah. for more options, yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. Okay. Now, I like I said, I would like to get some more uh, grenades, but I've only got one available, and unless I exhaust those and throw them down here and roll them all again, yeah. I'm really only going to have one more on top of that. So I've only got two to throw. I think I'm going to stick with what I've got. Mm -hmm. Which means I will probably do best to up my attack, I think. Okay. And possibly my health. So I'm going to try my attack first. So I roll three attack dice. Oh, That's look a at success. that. All right. So <laughs> that goes up one. And then I'm going to up my health by one as well. So yeah. I get one additional, one nice. additional health. And oh, I, I should take, do that too. Yeah, this would be a total of seven. So that would also be a theft. <clears throat> And yeah, we're going to be healing up to full health, so might yeah. as well. Might do as well that. just get that started. All right, so we spent our two training points. We also yeah. get a loot. Ooh, thank you. You're welcome. Mixed berries. All right, we know what that does. <laughs> and there's going to be pressure from Josh to eat those berries. I but, know, uh, right? We're going into the last one anyway. <laughs> and I have fortunate discovery. Okay. Again, yep. which ooh, I think yeah. I might give to you again. We can do a swap. Like I True. Said, I have yeah, to, to I'll help me probably out. need the mixed berries before you. I'm just going to look yep. at my bag of booms. That's one of my consumables. <laughs> it could, in a one in six, get me a grenade. <laughs> eat them, eat them. <laughs> <laughs> so Four much parts. Oh. No, I think I like your option of having the poison. And we know the crowd loves poison. So, I know, right? Uh, Somebody's been reading a lot of Shakespeare. I don't know who it is. So let's go to the recovery <laughs> phase. Let's trade some loot. I'll give you the fortunate discovery. Okay, you want these I'll ones? I'll take the mixed berries. There we go. That's oh, sorry. It. Thank you. I was reading as I'm handing it to you. <laughs> Better than <laughs> berries. <laughs> so what will happen is in the next battle, when you use those darts, they yeah. do get consumed right away. You could then use that card get them back and you'll have them available. So, so you'll have two yeah. rounds of the, the poison Which is card. nice. All right. All right. So. Wow, this is a first for me. We've, uh, we have no lock picking attempts to do. And then we both rested and recovered to full hit points. Kay. So let's confirm. I need seven, three, six, seven. Yep. Oh, I'm at eight. I double checked. Yes, and you, you've got yours. Yes. These are All yours, right. I believe. So we're on to day nine. And this is the last day. We have oh, to kill him. Oh, boy. 
We have to kill him today. Okay. You Let's ready? See how we can do this. And there's already three baddies on him because we came across his tyrant card three times. <laughs> Mulmesh. Once human, now worgen. Mulmesh has an insatiable hunger for that which he once was. Knowing there is no going back, he lets that hunger fuel his fury toward any non ebon Delorean who stands in his way of exacting vengeance. <laughs> So we're into Midnight Warfare. Oh, boy. So the battle queue are the batty points, which we're at 9 times 2, 18. 18, that's brutal. So it's going to be three fives, three ones. Yep. And, oh, man. <laughs> All baddies on this card are placed on top of the battle queue. Oh, no. So that's another three. <sighs> and... Mall mesh to the bottom of the battle oh, queue. Oh, wow. So we are up against uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, if you include the uh, oh. the tyrant himself. Wow, that's, that's aggressive. We made it here. That's, that's something, <laughs> right? We made it here. So the tyrant skills. This is your first time going up against him. I'll yes. let you know what his skills are. This is scary. So here's Mall mesh. Mall mesh. His first skill is Frenzy 2. If all of Malmesh's attack dice hit, meaning no bones, yep. you get he then rolls the attack dice again and adds the total damage of both rolls. Yeah. Not good. He also has retreat. Okay. If he starts his turn with three hit points or fewer, he is removed from the battle mat and goes to the top of the battle queue or batty queue, and then his hit points are restored once he rejoins the battle. Yeah. So if we get him knocked down. We gotta finish him off. Oh my god! Right? Don't leave him with three hit points or less because he'll just he'll just heal back up. So bad. And finally, this is the one I don't like. Shrouded. Malmesh can only be targeted by adjacent units, so Ooh. that that nullifies my ranged abilities. Yep, you right? need to, I be have to be right to up yep. on him. Now he also gets to roll his tyrant die, oh. which has two sides. There's more. That side is called Silver Hide. Malmesh cannot take damage from attack dice until his next turn. So if he has that, yep. he'll only take damage from any skill dice. Okay. And then there's this side, which is called Howl. All units friendly to Malmesh immediately improve one spot on the initiative meter. Oh. Which could also be really bad. So ultimately, we need to get rid of everything else and then try and single him yeah. out is what it comes down but to. But splash damage could happen, which is what some of this stating here. Yep, splash damage could definitely happen. Yeah, which is good. I do only have one frag right now. Uh, it's an average scene um, length, radio length, is it? I don't know if that's what you meant. I'm assuming you're asking if this is an average length of time to play the scenario or to play a game, and I know this is just the... I mean, now we've been chatting back and forth yeah, about we're, average. Yeah, we're explaining a lot of stuff, and... Had a couple rule uh, rule judgments. Uh, we've got the professionals in the chat, which is good. Yeah. Appreciate them joining us. Um, hard to say. Uh, this one, I think, would normally be a little shorter. Uh, the Each tyrant on their tyrant card yeah. does have spots at the bottom indicating roughly the game length. Uh, this is two of six. So on average, this is one of the shorter encounters. It's taken us a little bit longer because we are talking all the way through sure. it uh, and working stuff out. So... Uh, I've played this one before and had it finished in an hour and a half, maybe? Two hours? So this yeah. is a little longer than normal. Yeah, yeah. so a couple of, maybe for a couple hours. All right, so that would be his abilities. We don't need to worry about him yet. We need to worry about the eight other baddies that are in front of him. Yeah. Okay, so first off, we've got the Dire Wolf Pup, which has Lash Brack, three hit points. You're fancy with the cards too, not just the <laughs> Again, seven years in casinos, I uh, I've got some experience <laughs> with that. Yeah. Uh, all right, and he's got three on okay. the initiative meter. Then we've got the Griffin Yearling has two health. Okay. Going into lane two melee, and he has an initiative of five. If you'd like to set yep. that. Five. I always do this. There Another dire wolf pup. With health of three, I'll get that one. Okay. Going into lane three, he's going to have an initiative of three. Mm -hmm. And he goes above or below? Below. Anything below. coming in afterwards will go goes behind below. the other okay. yeah. So he's also melee. And then lane four is a surprise dragon delinquent. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have. That sounds horrible. He's going to have seven hit points. Aye. 
ranged, which is going to be hard to get to. <laughs> Initiative of six. Oh, wow. Well, only... And there's a new ability on here. Yeah. Uh, Engulf, I think I've also I've already mentioned, yep. but we killed it off before it even triggered. He has uh, a bones ability of weakened two. So if on his attack he rolls any bones, whoever he's attacking gets the weakened two symbol, mm -hmm. which is that, yep. meaning they roll two fewer dice on Jeez, their next turn. That's mean. That's not good. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's our starting battle. Let's roll for initiative. Okay. Three. All the time to get a three. Frankly, a three or four is the exact same thing there. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. That would make a difference. Yeah. Oh, and a two. I'm the bottom. Oh, that is not good. That's bad. Okay, so where am I going to hide? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Lashback, lashback, flight. And you won't get to go before him. No. Wow. That's uh, pretty poor. Wow. The uh, options are bad. And he's rolling two. Okay, That's I don't bad. know how you feel about this. I'm almost thinking you need to go for this guy. Mm -hmm. Well, he seems because to be the worst threat. He's going to go first. So if you park yourself here. Yep. He's going to go first. If I go here, yep. Well, he'll go first, but he doesn't move. Right. So that's irrelevant. He'll go next and move here. Yeah. And then if you move in. Is he going to come for you next turn? I'll be able to close those ranks okay. and force everything else to come around. And then that'll give you a shot at him, and I can start picking these guys yeah. up from range. Because that's the biggest one that we want to deal with. Yeah. And with the engulf, the other, the other benefit, if you park yourself here mm -hmm. with engulf, when he hits you, he's also going to do damage to himself and anything adjacent to you. Yeah. So hopefully that'll happen without me standing behind. I might even not even move in behind you. I might not close mm -hmm. ranks. We'll see how that plays out. I'm way down there, so yeah, we'll 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 play it out and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Are you comfortable with that? Yeah, no, I think it's good. Are you so, good with this? Anybody jumping in? I'm watching? basically uh, saying I'm throwing you in there. No, it's good. <laughs> it's, I think it's a good thing to do. Okay. Um, we are definitely going into a little bit more detail because we wanted to. We know this is a newer game, and yep. we wanted to make sure we're getting all the rules right. And the states are finally getting their copies, so yes. So, yeah. so hopefully everybody gets to enjoy this soon. Yeah, and we, like I said, you guys can always go back and rewatch bits if it like. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. So we're starting with lane four. Don't forget Dragon Breath. <laughs> yeah, that's the engulf. Yeah, that's so, that one. So uh, the engulf this time. Oh, I'll put myself on the map. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, I'll put myself <laughs> on the map. Yeah, that would be good. I still have my heal, which is good. I might park myself here, actually, because he attacks first, and with yeah. Engulf, if I was here, he'd be damaging both of us. So at uh, least I can avoid that. Oh, you know what? He's hitting me first. Ooh. <laughs> Does well, that change still, anything? Still, I mean, it doesn't we really. don't want him hitting both exactly. of us. Exactly, so. so it's better to stay where you are. I think this is, we've got nine things to go through. Yeah, we should. It's an uphill battle, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll okay, so he's going to go first. Attacking the weakest from range, which means he will be targeting me. And don't forget, Engulf can hurt himself. Yes. Yes. And that's what right. we're trying to line up is yes. if Mandy moves in here and we can get him to target her, then it'll be hitting everything around. Which is fantastic. Uh, I can't stand here next to somebody yet because I am a ranged unit. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd line myself up somewhere there so that it would be hitting them as well. But unfortunately, I can't do that. Right. Uh, so up. he's hitting me. Okay, so I'm rolling. How many? Two attack, two defense. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Thanks. <laughs> People are loving. Good. Loving it. All right. Not bad. So not bad, but also not good because he does have a bones ability, which is weakened <sighs> too, which means I now have I'm so sorry. two fewer dice on my turn. <laughs> uh, but he only hits me for one. Okay. Could have been worse. That's all right. Could have been worse. And then he gets uh, that defense. Actually, sorry, does yes, go to him. To him. Yeah. They get, uh, and it's the same thing. If he already has the two defense dice here, he does not roll two more. Same thing with us. If we have defense die, uh, dice locked in, we don't get to use those unless we're actually re-rolling them. Mm -hmm. So that was him. Uh, and uh, engulf doesn't hit anything that's adjacent there. So now lane two is going to go. Yeah. Flight, you're closest. So he's going to go for you. Sing me. Which way do we want him to go? I guess we want him to go this way. Right. Because, because you want to head right. in. Right. Okay. 
Although, if we send him in that way, he might get you later. He goes for me because uh, he goes for weakest. I mean, you can. At put this point, we do have the choice of which way to move him because technically, well, I mean, if you, you know what? No, I think he it's it's a tie. So he goes for whatever is his target. I'm weakest. There is no decision. Okay. Yeah, he That's goes it. for me. Okay. Okay. So we're rolling two. You are rolling well, two. Well, I am yeah. rolling two. You are know. rolling two. That is uh, beautiful. Well done. Okay. Those are bones if you can't see them. <laughs> now, he also does take flight, which means I won't be able to target sure. him on my turn. But my turn is ages away. So I'm duly worried about, about that. that. Yeah. Now it's me. Now it's you. So I need to move, don't I? If you want to get for this guy, yep. Because I don't have anything here to use. Select one of your consumable, blah, blah, blah. No, I can't do that yet. Okay, so I'm going to have to move here. Yep. Oh, this looks ugly. Okay, so what is we, we determined would be the best way to kill him? Poison? I think I think the crowd would love some poison. <laughs> um, and you do have this one, right? You wouldn't exhaust yeah. this yet because this. that's range. The yeah. toxin. You could use it, but the toxin is, is up close and personal. You're, you're yes. pouring that right down his throat. So you know what? Let's do that yep. for one. Uh, and you did move, so you've only got three dice to roll. So that's one. I feel like, do I need defense? Do I need to get some healing happening early? Uh, buff HP might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I'm thinking. So that's one of these ones. So yep. I can roll that. And that leaves me with two. Should we do some damage or should I be looking it at... It only leaves you with one because Sorry. you can't move one spot. That's right, I moved one. Yep. So one of these, one of these is the question. Because right now, but mind you, if the poison hits, that's kind of damage in itself. It is. And is... The best type of uh, damage because the right. shields, uh, the poison ignores the shields. If you roll your attack dice, all of the the best case is you're going to be removing these and he'll get to re-roll them again. Okay. So one attack die in this case, it's not really going to make a difference. Not worth so it. maybe I should. We just don't use... mind him keeping those. Maybe I should use one of these. I don't mind that. Yeah. Yep. And that I way... think that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Not great. Not great. No. Okay. So you've got some decisions to make. First off, you do have that. Yes, so that, that is bonus. Is good. You have a miss on this. But I can do this and reroll, re which I think would be wise. So I'm okay. this comes out here. I'm going to set this aside. We'll yeah. discuss that in a second. Okay. Nice. Much better. That was a worthy reroll. Much better. So that gets you five, uh, five buff HP. Five, yep. Very good. Okay. Now, this you have a decision to make. That is only poison one. That's terrible. He's going to take... One damage from that. I don't think it's worth it. If you it. want, you can take that and put it back into your into your your skill map. I personally think it would be better to put it back yeah. and try again another time. Agree, because it's terrible. Yeah, it's not, uh, <laughs> it's that's not, not worth one. Good. No. So okay, that was not bad. Not not horrible. Keep it says keep those. Oh, Josh says keep those shields on him. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah, yeah, we're going to keep the shield. Uh, my, my because if we roll. remove them, then that means yeah. more opportunity for bones, which means more opportunity for weekend. So that is that is best Someone case. Someone says no, give boomer. <laughs> I tried the poison. It didn't go very well yeah, for me. So yeah. we're going to try it again at a later time. Okay. Uh, so now we're looking at lane one, <clears throat> yep. which is the dire wolf pup. You are closest. So he's going to move to you. Oh, hello. Which is okay because everything that's around you is going to take damage whenever he hits because right. of his engulf ability. That's right. So we want that. Uh, and he's sure. only hitting with one. So Okay. Okay. One. So and that'll one. come off your buff. Perfect. Yep. Then lane three. So now he's going to be coming to me. So we will go one, two. But he uh -huh. can't reach me. That's okay. Hey, I get a turn. Yay. I get a turn, but I get two fewer dice. Yeah. So I get to roll two. Uh, I think what I need to do, <laughs> we have two more five-point baddies coming in, right? Eh? Yep, some big <clears throat> ones. Yeah. I think I need body search to roll for parts. Do I attack anything? I can't target him. No, it's a flight. I don't think it's worth throwing any grenades yet. <laughs> I'm going to try and get one more. I okay. only have one grenade to right. throw, so I'm going to roll this. Let's give it a whirl and see. And this. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got this. I hope so. <sighs> All right. Not great. Not great at all. 
so that will get me the third part I need <laughs> for a grenade. Okay. So that's fine. That's something. I'll take that's those. Fine. That takes up the two. Okay. This, the one part does me no good because I don't have a way to get any other parts. Yep. I'm going to keep that to reroll later if I want to and maybe get the buff HP or the loot. So I'm not going to bother using that for a spare part that doesn't do me any good. Uh, no one eliminated yet. Can't roll until someone is dead. On what? Oh, I yeah. think it was a... Uh, right, you guys got this? Yes, indeed. Maybe I'm gonna no one eliminated yet. Dot, dot, can't roll until someone is dead. <clears throat> and did you know, has Tom tried this yet? He didn't mention it. I mentioned it on so uh, Tom Basil. So uh, as I mentioned before, I, I do uh, work on the Dice Tower. And um, I know in our last chats that we had, he hasn't mentioned it. And I did throw it out there that I was streaming it and see if anyone else had played it. And he didn't mention it. Now, that's not to say he hasn't played it. He just hasn't talked about it yet. But now I would be curious. So after this tonight, I will be poking him and asking him if he's played it. I don't know. I feel like this is a game that he would like. But who's to say? We'll right. find out. All right. So we're going into round two. Lane four is going first, which is the dragon. So he already has the defense dice in place. Now he's going to be targeting. Uh, he's targeting weakest. The body search. <laughs> what? Uh, this one. Oh, I'm like yeah. that's random. <laughs> um, unfortunately, he's going to be going for me. I'd like him to be going for you, but uh, he's going to be going for me yep. because he targets weakest. He cannot roll any more defense dice because he already has these two locked. So mm -hmm. two attack. Okay, ready? I guess. All right. Ah, so great. Two attack. Uh, actually, you know what? That's good. Okay. It's two damage, but because he didn't roll any bones, I don't have to worry about that weak True. that weakened ability. True. That hurts because that's that's fewer dice for me to roll. Yep. That's fine. All right. So okay. lane two. So I get to. No, actually, I don't need to do anything. Nope. Not yet. Excuse me. Not yet. Uh, this guy's gonna land. Mm -hmm. And we can decide where to land around me, but really, it is kind of irrelevant. We'll keep him there. Okay. And he's going to attack me with two dice. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. I don't want it to Another two? Okay, I'm okay. going to need some healing. Yeah, so. I think that's going to have to happen. Yay. Mm -hmm. All right, and now it's you. Okay, so I don't have anything to heal, so we're good. So you're going to need healing. Oh boy. So that means I should probably do that. Uh, or, even, is it this one? No. That or that. That can heal, uh, but if you get that, that's re-rolling heals. Uh, Confirm for me, yep. just to make sure. So that one is re-roll heal? Yeah. Uh, so that's similar yeah. to this one. Right. But If you got that side, you could lock it in here and then re-roll sure. a, healing, a healing die. So which one are we thinking? Uh, for you. It's it's almost desperate times. Yeah. I would almost say both. Both? So these two? Because I've got... I've got five that I need healed. Yeah, okay. So uh, that one only goes up to three. Yeah. So if you can get healing on both, that could put me right up. If you get one healing and one reroll, that's one that you can save. I'd Are I still trying to get that again? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, or this one. Sorry, this one. I yeah, keep pointing at this one. If you can Sorry, get that stuck one. on him. Yep. So I haven't moved, so that still leaves me with one more. Yep. I'm almost wondering if I should roll one of these for... Yep. Well, yeah. you can uh, for defense. Yeah. For defense, yeah. not there's still no point. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Agreed. So um, let's see. It's something. Okay. So someone had mentioned something. I don't know if you want to read on the chat while I'm doing this, but a couple lines in, there's some clarification for something. Not for us, but just I think in general. Um, yeah. And then. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. You see something there? Clarification. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Reroll. Okay. Yeah. Cock die, reroll. Cool. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's five healing. I need five. Perfect. I will take that. So that's exhausted, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. Now this goes here. Uh, oh, right here. Yeah. Yep. Um, I mean, what's the highest that goes up to? It goes up to three. Well, two is not but bad. But I think there's only one three on yeah, here. Yeah, so let's not... There's only one three, around. So, so let's take the two. Yeah, I'd say we stick that. Yeah, so I agree. That gets exhausted. Yep. And he gets poisoned too long. Okay, that's what the other person was saying was when somebody's fallen. But yeah. uh, the body search, I believe what Josh is saying is it can be rolled. Okay. Yeah, it can be rolled. 
if batty has been previously eliminated? Yeah? Can only be rolled if a batty has been previously Oh, so that, had we killed anybody? No, so I guess technically that could not have been rolled. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't actually do anything with it anyway, so... But it's saying something that it's something we'll be clarifying else. in Boomer Sheet in the future. Yeah. So... Okay. Yeah, so there it's you go. Okay. It was a wasted roll for me anyway, so that uh, that actually doesn't affect the outcome, so okay. that's good. I didn't Perfect. gain from it, so that's good. Okay, so that All right, was so that was you. Turn. Yep. Everything done? All right, so we're looking at lane one now, which is this guy. Yep. He's going to be attacking you with one knife. Okay. Or one damage. Uh, here. Yep. Then lane three, which is this guy, which is a little awkward because now there's somebody lashed back next to me, which... Yeah, it's not good for something that's ranged, but uh, one die against me. Okay. Yeah, there was no effect on the game, so. One, one. damage. Okay. Could be worse. Okay. And now I get to go. Yep. Okay, at least you're still in the game. Still in it. Uh, I still don't think I want to be spending any grenades yet, because we still have A two five-point baddies not and the tyrants coming up. Yep. So, he's landed. I think I might hit him while I can. So I get four dice. I'm going to use... I'm going to use two attack. Okay. Two defense. Let's see how this pans out. A lot of bones. Actually, that is probably best case because all I needed was two to yep, hit him. Which you which did. Which I did. And it killed him. And three bones, which gives me some uh, wiggle room for abilities. Yep. That works. That was actually pretty good. All right. So he is gone. Yep. That's there. Mandy, you have defense. Damage would have removed. Oh, that's right. I had oh, a shield. Yes, you were absolutely you. right. So yep. actually, that should have happened. Yep. And that should come back. Thank you. Thank you. And Thanks, that was. Man. <laughs> There's just so many things going on. I gotta look for it. So thank you for that. Okay, so that was me. Yeah. End of the round means another baddie's coming in because we do have an open spot. Yep. We've got a stone golem coming in. Oh boy. Okay. So <laughs> oh, I mean God. it'll be fine. So we've got seven health coming into melee in lane two. Lane two melee is taken, so then we go to lane three. I know, this is late for people. I don't have to work tomorrow, so... <laughs> <laughs> I do, but that's all right. It's playing games. Uh, I'm not going to complain. And then uh, the initiative is irrelevant because he's going to come in at the bottom of the queue. Right. Hey, somebody behind me. That's nice. That's novel. All right. So I think we're all set up. So we look at lane four first. Okay. Poison's going to trigger. So yep. he takes two, which is fantastic. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> and then he still has two uh, defense active, which means he's going to be rolling two attack on you. No, on me. Because he attacks weakest with range. Yeah. So, so he is doing you. two attack on yeah. me. Uh, the benefit here is he will be hitting this guy, where I don't need to worry about the lashback. If you want to roll those. Sure. So how many are we rolling two. here? Two. And just the two, or do we roll them? That's it, because okay. he has those he's got already the, there. Yeah. Okay, so two hits, not bad. So two on me, and then the engulf will actually do Get two. Get another two. Here. That's probably best case scenario. Yeah. I am getting a little low on HP, though. I might need a buff from you. <laughs> and you're next. Okay, perfect. Just doing a quick response. Okay. All right. So I get to actually don't have any healing to do, so we're good on that front. Yep. So I basically, I guess we're attacking... <clears throat> So I still work, well, I don't know, because that's still doing the poison thing. Should I be looking at this here? At the uh, terrible? A poison dart at this guy might be good. Okay. Because he has the break ability. Ooh. Actually, this one has another ability that we have not experienced no. yet uh, called corrosive. So this is another backup plan ability. It is a bones ability. And the way corrosive works is the... Attack hits, and then any remaining defense dice mm. will actually get exhausted. So you almost don't want to have too high of a defense <laughs> because if he doesn't get through it, whatever is left gets just eaten away, exhausted, and that's fewer defense dice for you for you to use uh, later in the battle. Yeah. So. Um, so I think 
the poison dart over here would be the way to go. Might be good. Okay. I could really use a buff if you don't so mind. So we can do the buff. Yep. And then should I be looking at bones? Defense. Uh. What do you have? Two defense. Um. So yeah. It might be good to just defend. Do two defense. Okay. I need defense because guy. we we still don't want to attack here. He's got the uh, the two shields locked in. Mm -hmm. and that's fine. Okay. So let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Get her done. Just hunker down and defend yourself. That's okay. not good. Uh, okay. Well, I'd say take that back. Okay. Don't so use, we won't that. use that. Yeah, don't commit that. Commit that and hopefully, uh, hopefully you can get me the a later. shield. Yeah. I got a bones. Yep. And then that three poison, which is pretty darn good. That's awesome. So that's I will take. And this one is a goner. Well, it's that's spent. That's spent. But that's why I gave you the fortune discovery. You can get that sure, back if I need it. Yeah. yeah. Which may happen. <laughs> Okay, I didn't get the healing I needed there, I'm but uh, sorry. that's all right. It, didn't it, go. it wasn't worst case. Worst case would be this side, which would actually do damage to you yes. and exhaust it. You have uh, no choice. Okay, but because it was this side, you do We're get to try there. again. So hopefully next one I can again. do another roll. Yep. So yes, yay boomerang! Woo, woo. All right, get there. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, you yeah. do have. So I don't know. I guess we would have to do that next turn. Uh, technically, I'd say it's still your turn. You have not right. spent anything with your bones. If you wanted to trigger that now, you could. Okay, so I'm thinking... The question is, do you want to? You could get rid of this. <laughs> yeah. Potentially. I feel like Josh is, is saying, use the boomerang. I'm reading between the lines. I he also know. told me to eat my berries. <laughs> so I don't know if I trust Josh. But yeah, no, I, I think that is a good idea. I think we should do this. So. Uh, because you could get rid of him, yep. and you might be able to get that back. And it says, and do two damage, roll a d6. Yep. So basically, this would be gone. Yep. All right, and I have to. Roll and it this. is it. You're rolling. Well, I have to roll this. Right, but it does actually do two damage. You don't yep. roll for the damage. No, nope. it automatic. says select any body and do two damage. So you're good going here. here. And then it says roll a d6, and I think this just lets me know if it comes you're back. You're killing to him. him. He's done. It's Excellent. gone. I like that. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's uh, I'm crying uncle right now. I should leave Twitch running so Pa can tell me stories as I fall asleep. Make it a happy story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging in that long. I know. Sometimes I, you can finally yeah, watch I, one. I appreciate you're there. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. No? It's gone. Oh, is it? It's for this battle. Okay. That sucks. Well, this is the last battle, so. I'll All right. Do that. So it's just laying out in the field somewhere. That sucks. I knew boomerangs didn't <laughs> come back. I, I know, always knew right? that was just See? my oh, listeners false. feel boomerang is no what is that? It's a stick. <laughs> that's a stick, exactly. It's not coming back. <laughs> okay. But it did get rid of him. True. Because I didn't have the buff HP, that's actually a good move. It's yeah. because I don't want him to take any damage. Okay, so you killed off lane three. No, so no, it looks like must hang in there almost midnight. <laughs> <laughs> um that was you. Okay. So now we're looking at lane one. We're almost there. I know. Uh, we're trying. We're trying. And guess if you like I said, if you guys can stay, we appreciate that you've hanging in this long, and you can also watch it on the YouTube or on Twitch later. Yeah. So we'll be posting it. We will be posting it. Okay, so uh this guy is now attacking you. One die. Okay. Miss. That's all right. I get to go. <clears throat> uh all right, what's the plan here? If I get one more mm -hmm. bones results. Yes. I'll Thank get you. my throw ends, which is thwack target for three damage. Oh, that's pretty slick. Which would be great to use against him because that is a way to damage him yes. without using his break ability, exhausting my attack dice. Uh, and you know what? I don't even have to decide because I've got the micro neural implant so I can decide after rolling. So, having said that, I think you've got a plan. I've got a semi plan. I will roll. <laughs> Two attack, two defense. Yep. And let's see where that goes. Yeah. Bones. So that is definitely bones. Sweet. That gives me the throw ends. Yep. Two defense. Um. So yeah, I am going to target him. Mm -hmm. Not using those dice. I will use this to hit him for three. Ooh. That's pretty. That's pretty heavy. Which is heavy. great because he's also got the three poison on. Yeah, which so will bring him down to. It'll bring him down to one, one which yeah. is nice. Okay. Yeah. I like that. All right, and then he is next. Yeah. I didn't have anything else, right? No. Nope. I don't think so. So the poison triggers first. Down to one. So Sweet. three gone. Down to two. Yeah. Now he is going to go one two. I am the closest. Yeah. So one, two. 
but that's as far that's as he goes, going, so yep. that's fine. And then he's going to die on his next turn before he can do anything. Yep, because the poison That is wonderful. Well done. Poison, <laughs> am I right? Okay. <clears throat> on to round three. Okay. Uh, before we go any further, we did have somebody die. Yes. Another one comes in. We've got an owl bear. Owl bear has six health. Oh, I wanted an owl bear so bad. Now I'm regretting it for six health. <laughs> yeah. You wanted an owl bear, you got it. I so he's coming into lane four. He is melee. At least he is the far, the far end of yeah. the battle. So he has a long way to go. And again, his initiative is irrelevant because he comes in at the bottom during yeah. battle. Okay. All right, lane four. That's me. Uh, no, lane oh, four sorry, is lane actually four. targeting yep, me. No, targeting you. And this is where I kind of needed the buff HP. Uh, uh, I think it's round four. Can others confirm? Round four. Yes, I it is. don't think I changed that. We didn't change it, so okay. yes, it is four. You are correct. Um, so he still has the two shields. He's only going to roll two attack against me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, two? Yep. Okay. Ah. One. Okay. Not... But the downside is with I the bones, know, he know. does has his has his he and has his weaken two ability with his bones, which means I'm gonna have two fewer dice on my next I'm turn. I'm sorry. That's all right. Any need for an eight plus one? Yeah, we had that. Didn't really work then. Now, yeah. I mean, the boomerang's not really a thing. Now that you're buffed, maybe we yeah. should have buffed me instead because yeah. you do have that innate. But you're taking more hits than me. Although with him, I don't know. Well, I don't it's know. hard to say. 2020, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. Hindsight, yeah. Hindsight, yeah. yeah. All that. Okay. So hits for one. I okay. don't think I took that away yet. Nope. But also means I have two fewer dice on my turn. Okay. No. So I don't need to heal. Don't mind trying that buff again. Oh my gosh. I could really use better. some buff HP. So right now I'm basically looking at this and, yes. well, I guess that, really. Doesn't mean I can use. I have to use it, mm -hmm. but if it's bones, can't yep. hurt. Yep. Okay. I'll That's take the four buffs. Pretty good. Thank you. And I got. Whew. That gives me some breathing room. Three. Uh, okay, hold on. You rolled. You rolled two defense, so technically yeah, that actually gone. would have been gone. Yeah. And then, yep, those so come yeah, in. Those will come in. Yep. And, and then... one attack. You could apply that here, but mm, it's better no, that it's he not, just keeps that. We'll just leave that alone. Yep. Yeah, okay, that's my turn. Okay, thank you for the buff HP. That gives me a bit more breathing space. So then we've got lane one. He's going to attack you with one die. I got one, one damage. Niche on here. I get to go. Two fewer dice, though. Uh, I think Michael ticked his defense down and took the one HP damage. Oh, yeah, I did. I totally did. Ha! Thank you very much. I love it. Thank you very much. So good. Why make it more punishing than it already is, I swear is, we're making right? this game harder on ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm too concerned about making sure I what actually take what I need. Was that Mark who did that? I think that was Mark. All right. Uh, phew. That could be key. Uh, let's see here. He's going to die. Which is fantastic. Yep. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll go for this guy because okay. you can't hit him without getting hit no. back, but I can. You're at a distance, so you're able to do it. But remember, you have fewer dice to roll. Right, I've only got two to roll. Uh, which means defense could be good. Uh, hmm. I still don't want to... I want to save my... For like I, I would like to save ending. my grenades for the, the baddie, yeah. Uh, Mandy, you took buff HP damage, but have defense again. Oh, totally. I did, that's right. So, yeah, so, take one back on the buff. Yeah. And remove the one. Yeah, that should be gone. Thank you for keeping us honest here. I know, my You're goodness. helping us out. We, they're cheering for us. That's yeah, good. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be like, just die. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, seriously. Through the internet. They're catching all the things. Like, yep. seriously? We we're killing ourselves. You're, you're our, our backup healers. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, I only have two dice. I would like another defense, I think. So... Uh -huh. Actually, you know what? This is going to be your call. Do I go one attack, one defense? Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't have to pick my target yet, but that's probably who I'm going sure. for. Sure. Because you don't, you have one defense now. Although, he's going to be coming for me. Yeah. And he's got four attack. You that's the one that I think okay. you need to go for. Yeah. Two attack against him. I need to get rid of him. That's something. 
That's a start. Yep. Yeah, because he's going to hit hard if he makes it to me. Yeah, well, it's four. I get one round of movement, and then he's at me. All yeah. right. Lane two. Hit. Dead. Nice. Two poison. Something else is coming in, though. It is, but it's going to be a one point instead of a five point batty. Yeah. Have lane we changed the round marker yet? No, not yet. Okay. No, we're just It's just at the end. end. Okay. All right, lane three. So now he's coming towards me there. Mm -hmm. And then he has Inspire One, which would bring anybody behind up one on the meter with plus one attack dice. But he doesn't have. Oh, no. I just realized something else. Okay. So there's nobody else behind him. That's fine. Uh, an ability he does have that oh. I did not mention that is new to this uh, this this playthrough is Terrify. Oh, dear. Which means I did attack him. I did do damage to him. I actually lose my next turn. Oh, no. I'm going to double check that. This is my first time I'm actually going up against that. Oh, this is Terrify? I don't when think we... When this unit is attacked, place Terrify effect die on attacker. The unit, the affected unit, cannot attack opposing units during its next turn. Oh. Yikes. Yeah, this is my first time coming up against this. So I, uh, oh. I have not seen that till now. <laughs> the face is funny. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Mm. It's like a screen the face. Screen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, screen face. Okay, well. Uh, don't forget to FD your poison attack. That happened mm -hmm. a while ago. Oh, did we tick down for the poison? Oh, this guy. Yeah. That is true. That's Thank right. you. Yep. So yeah, that's I think gone we didn't do that. and that. Yep. Yeah. So no effect on anything else. Yeah, that's fine. But that. yes, that's thank good. you very much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's so, just so much. End of the round. Yes. Another one comes in. We're, we're knocking them down. Okay. You know what? So it's, it's further than, honestly, it's further than I expected to go. You can roll more grenades in defense. Okay. Uh... Is that in response to what Terrify does? It says, but no, someone asked a question about Terrify equals okay. cannot attack, but can still use skills, question mark. Okay, and the answer, I'm assuming, was no. We're hoping, no, we're still waiting. So okay. hopefully Josh will jump in on that one, but uh, not 100%. So we'll find cannot out. attack opposing units during this next but turn. Someone's asking which means still... probably, like I would read that as could heal. Like right. You could probably do some right. healing. Um, but this is what I guess they're trying to clarify. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, and hopefully it... Uh, Pans out in our favor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So we've got uh, maybe maybe he'll take uh, pity on us and, and say uh, we can do that. So he's coming in. Uh, he is a melee unit yep. coming into lane two. Lane two is filled. So then we go to lane three. Mm -hmm. And this is a clay golem. So he has the break ability again. And again, initiative is going to be irrelevant. So that was this one that was dead. And then he mm -hmm. comes back in at the bottom of the queue. So someone, uh, is it Mark? That chimed in that's saying that cannot attack but can roll anything else. So we're still waiting for like official official, but that's where okay. we're at. Yeah. And I'm assuming uh, terrified does not equal a lost turn. Okay. Yeah. So I could I could roll defense is basically what it comes down to. Yeah. Or Sonic Cleanse, that wouldn't be an attack, but has no relevance here. That is correct. Can still roll other dice and that is the official. I could roll my body search. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good to know. Yep. Excellent. Yep. Thank you. Official. All right, so I did change the round meter. We're up to round five. Oh, boy. It's getting crazy. And lane six is going to go. He is going to attack me because I am weakest. Okay, he does still have two shields. Two. Two attack this. Uh, this isn't too bad because okay. I can't attack this round anyway. Sure. So have rolling two dice, not too bad. I'd rather take the... Uh, not from here. <laughs> uh -huh. They would have caught me, I'm sure, but yeah. I'll take it from here. From there. One buff HP. Yep. And I will have the two fewer dice on my next attack. Jeez. Looking rough. But that's okay, because I'm not attacking anyway. So it's over to you. Can Sonic Cleanse prevent Terrify? Oh, that's a good call. Well, I think it would prevent, but not remove, because uh. on my turn, it's going to be gone afterwards anyway. Well, we'll get, we'll find out. Uh, but I think it would prevent it. So I would have had to have had that up to begin with. So I don't really have a lot happening right now. So no, I'm no, thinking either it's... I just go straight up attack, yeah. or I try and get bones. Or I can do a mix. Two and two. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I can't attack with more than that. So two and two would really be my only option. That's true. Yeah. And what's your target going to be? Do you start going here? 
I think maybe I should start there. Removing the shields is scary because he gets to re-roll the shields, and when he rolls the shields, oh. that's two more dice that he could roll bombs yeah. with. I'm just scared of doing this one, so I'll get smacked. Uh, Doesn't Michael have a shield? You do. I absolutely do. What did I take? I took one damage. Yeah. And I took one. Oh, see, I noticed. Don't take it from here. Take it from here. Yeah. But then you totally missed it's the shield. We're now at the end where there's so much going on. We really have to pay attention. So, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, do you think I should roll one of two of each? Or, I mean, that's all I have. That's all you have to roll. So, is two of I each. might as well. Uh, it's just pick where you're going to actually be, sure. where you're aiming. Because you do need to decide. Should we? Beforehand. And don't forget, you do have the fortunate discovery, which could wondering... get you another poison yes. dart. Which I'm wondering if um, that's doable. That would be good it for might this. Be good here. Or for here. Okay, so hold on now. Hold the phone. So maybe get rid of that. Because if we go up against him, uh, it can cleanse the terrify before you apply attack dice. So yes, you could do that. Coming back to the question about. Uh, Sonic Cleanse Prevent Terrifying. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So I roll that. I could remove that and then and then trigger the attack dice afterwards. Okay. So there you go. Okay, good to know. That uh, I'll I'll take that into account when it comes down to my turn. We'll see what the situation is. So I'm thinking maybe we should use this now. Yeah. Because I, I feel like this is a problem and it's taken quite a while to deal with it. Yeah. So might as well use it for something else. So this is a single use. Yep. So then I would basically take back the eight. You get your poison die back. Yep. It's this one, right? The eight. Yep. Yes, consumable die. So now mm -hmm. I'm thinking, does that look a bit more? Or do you think I should? I think that's good with the poison going to him. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. You're doing well with that poison that dart. poison is fantastic. I was thinking it might be good to prevent Terrify for the next one or two rounds. That too. Now, the the only reason I might not use it this round is I do have... Oh, actually. Would that also remove the Weakened 2? Mm. If it removes the Weakened 2, then I think I will definitely do that. Okay, so while you're looking at that, so I have the dart. Actually, no, that doesn't work though, does it? Because Weakened 2 means I'm going to have two fewer dice to roll, and I'm going to be rolling those at the time. So it won't remove <laughs> the Weakened 2, in which case... I need a, yep. a poison three. Well done. Perfect. Thank you. That is now officially. Yeah. So I might not do that this round just because I am rolling two fewer dice anyway, which and means I won't be as effective. I have a two. Does this come in or is that gone? Uh, that's your roll. You get that. I get to keep it. Okay. Okay. That's it. We're Let's working through this. We're getting We're there. We're working through it. Good. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. I need to. Okay. The dire wolf pup hitting you with one. For one. Okay, so one for me. Off of shield. Off of shield, yes. Shields, yeah. I know, why do I keep, I keep forgetting about my shield. <laughs> I, I forgot as well. Internet saves us. I know. Okay, so on my turn. So this is my reasoning. Let me know if I'm wrong here. Uh, I do see now that the sonic boom, or sonic cleanse would remove this, but that's not going to help me with the two fewer dice this turn. In which case, I don't think I want to spend this at the moment. I think that's what he said. Because yeah. you were rolling your dice first, it wouldn't help with that. Yeah. This round. Okay. So yeah. I'll just I'll stick with the terrify. I won't be attacking. Yes, poison is now my favorite die. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm just going to go two defense. Okay. I think that's the best way to go. Uh, no, one defense, one body search. And maybe I'll get some buff HP out of that. Okay. Okay. Bones. Save that. And then parts, which actually will not do me any good yeah. because I have no way to build another frag. So I'm going or another grenade, I mean. So I'm just not going to use that. So the terrify is gone and the Okay, well these ones are gone. gone. Yep. So I'm good with that. Main three. Is this guy? All right, so this is where it's going to get a little scary. Uh, I'm going to move him here. He's four. <clears throat> oh, yeah, four. Whoa. All oh, right. I'm, not, I'm in the position to take the hit if required. Uh, no, he won't reach you. He goes for weakest, and oh. he's adjacent to me, so it's going to be me. Okay. I do have I do have the buff HP. He's a B. Uh, oh, I'm going to steal one of yours. Yep. All right. Okay, two. 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 Could be worse. No shields. So, nope. buff HP. 
Okay, and then he does have Inspire 1, which means this guy moves up the meter, but he's still last in the sure. spot. He also gets one additional attack die. However, he can't reach me, so he attacks with nothing. And 3 poison. Nice. Means the 2 poison is going to kill him sure. next round. So we can kind of just well rolled wait on that. Of that out. <laughs> yeah. All right, speaking of waiting that out, oh we're boy. now on to the fatigue rounds. <laughs> Uh, on to the fatigue rounds. So, one here. We'll do the baddies first. Uh, so I guess fatigue, next round, will cause one here. Molmesh to lead the battle if he isn't killed, right? Uh, Molmesh isn't actually on the mat yet, um, but Molmesh will leave if he has three or fewer hit points. Mm. So we need to make sure that once he gets down to that point, we need to be able to finish him off. I'll throw everything yeah. <laughs> at that point. Exactly. Just... All grenades thrown yeah. out at that point. Okay, so, so fatigue here. also means one off of you, yep. and now we know for certain it is off of base HP, yep. which okay. you have no healing left, eh? I'm only good for three more rounds. Yeah, I have nothing. Uh, you do have this, though. Yes, which is the heal gear lock. To, yeah, might need to start using that on me just to keep yep. me alive round to round. Yeah. Okay. My turn. However, I need to survive this first. So, dragon's going to go after me. Okay. How many is that one? Two? He has his two shields still, so two attack dice against me. Oh, did I just kill you? Nope, I have these. Okay. So hitting for three means one, two, three. Ideally, that wasn't a great roll. However, three, because he has engulf, right. means this one is dead. Oh, so there was a silver lining. There is a silver lining. <laughs> okay. Eat those berries. <laughs> oh, that is oh my gosh! Point. Totally eat those berries. See, he's Eat those you in yes. the right direction. Yes, okay. <laughs> I will take that. Well, it's not my turn. It's not my turn. Not yet. It's my I'll, turn. I'll, yeah, I should have. You are totally right. I should have eaten those berries <laughs> See? on my turn. He's pushing but I will direction. wait. I will wait until my turn. Okay, so <laughs> thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is getting All intense. game, you were getting pushed with the berries. Yeah, and now eat you're the, like, berries. Eat the berries. the berries. Okay. okay. So I heal one. You're going to heal me for one? Oh, you heal. Yeah, I heal one heal personally. One. Yep. Yeah. So when I heal you, do I heal you now? Uh, you can trigger your bones at any point. You just only get to do that once. Each so turn. let's do that now. So okay. That doesn't make sense. So someone's like, how <laughs> many baddies head. are left in the baddie queue? Uh, we've got two one point baddies and then Molmesh. Yeah. So we're, we're getting there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And there's three there. Three there. I should have one more. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, so now I've done that. So really, at this point, like I said, I don't have a ton of options here. <laughs> so we're looking at, I guess, these are, again, this is all I can do. Speaking of battle queue. Yes. This was open at the end of the round, correct? Yeah, you just killed it. Did just you know? now? Yeah, there was one where something like happened here, and you, yeah, right? yeah. So that should have been filled. It's, and that's probably why that question yes. came up. So yeah, we will bring, we will bring another one yeah. in. Uh, it won't affect the no, order no. at all because he comes in at but the bottom. But I'll decide anyway. what happens next. Yeah. Thank you for that. So we've got a yeah. bog frog coming in with poison two ability, but he's melee, so he needs to get to me to be able to trigger that. Sure. But he does come in at the bottom, so okay. that doesn't change anything. Okay, so over to you. And who are you attacking? What are you rolling? Uh, What's going okay, on? so basically I'm rolling two defense, two attacks. That's all yeah. I can do. If you are rolling two defense, yes, you would actually have to lose that. So you know what? Let's Which not do that. It might not be a bad you idea. Think? To get the bones? To get the bones. Okay. Because so, you're you're full of health. I'm not. I'm yeah. gonna need you to get that again. Okay. So let's do that. Yeah. And I guess should we, I guess I should be should I blah, 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 blah. should I try focusing on trying to kill that, or should I try doing something? Well, I can't. That's the only thing you that I can You won't be killing do. him because he has two shields. Sure. And we still don't want to remove those yet. I'd say aim for Maybe him. Maybe aim here. If you get two hits, do no, it. No, it's not a big deal. If you don't, uh, yeah. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, do That's it. That's what I'm saying. Go Let's just him. do it. So Massive. That is okay, crazy so he's dead. So I didn't get any bones, unfortunately, but I did get some shield action. Yep. But dead. And I'm going to take two hits off of here. Or is that off of my health? Uh, you're not taking anything. Oh, because he's dead. Because That's he's right. Dead. He's yep. dead. He can't fight back. Yeah, he's yeah, dead. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, why was the other baddie added just now? Uh, that should have come in at the end of right. the at the end of the last round. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it I, died, I forgot. and yeah. we forgot to add it. So. Yeah. But it didn't. Uh, yeah. But it didn't uh, adjust or change anything. No, there, because so. he does come in at the bottom yeah. of the initiative meter. He yeah. should have entered because I killed one off uh, last round. Uh, that should have come in at the bottom. Yeah. 
Okay, so is that the bog? That is the bog frog. Yes. Uh, bog doesn't come out yet. I think he was killed by the dragon, right? No, that was when you just took out, is it not? Oh, was it? That's possible. Yeah, dragon killed. Right, him. it was from that. Okay, yeah. thank you. I'll take that. That gives us a little more time. So he wouldn't have come in. Shouldn't be in yet. Yes. Okay. Right. That is correct. Good. <laughs> Most. No, it's okay. We thought we killed one. We thought we missed one. It's it is becoming a long so game, isn't it? Sorry, right. my apologies. Appreciate your paying attention as well. Okay. Uh, okay, so that still hasn't affected anything. It didn't anything affect yet. anything, no, so we're no. fine. Yeah, that's good. But we will have two coming in at the end of this round. Okay. Uh, when Mandy hit Mike, yes. Yeah. It hit. That's yeah. right. I remember now. Yes, yes. when you hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, he's going to die. So what do I do? Um, do I start aiming for him? Do I just go all at him? I, I think at this point we're just going to have to attempt that. But then I'm afraid, well. I have four dice. I can roll four attack. I would. And then I still have throw odds as well. I would, because this is going to die on its own. Yeah. So. Okay. All out. Get her done. <sighs> three, which is one, two, three. And then I will use my throw odds. Yeah. Uh, well, I have bones here, but I'll use throw odds, which will do four. And then at the start of the next round, he's actually going to die due to fatigue. Right. Okay, that okay. works. So that, that was works. good. That was really good. No shields, but hopefully you can. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll figure something out there. Uh, my buff HP is gone too, so yep. that's yours. So that's yep. Okay. Yep, and now this. So is this guy off. goes. He's gonna die from poison. Yep. Oh my God, is this possible? Stop saying that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's not possible. That's crazy talk. <laughs> okay, so now it's this, the end of the round. Not right. the start of the round, but the end of the round. Are we losing? Uh, uh, okay. This might be a question for Josh. Uh, Eat those berries. <laughs> that is... <laughs> Everyone's like, berries. Um. <laughs> Thank you. And shove them down his throat. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I know that they've all been about berries and they've all been about poison. Please tell me those weren't poison berries. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <clears throat> so at the end of the round, okay, the new guys that come in, if I remember correctly, they come in at the end of the round, did they not? Or did they come in at the beginning of the round? The reason I ask is fatigue is going to trigger at the beginning, but my impression was baddies come in at the end. So do they come in and actually take a hit during the fatigue round? Mm, that makes sense. Yeah. So let's see if we can get an answer for yeah. that. Uh, but in the meantime, we sure. do have three baddies coming in because we have three open yep. spots. And one of these will be uh, Momash. They do take fatigue. Okay. Good yep. to know. Yeah, that's that's what I figured the order would be. So end of the round means this guy comes in. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll do this all in order properly. So he comes in with four hit points. Mm -hmm. And lane one is the first one available. And it is melee. And again, order doesn't matter for that because he comes in at the bottom. Right. Next one comes in. This is a cobalt green thumb. He's coming in with three hit points. He has hardy. He is also melee. He's oh. going to go here. And again, initiative doesn't matter. He goes uh -huh. at the bottom. Now, because this is a tyrant, he's actually going to come in at the top of the initiative order. Any gear locks that were KO'd that get revived go in at the top. And any tyrants also mm. come in at the top. So he comes in with a whopping eight. Ooh, mama. <laughs> eight. Eight. Uh. Now, at least he is furthest away. That's Ooh. something, right? <laughs> Maybe. So he's going to go here. And I'll just give him six. Doesn't matter, but he's going at the top of the queue. Okay. Which means he'll get to go first. Jeez. Now we start the, start the round. Sure. So he's dead. Dead. That's good. And then one off of each of these. Yep. And then we get hits, right? And then we get hits. And this is coming off of our, H our HP? Off of our base, sure. yeah. So that comes off of you. Thank you. And that comes off of me. Oh, delicious berries. Uh, okay. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those were all off of others. Okay. Okay. 
So, time. <laughs> here we go. So, the tyrant gets to go first. So, to refresh our memories, he has Frenzy 2. Uh, so, if all of his attack dice hit, meaning there's no bones, he gets to re-roll and add all of the damage. Ooh. Retreat, which is the one where if he has three hit points or left at the end of the round, he actually removes from the battle and comes back fully healed. And Shrouded means we can only hit him if we're adjacent. So that nullifies my ranged attacks. We're going to have to get up close and personal. Ideally, we get rid of everything else first. Sure. So he's going to go first. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three. He's coming to me. Yep. Oh, boy. And he can move diagonally. So this is something new as well. With the little feet on the uh, on the chip, that means that they can move diagonally, which means he's going to get to me. Oh, hello. So he's going to go one, two. Mm-hmm. And how many rolling two? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so rolling yeah. Two, two plus, plus yeah, his else. special die. Yeah, oh, his tire die. Okay. okay. Two attack. Not bad, so not bad. I take two damage. Does Momesh take still take splash damage from Frag? That I don't know. Uh, from Frag, I don't see why he wouldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'd need to throw a Frag, and right now he's sitting next to me. I don't know if I'd want to do that. I sure. know what you're saying though. Uh, target somewhere else. Yeah. To hit him as opposed to because yeah. you need to be adjacent. Exactly. Um, yeah, but I don't see why he wouldn't take the splash damage. That, that is a mm -hmm. good point. That's good. So I took the two damage, yeah. and then that is the silver hide ability, which means he cannot take damage from attack dice uh, until his next turn. Okay. So we'll leave that on top there to sure. remind us. Thank you. Next up is lane four, which is actually defeated. Done. So it's over to you. Well, I'm over here, so I can still... I mean, if I go here, I'm really... It's one hit. He only does one, yeah. But uh, again... Try and get some bones and yeah. move your shields up to the active spots. Yes, I always do that. I yeah. should be here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So, am I rolling that? You're rolling those. Don't forget that yes. you've already got two used. So, you know what? Maybe I just roll one. I would say roll the. Uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. This should just be here. Yeah. No, oh, well. <laughs> no bones, but one shield. One so, hit. he'll take one hit. So, it still goes there like nothing changed. Okay. Uh, okay, so then it's over to me. And yes, to answer the splash damage. Okay, yes. good. So it is kind of getting down to that time, isn't it? Yep. <clears throat> I've got two grenades to toss. I th I know. You know, everyone's itching for you to toss one out. Yeah. Um, the only unfortunate part is it only does half damage for splash. Mm -hmm. I would love to hit something full. Like I could one. actually toss. Could you do a two? Or maybe I'd do the big boom. Well, is it time for the big boom? Big boom. <laughs> Remember, the battle ends as soon as Momesh dies. So oh, basically yeah. saying focus. So don't have to kill everything. Eh? No, which might... So maybe that's the maybe that's the strategy, is killing him. Mm -hmm. Because there's nothing here now that's ticking down on anything. So maybe the focus is just to kill him. I move. Yeah. You work on him now. Toss a poison grenade. Ah, wouldn't that be great? That would be. Yeah, we're all out of poison options. Because I can't, the only thing that I can do is attack, and I'm, I can't do that right now. So he can't be hit with attack dice. Correct. I'm. What do you guys think? I could toss a frag right at him. I'd take half the damage. Yeah. Uh, Which you can't really afford. Like right now, you're the only one that can do stuff for him. I can't do anything. Oh, that's tricky. It says, stay on, Malmesh. Fatigue will eventually kill the smaller baddies. Which is true. true. That's why I think we're changing strategy and the fact that I come and help. I can't really help right now, though, because all I have are attack dice. Okay. When this guy goes, this is my only worry, he's going to hit me for two poison. Uh, I, am, I am two spots away, so I am closest. He's going to melee me. Two poison. Which Unless I move. Fatigue and poison. But what if I just... No, he goes next. Oh. He goes next. So fatigue and poison, I'm dead. And I can't... You can't heal me. There's nothing I can do. This is not... It's not good if you die. I actually think I need to get rid of him. Yeah. Because his poison plus the fatigue is going to finish me off. I think I need to land a frag on him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
I need to land the frag on him because he kills me otherwise. Okay. What do you think? You have no choice? Yeah. Because I, I, I think nothing, I need to. There's legitimately nothing I can do. I thought I could help you out between now and then, but yeah. no, I can't. Yeah, he kills me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go frag and then to try and stay alive a little longer. Yeah. Defense. Defense. That's probably wise. And attack to make sure that I do actually hit him just in case. Mm -hmm. And maybe get some bones. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay. not a bad roll. No. Nope. So three, he's dead. So I don't have to worry about his poison. Yep, yeah, poison is averted. And the splash averted. damage does actually finish him off, which means he's not going to hit you for anything. Thank goodness. Which means we can now focus. So those are gone. Now we can just focus Now we on can him. just focus. And I did get some shields, so that's still good. And then the extra attack doesn't do anything. Yeah. I don't mind that. Okay, <laughs> now we just need to now we just need to wait him out. So now even if I die, you wait him out. But we're we good. lose damage. So or uh, we lose hit points. Yep. Me. So one from yep. you. Thank you. One from me. If you get some bones, you can start healing me up again. One from Malmish. Uh oh, that's right. Do we tick from here or do we take the damage? For for that fatigue? we just literally no, take that the damage. damage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That no, is true damage. Okay, that's true damage. Yeah. Okay, so where are we at? Uh, Malmish is up. Okay. <clears throat> so he's attacking me. All right. Two dice plus his uh his special dice. At least I do have the three here. Jeez. Okay, now his frenzy ability means roll those again and add them up. Oh, this is bad. Okay. So he does that... a total of four damage. Oh, did I kill you? Nope. Three off the shields. Yeah. One off me means I have one hit point oh, left. Oh, that's bad. I'm not done yet, but... Pretty darn close. Pretty close. Uh, hopefully, I have to on move, your turn, I? you get... Two bones to give me some health. Otherwise, yep. I am dead. Okay. Right. Yep. Uh, and what was his? That was his roll, which is the... all units friendly to Malmesh immediately improve one spot on the initiative meter. Doesn't matter Doesn't because matter. there is nobody there else. Not. Take down grenade counter. Thank you. Okay. Indeed. Okay. So. Okay. So it puts me up You now. do need to be next to him to hit him. So basically... However, yes. we need bones to cure me. Okay, so basically <laughs> do you always just got to take this turn to see if I can get bones? I can do two and two. I can roll yeah. another one, Yeah. right? But I don't have to take it out of here, do I? Until I decide what it is? No, you do. I do. You're, you're, so I'll you're take this out. Yeah. So I'll take that. But you've only got two defense, which means you'd have to take this one as well if you're rolling two defense. Right, which is fine. Which I think is worth it. Now, Oops. you can't yeah. actually roll attack. I can roll attack because I'm ranged. If you have no target, you can't roll attack. Ah, oh, so there you go. Yeah. Well, that answers that. I didn't even so know that. So what you could do, because because you can't actually roll the attack dice, you could move two. Sure. Just to move just closer. Just to get there and then and roll then the, the two. other two. Yeah. Two bones. No. Unbelievable. All right, so I'm going to be dying after my turn. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going all out. Oh, this is terrible. I'm going down in a blaze of glory. Ah! I'm dying anyway at the at the start of the next round, so I don't care about splash damage. <laughs> Although I might end up end up hitting you as well, because all I have left is big boom. Oh God. So I'm sorry, but uh, well, it's fine at this I'm point. I'm rolling do big what, boom. You've got to do what you got to do. Attack, attack. <laughs> so attack. it was going so well. No. It was. Uh, it's going downhill a little bit. But three that's attack, a big boom, and I do have a throw odds here. Okay. So hopefully I can get them down to the point that you can finish them off. Yeah, well, the way I'm rolling. Two, four, five, six. He's dead. No! He's dead. Yes! He's dead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Almish is dead. So just in case, you know, I feel like we should blow. do a slow-mo of that when we put the video back up. <laughs> Oh, man. That's it. That's it. Done like dinner. We actually got there. Oh, <laughs> I know. Man. I okay. a shock. All right. <laughs> well, we definitely would not have got there without help of the internets because you. you saved us multiple so times with stuff we were missing. I know. We actually were making it super difficult uh, on ourselves. Yeah, but we got there. Wow. Hopefully we did that clean with, with your help. I'm pretty sure no, we did that. No, people were actually really through. impressed. I know people yep. said that uh, it went pretty quickly between the turns. They yep. said that you seemed really well-versed. I know you've played it, you've played it way more than I have. It's only my second playthrough. Yep. So um, so job well done. Yep. 
So and, and appreciate all the feedback from uh, saving us from ourselves is what it comes <laughs> down to. So is there right. anything else you want to look at here before we switch over? I think we can just switch over. Yeah. Yeah. So explosion effect on the high five in <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah. All right. So we're just yeah. going to switch over to the big screen here. And this is just to kind of wrap everything up. So first, thank you so much to everybody, Woo! to Chip Theory Games for joining us. Thank you so much. Yes. And some great rule that. clarifications, some great questions. Yep. So thank you so much for that. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, for me, this is people always ask me, oh, we have seen you play light games. I actually play really heavy games. You just don't see a lot of them on the <laughs> channel. And uh, I haven't played any kind of RPG style games in a very long time. You know, my brothers back in the day we used to play. Um, I really enjoyed this. It's not a game I own. I mean, I'm glad Michael has I can come over and play any time, but I really, really enjoyed it. And glad I could start off with a character that I could understand. Um, I'm usually one to go towards a more aggressive character, but this is a good start. And then at least it gives you the mechanics how to use the dice and the gameplay. So I thought that was really good. Yeah, I still have characters that I have yet to experience that I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, Tink. I really want to try Tink next, I think. Uh, but yeah, all of them look like, because they play so differently, uh, that's what gives you a lot of replayability out of it. Yeah. But you do need a few plays to feel how each character plays, because yeah. they are drastically different. And, and you kept, kept us alive. <laughs> that <laughs> helped with, HP. But this so is that, so much better than last Stim time. That stacker line really was the way to go. For sure. I didn't do that last time. Yeah. Last time mm -hmm. I went through the med kit, showed the red line, and I think this was a bit more effective. Yeah. So, But again, I learned this after the second playthrough. So, yeah. Huh. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep for a couple hours now. <laughs> you got used intense. the boomerang and ate the berries twice. I'm appeased. <laughs> oh, Josh. See? Little things yeah. in life. Yeah. So, yeah. So, overall, I really enjoyed this game. Yes. Definitely looking forward to playing with other characters as I learn a bit more. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Overall, job well done. And then, of course, you also get lots of replayability out of the encounter deck. So, our encounter deck, we actually went through... Someone's like, Tantrum. Play with Tantrum. I know. That's <laughs> on my list. So, we ended up going through seven... Well, minus the special encounters cards, we actually only used four of the regular encounter cards in that game. And there are, I want to say, 30 in the box. Okay. So that gives you a lot of variability as well. Uh, and then yeah, with the characters, and you go up the, against the different tyrants. Yeah. So tons of replayability. Yeah. Absolutely. I love it. And I love the quality of everything. The, yeah, it's great. The upgraded chips, it's huge. Uh, highly recommend those for sure. I know everyone talks about the components, so that's yeah. amazing because nothing is worse than playing a really good game with really terrible components. Mm -hmm. It's good all around, so people really like that. So, yeah. All right, so I think everyone's tired, ready we for bed, it. going to work. We made it. Appreciate you sticking around to the end. Yeah. That was, uh, it was a it was long haul, but I think that was worth it. Yeah, it was great. We yeah. won. <laughs> we <Sorry. did. laughs> That's did not expect that with nine baddies sitting there. It's, it's been a rough go. That was so. a that was a long hill, <laughs> hill to climb, but uh, appreciate all the help from everybody for sure. So uh, that's it for this time. So yeah. just a quick recap here. So uh, you can find me on To Die For Games on YouTube. Um, I'm also a board gaming pinup girl on Twitter, Instagram. I'm also a Dice Tower contributor and To Die For Games on Facebook. And I'm uh, much easier to find. I'm just uh, Palum on Instagram, P-A-W-L-O-M, and Palum21 on Twitter. So uh, if you have games you'd like to see us play, please drop us a line to dieforgames at gmail.com. But you can also reach Michael at... Uh, I can be reached at Palum21 at gmail.com. There you go. Pretty straightforward. So we're hoping, now this is not going to be next week, maybe a couple weeks. We'll kind of put it out there. But Rum and Bones is on the Yep, that's the plate. something that we're looking at so, to in the near future. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and also, if you do, if we will be posting this video on YouTube uh, to be uh, to be watched again, if wished, and to be commented on. So if you would wish to comment on that video there as well. Perfect. Do that. Yeah. So that's it. We'll let everyone get a nice rest. Thank you yes. so much for your help. Thanks support. for sticking around. Chip Theory Games, thank yeah. you so much. And uh, we'll see you guys next yeah. time. Bye. Bye.